When I played with Bonnie's bunny ears in front of everyone, not only did she not resist, but she even activated her ultimate skill to increase my attack speed, it was all because of the National Destiny Marriage game, each country randomly selected an adult male to participate in the game, where he had to successfully consummate with women of different races in order to bear children. The reward for doing so was to repel the invasion of the abyss, the marriage rooms were filled not only with beautiful elves and girls with animal ears, but also terrifying cannibals, giant tribes of pigs, and thousand-year-old zombies, some players were matched with an 800-kilogram giant pig tribe only to be crushed before their kidneys had a chance to dock, others were paired with the praying mantis girls and brutally eaten alive after consummating the marriage. While other players complained about choosing the wrong room, I held Medusa in my left hand, Bonnie in my right, and had my Shiranui sitting in the middle, when the abyss invaded, the Lord of Sin was stunned to see that all the different races and beings of the heavens and realms had put aside their grievances and united to protect Verona. At that moment, I stood in front of four doors, not knowing which one to choose, suddenly, a line of text appeared before my eyes. Monster Room, 10 people hungry to kill 15 monsters, 100% kill rate. I couldn't believe my luck, I could see the information behind the doors, Holding back my excitement, I looked at the other grey door, trap room, temperature increases 10 degrees Celsius per second, can only leave after 10 minutes, 100% mortality rate. Wow! It's either monsters or traps, then I looked at the wedding room in front of me, race, shark tribe, characteristics, thick skin, big size, sweet voice, challenge, mount tie pressing down, tip, if you don't mind getting your kidneys crushed, this powerful partner is worth considering. She can be your solid barrier, who would have thought that even Jin Jin from Bitch Castle would come to this matchmaking game. Definitely not an option, especially since I don't have a titanium alloy kidney. There was only one room left, if the race was still unacceptable, would have to wait for the room to refresh in the early morning. But there is no food or water here, waiting until tomorrow would bring uncertainty. I took a deep breath and turned to look at the remaining wedding room, race. Hair tribe from the king's land, characteristics, ultra-sensitive bunny ears, soft and agile body, 95 beauty score. Challenge, provide her with dance accompaniment, note, she is a well-trained dancer, with your skills, you can easily pass her test, could it be that the king's land also exists in the sky? At that moment everyone in Blue Star was shocked by the appearance of the National Destiny marriage game. Who would have thought that there would be two marriage rooms right at the beginning? Everyone don't know whether this guy is lucky or unlucky. He better not die, because his death would affect the fate of the entire country, while everyone was discussing, I was already approaching a pink door, as I passed through a layer of red light, a forest of maple leaves appeared before my eyes, in the distance, a charming figure was sitting on a swing, when she saw me, the figure turned into countless maple leaves, quickly drifted toward me, and then condensed back into human form. I sized up the Bonnie in front of me, my heartbeat unconsciously quickened. It feels just like the game, she's really beautiful, are you my mate? I nodded slightly, when I look at her fluffy ears, they feel so soft. Can you play a song for my dance? As long as you can, I'm willing to be your partner. Bonnie took out a jade flute and handed it to me, her face was slightly flushed and she looked a bit shy. I smiled slightly and reached out to take the jade flute, I've loved the traditional culture of Verona since I was young, I can play several instruments. Playing the flute is something I'm very good at, the next moment, a melodious flute sound echoed in this maple forest, Bonnie heard this beautiful melody, her cheeks became even more red, she began to dance gracefully, following the rhythm of the music. When the flute stopped playing, Bonnie's dance ended. Her face was rosy and covered with fragrant sweat, the red leaves are the most passionate, offering a dance to our first meeting, you have passed Bonnie's partnership test, now you can take her to your personal space and your bridal chamber. As I looked at the prompt I felt a sense of unreality, this stunning woman had just become my wife. At that moment, Bonnie wrapped her arm around mine, blushing, and said in a sweet voice, a moment of spring night is worth a thousand gold, what are you waiting for? Then I opened my personal space and immediately the scene in front of me turned into a small wooden hut, soon she came out, wrapped in a towel, please, my husband, be gentle. 
Now I couldn't hold back anymore, I picked her up and walked over to the double bed. At that moment, the other players who liked Bonnie began to complain, he brought Bonnie into his personal space just like that. My Bonnie. Damn, it's so easy, why wasn't I chosen in the marriage game? I envy, I'm jealous, I hate it, I want to be with Bonnie too, at that moment, I looked at her peaceful and exquisite face, my heart filled with pride and contentment, the next moment, the reward of a successful marriage was received, you have successfully mated with Bonnie. Received a level plus one reward from the Rabbit Ears tribe, all attributes plus five, lifespan plus five, gained the Maple Leaf Incarnation skill. Maple Leaf Incarnation, a level one teleportation skill, can turn into a maple leaf to move freely, can only be used once per room, all members of the land receive a plus one bonus to all attributes, a plus one lifespan, and a bonus carrot paradise. When I finished reading the rewards, I felt as if I had inexhaustible strength, even the kidney weakness from the previous bridal chamber battle completely disappeared. When Verona received the reward, everyone's body was transformed, the effect of increasing all attributes was so good, I feel like I'm 18 years younger. What you just said is nothing, I was just guarding my uncle's wake, then my uncle suddenly jumped up and told me that his lifespan had increased by one year. Yes, it's true, I am his uncle, haha. At that time, players from other countries also began to take action one by one, the player from Lumina is named Greg. He began to examine the four doors around him, one red door, three grey doors. Without much consideration, he went straight to the red wedding room, after all, there might be monsters in the randomly generated grey rooms. And the difficulty of the wedding room is that you have to think about your spouse, Greg pushed open the wedding room door, and what he saw was a deep cave. Why does this place look so scary? Is this really the nuptial chamber? The Lumina audience watching Greg also sensed that something was wrong. Could it be cave-dwelling creatures? These races all like to live in dark and damp places. Verona's spouse is obviously so handsome, I think Lumina's partner won't be any worse. While everyone was expressing their thoughts, Greg had already approached the figure in the cave. In front of him was a woman with a hot upper body, but her lower body was in the shape of a spider. At that moment, Doris was knitting a sweater with spider silk, however, her clumsy technique prevented her from succeeding, when she saw Greg, her sweet voice sounded, are you my spouse? At that moment, Greg turned pale and his legs trembled, he forced himself to nod. Even though his bladder was about to burst, he had never expected his spouse to be such a terrifying creature. Greg, can you knit me a sweater with my spider silk? I want to clothe my upper body. Greg looked at Doris and unconsciously swallowed his saliva, Doris, can we change the test? I don't know how to knit sweaters, if you can't even knit a sweater, why do you think you can be my spouse? Or maybe just stay and become food for my offspring. The spider silk quickly shot towards Greg, wrapping him layer by layer, forming a cocoon in the shape of a human being. Then Doris controlled the spider silk to hang him from the top of the cave. At first, Greg struggled inside the cocoon, but he soon became motionless. The people of Lumina watched in shock and horror, it's over, if he dies, it would be a catastrophe. Just as everyone was discussing, texts appeared on Lumina's live screen, the death of the Lumina participant is imminent, the disaster is the onslaught of mutated spiders. In 10 minutes Lumina's native spiders will mutate and attack humans, the disaster will not end until all the spiders are dead, or when the death toll exceeds 100,000. All of Lumina's departments immediately sprang into action, they only had 10 minutes to prepare. After those 10 minutes, the disaster was finally stopped, but not before 100,000 people lost their lives under the relentless resistance of Lumina's military forces, now that Bonnie and I had completed our tasks, we planned to embark on another exploration. So far, we hadn't found any food or water, and I was getting hungry. This meant that the players in the marriage game still needed to eat, drink, and relieve themselves, therefore, the source of food and water must be in the resource room. I left my personal space and returned to the marriage room we were in earlier. The maple forest had disappeared and the room had become pure white. Three doors appeared in front of me, 
one red, one gray, and one gray. By marrying Bonnie, I not only gained a wife, but also received skill rewards, of course, given the choice, the wedding room would be my first choice, I looked directly at the red wedding room, the room type was a wedding room, and the race was the alien race, the special characteristics were parasitic and corrosive blood, and a steel reinforced body. The undesirable aspect was offering your body for the parasitic reproduction of face worms. The prompt explained that as a powerful alien queen with strong reproductive abilities, she needed to find a mate with a strong physique, this would allow for a continuous supply of rewards through the reproduction of the bronze room. Of course, the one responsible for reproduction would be me, if my physique was strong enough and I could accept being parasitized by face worms, then I could receive rewards continuously, therefore, the alien queen could also be considered a mate who could quickly increase your strength. However, I could only accept a beautiful girl, after that, I shifted my gaze to the grey door on the left, it was a monster room, the type of monster was 10 red-eyed hyenas with a 90% death rate. The prompt said that there were 10 hyenas that liked to dig into anuses, if I called for Bonnie's help, the death rate would be reduced to 30%. Even with Bonnie's help, there was still a 30% mortality rate, if I was injured in the process, it would be game over, I looked at the remaining room and my eyes lit up, it was the resource room with a black iron treasure chest, it could randomly contain food, equipment, skills, personal space upgrade cards, and surprisingly. There was no death rate associated with it, I entered the room directly and received 10 units of basic food. This meant that Bonnie and I had enough food for 5 days. I returned to my personal room and had a meal with Bonnie to replenish our energy. I continued to explore the new room, all three of the doors in this room were grey, as I looked at one of the doors, information appeared before my eyes. It was the room of the Jackalman monster in the desert terrain, with a death rate of 10%. The prompt said that he survived in the desert by stealing treasures from the werewolf tribe. When I saw the prompt, I immediately understood, killing this werewolf-like creature would most likely result in equipment drops. However, I wasn't in a hurry, I looked at the other two doors. The poison trap room contained a large amount of deadly poison, inhaling it would cause the blood to clot quickly, resulting in a 100% fatality rate. The life and death game room contained Russian roulette with a polar bear, the fatality rate was 50%, players played a game of chance with a single bullet revolver until one side was shot and the game ended, I immediately walked out of that room, playing with my life was out of the question, it seemed that I could only choose the werewolf, then I opened my personal room and called Bonnie for help, without hesitation. Bonnie picked up her jade flute and agreed to my request. It seemed that the jade flute was Bonnie's weapon. She could use it to condense sound waves and launch remote attacks, the sound waves would turn into maple leaves, no wonder Bonnie's skill in the game was throwing maple leaves, they were actually transformed sound waves, it seemed that I could only provide support, after that, I pushed open the door, and my eyes were greeted by swirling yellow sand, a dog-headed creature appeared in front of me, seeing this scene, the people of Verona became somewhat panicked, as they had witnessed the horror of the spider tide disaster. Other countries began to rejoice in their misfortune, saying that they couldn't always be lucky, they would have to wait for disaster to strike. The players of Verona would suffer, let's see how your players can get through this. At Verona's secret base, an older man looked at the screen and said, young man, I hope you can keep going, after clearly seeing the werewolf's face, I looked at Bonnie and asked, are you sure you can kill it from a distance? Rest assured, my husband, just stay close to me, Bonnie replied with a hint of confidence, then she lifted her jade flute and flicked her wrist, a red maple leaf, condensed from the sound waves, quickly flew toward the werewolf and pierced its chest, the werewolf staggered and spit out blood, it let out a roar and charged at us, Bonnie pulled me to the side as she kept shaking her wrist and launched another attack, once again, she hit the werewolf right in the chest, knocking it to the ground. The werewolf struggled to get up. But another red maple leaf came flying, knocking it down again, it lay motionless on the ground, Bonnie smiled at me with a radiant expression and said, my husband, it's all be done, I'm amazing. As I thought about the prompt at the door, I felt something was wrong, 
I then asked Bonnie to continue the attack and finish it. Bonnie continued to shake her wrist and threw two more red maple leaves at the werewolf. With the four maple leaf attacks, Bonnie suffered passive punishment. The werewolf exploded with a sound wave and a pouch appeared on its body, emitting a golden light. Congratulations on killing the werewolf together with Bonnie. You have gained 10 experience points. As I expected, the werewolf only pretended to be dead. It seems that from now on, when I encounter monsters, I will need experience points to confirm a complete kill. After that, I opened the grey cloth bag floating in the air. Congratulations, you have received a personal space upgrade card, Magic Farm Edition. Once used, it can lead to the Magic Farm. The farm has three plots, an initial cultivation area, and plants that mature in 24 hours. However, with seeds, you can enjoy fresh vegetables and fruits before the 24-hour period. At that moment, the citizens of Verona outside rejoiced, Bonnie is living up to her reputation, she killed the dog-headed creature from a distance. Philipsburg and Lumina will be disappointed, I wonder what they will do next, at this time Amos, the Philipsburg candidate, nervously pushed open the red door and stepped inside. What came into view was a cliff with a figure sitting on the edge, in front of them was a wooden table. Amos swallowed his saliva and walked towards the figure sitting on the edge of the cliff, unexpectedly, it was a stunning beauty, even though its clothing resembled a scorpion's shell. He also noticed the tail behind her, a scorpion tail with a bluish venomous hook, Lilith, a member of the scorpion people, saw Amos approach and showed a surprised expression, are you my mate? Amos nervously replied, Yes, I am, Amos swallowed his saliva and his eyes remained fixed on Lilith's chest, I am Lilith, you may also address me as Queen, Lilith stood up and examined the human before her. Queen, Amos felt excited, he had come to the right place, this was exactly what he wanted. Lilith nodded in satisfaction and pointed to the three cups of water before her, her test is a test of courage, two of these three goblets contain poison, choose one to drink. If you survive, you will have the freedom to control my form as you wish, and you may play the game of queen and slave with me. Lilith's voice was seductive, but it sent shivers down Amos' spine, a one-third survival rate was essentially gambling with his life. When the citizens of Philipsburg saw the contents of the test, the barrage of comments exploded, this is trouble, it's only a one-third chance, if he makes the wrong choice, there will be no going back. They hoped that Amos would be lucky and not become a national criminal, Amos looked at the three cups of water in front of him, his cheeks covered with sweat, he was afraid of death, even with a one-third chance of survival, he didn't dare try, suddenly, he cried out and knelt down, prostrating himself, Queen, I am a coward, I beg for your mercy. As a queen, you must need a slave, right? I am ready to be your slave, I can wash your feet with my mouth, this act of cowardice immediately shattered the defense of all Philipsburg citizens, you are a disgrace to Philipsburg. How can you not go and die as a human being? Even he do not have the courage to make a choice, the people of Verona smiled softly, laughing to themselves, but Lilith's expression turned dark when she saw Amos' behavior, is this the choice you have made? Please spare my life, I am willing to be a servant for life, Amos begged for mercy on the floor. Lilith's face grew dark, you have truly failed me, the reason this trial is called the trial of courage, it is not a test of luck. It is because all three cups contain ordinary water, as long as you have the courage to choose, you can be my chosen partner. With your cowardly nature, you will only beg for mercy when you face the terrifying abyss in the future, it is better to let you die now, as she spoke, a black scorpion's tail pierced Amos' chest. At the same time, several lines of black text appeared on the live broadcast screen of the Philipsburg Kingdom, Philipsburg contestant deceased, disaster chosen, toxic storm, in 10 minutes, the poison storm will appear in the town of Philipsburg, the disaster will not end until the death toll exceeds 500,000 or the poison storm lasts for one day. Upon seeing the disaster warning, the people of Philipsburg panicked and fled in all directions. Poison storm, disaster has struck, as the warning appeared, dark clouds covered the sky over Philipsburg, wherever it passed, there was a strong corrosiveness, steel buildings disintegrated instantly upon contact with the poison fog storm, tall buildings collapsed one by one, people hiding inside were crushed by the debris. 
Even if they were lucky enough not to be crushed to death, the surrounding air was already filled with deadly poison. And now it is the second day, I look at the four doors in front of me, first of all, of course, I look at the red wedding door, the resident is Johanna from the Hiyu clan, she has the characteristic of small trees with big fruits, gentle and pleasant, white-eyed soft fist. The message says that she is the young lady of the Hiyu clan, she hopes to learn a new martial art to improve her soft fist. She turns out to be Johanna, the information introduction says that the characteristic of bearing large fruits is for when she grows up. Without hesitation, I push open the marriage door in front of me for the sake of the big fruit, what comes into view is a martial arts training area, Johanna is sitting cross-legged in the middle, as soon as she sees someone coming, Johanna stands up, hello, my future partner, I'm Johanna. I smile politely, hello, I'm Lucas, your test for me is a martial arts exchange, I hope you can show me a martial art other than the soft fist. In that case, let me dare to demonstrate a martial art that has been passed down in our country for a long time, what martial art? Johanna suddenly became interested, I have heard that the great families have inherited secret techniques and martial arts. Shadowboxing or Taiji is based on the transformation of yin, yang and the five elements. It aims to achieve a balance between hardness and softness, both internally and externally, Tai Chi practitioners can move effortlessly even with little force, and with mastery they can bring peace to the world, as I demonstrated and explained. Johanna seemed to sense that something was wrong, she noticed that this style of boxing had the shadow of soft fist techniques. In other words, soft fist was like the son or even the grandson of shadow boxing or taiji. If soft fist adopted the power generation method of shadow boxing or taiji, it would be able to deflect most of the damage and become even more powerful. The bagua palm techniques could also be improved with this approach. After a long time I finished my demonstration, what do you think of this martial art? I asked Johanna, her cheeks turned red as she bit her cherry lips, when should we consummate our marriage? She blurted out, the sooner the better, not because I'm in a hurry, but because it will increase our strength after the wedding, the main goal is to become stronger, I replied, Johanna blushed even more, and her voice became softer and more timid. Seeing this, I took Johanna's hand and led her into the room to attend to our business, after two hours of cultivation, I looked at the sleeping Johanna and smiled. At that moment, the rewards of a successful marriage arrived, I gained one level, all of my attributes increased by five, and my lifespan increased by five, I also acquired the Tai Chi soft fist skill from the Hyuga clan, and our country received a gift from them, which increased all of the members' attributes by one and their lifespan by one, in addition, we were given the Tai Chi soft fist technique, with this technique, I could accurately hit the acupoints and internal organs of enemies without. Having to see them, making it highly effective against living beings, I then entered the living room and saw Bonnie with a pout on her face, looking dejected. I quickly walked over and hugged her, assuring her, Bonnie, don't worry, you are all treasures in my heart and I won't favor one over the other. Husband, you misunderstand, I just think our house is too small now that we have another sister, we don't have our own independent living space anymore, Bonnie explained. I leaned in and kissed her and said, don't worry, I'll do my best to explore and try to get a space upgrade card, Bonnie finally smiled and said, I think you can do it, it seems that women everywhere have the same need for a bigger house, it's time to keep exploring. I only have six servings of basic food left, which won't last long, there are three random grey doors in front of me, without hesitation, I focus my gaze on the grey door in front of me, goblin monster room, death rate, 30%. The leader is a powerful goblin warrior with melee abilities, accompanied by five goblin archers for ranged attacks. My own exploration has a 30% kill rate, if I bring Bonnie with me, we should be able to get through. As for Johanna, she just finished a battle, so it's best for her to rest. I looked at the other two rooms, if there were resource rooms, they would be the preferred choice, the first room I entered was the random monster teleportation room, it would transport me to a room filled with monsters, and there was an elite monster waiting to claim my head, the second room was the vacuum trap room, a room without air, I would have to stay inside for an hour before I could leave. After confirming the information about the three rooms, I called Bonnie for help, 
Together we approached the Goblin Squad monster room, as we pushed open the door, we were greeted by a green forest, Indiana at the distance, a pair of goblins were walking slowly. The Goblin Squad also noticed us, as our clothing stood out in the forest, the Goblin Warrior roared angrily and charged at us, stone axe in hand, the Goblin Throwers grabbed rocks from their baskets and prepared to attack along with the Goblin Warrior, the barrage of live chat comments exploded, that guy's still not careful enough, he should have called Johanna for help. Johanna upstairs had just finished a battle, she couldn't rest yet. Rest is not so important in the face of life and death, meanwhile, Bonnie and I were ready for battle, I locked on to the goblin warrior and charged straight at him, Bonnie's jade flute trembled, and the sound waves turned into maple leaves, accurately hitting the goblin throwers from behind, before the goblin throwers could attack, Bonnie's maple leaves had already hit the monsters, in fact, two maple leaves were enough to take out a goblin thrower, with the first thrower down, the remaining. For quickly took cover behind the large tree. Bonnie's maple leaves continued to limit the thrower's attacks, ensuring that no ranged attacks could disrupt me, the goblin warrior let out a roar, swinging his huge axe, and a fierce wind swept through, I dodged without meeting the attack head-on and followed up with a precise strike to his ribs using the soft fist technique. The force pierced his body, hitting his soft lungs with precision. The goblin warrior felt a pain in his ribs and instinctively let out a roar, but the roar turned into a gasp, at the same time, he realized in horror that his lungs would also hurt if he exerted force, preventing him from attacking with full strength, the next second, a maple leaf whizzed through the air and hit the goblin warrior on the head, his head felt dizzy from the impact, and he staggered backward, dragging his huge axe with him, seizing the opportunity, I stepped closer, like a Torrential rain, my soft fists pounded the goblin warrior's chest and abdomen. Countless blows pierced his body, causing him excruciating pain and the desire to howl, but he realized he didn't even have the strength to howl. In the next second, I struck and shattered his neck bone, forcibly severing his vocal cords and instantly silencing him. The goblin warrior died, and a package burst from his body, emitting a golden light, I wasn't in a hurry to reap the spoils of war, but rather to kill the remaining goblin throwers with Bonnie. Except for the goblin warriors, who dropped parcels, the other goblins didn't drop anything. I approached the corpse of the goblin warrior and picked up the dropped package. Soon after, the goblin's body turned to ash, and the surrounding forest environment returned to the pristine white starting room. I held the dropped package and looked at Bonnie, you did a great job with those goblins, take a look at this package. Bonnie smiled and nodded, if there's nothing good in it, my dear husband can't blame me. As a hazy light burst from the package, it condensed into the shape of two finger claws, congratulations, you have received an F-class equipment, goblin summoning finger claws, when equipped, it can summon a goblin warrior for one hour, with a cool down of 24 hours. It seems that although there are risks in the monster rooms, the rewards can be abundant if we can defeat the monsters. I looked up at the three new doors that appeared, Bonnie, let's keep exploring. Bonnie will always follow in her husband's footsteps and respond with a loving look, but when I saw the descriptions of the three rooms, I hesitated. Special Mission Room, Raise the Abyss Succubus, Reward, Abyss Succubus Lineage, Plus 20 Affinity Points, Resource Room, Private Forest Troll Estate, Death Rate, 0% to 1%, Death Playroom, Death Rate, 50%, reward for clearing, a piece of D-class equipment, with a furrowed brow, I immediately pushed aside the other two doors. The mood of the Verona public outside is tense again, Lucas is exploring again, I wonder what kind of room it will be this time. Don't worry, Lucas won't be in any danger, even if there is danger, he will be able to turn it around, believe in Lucas, believe in Verona. At that moment, Lucas had already entered the room, what met his eyes were green, sky-high trees with colorful fruits hanging from them, and below the trees were different kinds of special plants, some covered with thorns, some hairy, all of which did not exist on earth, in the distance, there was a golden-colored land that was also covered with a variety of strange plants, some looked like wheat, but the fruit was red and looked delicious, some looked like tomatoes, but they were as big as watermelons and blackish-purple in color. Some looked like cucumbers, but they were dark blue and looked strange, 
the plants in the whole mansion were just growing haphazardly without any planting plan, as if the owner who planted them had just randomly scattered some seeds and then let them grow freely, this room looks like it's a forest too, there shouldn't be any goblins there, right? It doesn't seem to be a forest, there's also cultivated land that looks like farmland, the plants here are so strange, I've never seen them before, I'm a PhD, in botany, so I can tell you responsibly that none of the plants in this room exist on earth, they must all be plants from other worlds. I don't know which ones are edible and which ones are poisonous, Lucas shouldn't eat anything indiscriminately, it would be bad if he ate the poisonous ones. However, if he could find some edible ones and transplant them to the magic farm, Lucas would have solved his food problem. Under the watchful eyes of the crowd, Lucas walks over to a large tree full of colorful fruit. By this time, a golden text clue had appeared in Lucas' eyes. Wonderful fruit tree. This is a variety obtained by the forest troll after crossbreeding with the otherworldly fruit tree. And the fruits it bears have different flavors, and each flavor is deliciously juicy and nutritious. Transplant condition. After cutting off the trunk of the fruit tree, it can be transplanted to a magical farm, the basic food is bland in taste. So when he saw this wonderful fruit tree with fruits of various flavors, he decided to transplant it to the magic farm, the only condition for the transplantation was that the tree had to be cut down, he didn't have a suitable weapon to cut down the tree, so he couldn't just smash it with his fists, could he? Lucas smiled slightly and activated the active skill of goblin summoning finger tiger, in the next second, a hexagonal star magic formation with blue light appeared in front of him, and the goblin warrior's body slowly condensed, in just three seconds, the goblin warrior coalesced into a form carrying a huge stone axe, kneeled down in front of Lucas, and lowered its huge head. Lucas pointed to the beautiful fruit tree and said, go cut down this tree, the goblin warrior nodded, picked up the axe, and immediately began to cut down the tree, Outside, the crowd was puzzled by Lucas' strange behavior. What's going on here, and how did Lucas waste the goblin warrior's summoning time by calling him to chop down the tree? The room didn't seem to be in any danger, so he should have tried to transplant the tree to the wonder farm, right? But it's too arbitrary to even know if the tree's fruit is edible or not, right, and since there was no danger in the room, he could have taken his time and didn't have to waste the goblin warrior's summoning times, while the crowd was puzzled, the Lumina people and the Phillipsburg people who had been diving, as well as the people, all jumped out. I didn't expect the Verona players to be so stupid as to waste the goblin warriors summoning times just to cut down trees, the existence time of. The goblin warrior is only one hour, even if it cuts down trees faster, it can only cut down 10 trees at most, but compared to its combat value, what are those 10 trees worth? What stupid Verona people, they can't run when they see food. Of course, there are many fruits and vegetables in the cultivated land over there, and it's much less difficult to transplant them, so why do they have to cut down trees? This Lucas is just a little bit lucky really encountered things or seemed to have a low IQ really ridiculous even summoned the powerful fighters to cut down the trees, Lucas did not know anything about the outside world, he looked at the speed of the goblin warrior felling and nodded with satisfaction. At that rate, 10 minutes would be more than enough to cut down the magnificent fruit trees. He scanned the remaining trees and found that they were all remnants of the wonder fruit trees. Hybridization, so he had no interest in them, instead, he was drawn to the golden plowed field over there, he quickly led Bonnie to the golden plowed field, first, he swept all the plants and found no plants that possessed any aggressiveness before he moved quickly. He only had 10 minutes, if he could transplant 10 plants in 10 minutes, then of course everything would be fine, if he couldn't, he had to transplant as many as he could, after all, transplanting is earning, besides, Lucas had a hunch in his head, it must be that the transplanting requirements of these plants were not ordinary, which is why there was a race goal of 10 plants transplanted in 10 minutes, otherwise, normal plants could be transplanted by uprooting them directly, and 10 minutes would be plenty. With this in mind, Lucas looked at the plant that bore red fruits like wheat, sweet fruit, can produce delicious fruit full of energy, after eating it, you can quickly recover your strength, transplant condition, mastery of level 1 plant communication, Lucas' eyebrows tightened for sure. The otherworldly plants here were very unusual, even transplanting them had requirements, he didn't waste time on the sweet fruit and continued to look at the next plant. 
This plant was a black vine wrapped around a row of wooden frames, with fruits that looked like chicken legs and gave off a deep-fried aroma, cumin-flavored chicken leg vine, cultivated by the forest trolls, it bore fruit that tasted and smelled like cumin-flavored fried chicken legs, crispy and nutritious, transplant requirements, strength over 20, body over 20 can be transplanted to the magic farm after being uprooted, Lucas' eyes lit up with this good stuff. He swallowed, he hadn't eaten a chicken leg since he came to the marriage game, this plant needed to be transplanted, he bent down and grabbed the root of the cumin-flavored chicken leg vine and pulled it up as hard as he could. The next second, Lucas felt only a tingling and paralysis in his palms, and when he opened his hands to look at it, his hands were a little black, as if they were poisoned, you have been stabbed by the fluff of the cumin-flavored chicken leg vine, some paralysis toxin will affect your grip strength, but your physique is over 20 points, you can automatically metabolize the toxin within 2 hours. So there is no need to worry except for a little bit of hard feelings, Lucas only felt that his grip. Strength has dropped a lot, just like in school is the feeling after hanging the bar for several minutes, no wonder there was a requirement for strength and fitness in the transplant requirements, so this was the reason, he thought to himself as he quickly grabbed the wooden frame with the vines in a pot, then he had Bonnie help him transplant it to the Wonder Farm while he moved on to the next transplantable plant, of course. Lucas didn't lose track of time, and with one eye on the countdown. He would evacuate in the last half minute. He soon found his second target, flavored fruit milk tree, the forest troll likes to drink milk, so he cultivated a fruit tree that can produce different flavored fruit milk, when the fruit is ripe, the inner part will be filled with milk, which you can drink by inserting a straw remove the original fruit and transplant it to be used as fertilizer. Otherwise the flavored fruit milk tree will not be able to survive Lucas licked his lips, he couldn't wait to drink the fruit milk, Lucas licked. His lips, he couldn't wait to drink the fruit milk, he found a branch and knocked off the fruit of the flavored fruit milk tree, then he uprooted the whole tree and transplanted it to the magic farm, then he threw all the fruit of the fruit milk tree under the tree and used it as fertilizer, then he started looking for his target again. Only Lucas' luck seemed to have run out, and the remaining conditions for transplanting various plants were all so strange that he simply couldn't fulfill them. He sighed in his heart, this seemed to be the only way. At that moment, he glanced at the golden soil, and a golden text prompt appeared in front of his eyes, Golden Soil, this is a fertile soil developed by the goblin scholars commissioned by the forest trolls, drenched in pseudogiant dragon blood, and has the potential to give the plants growing here magical properties, good stuff. Although I don't know what it does for now, but since the remaining plants can't be transplanted, why not get some soil back? Come what may, with this idea in mind, Lucas immediately became a soil mover, a steady stream of golden-colored soil was transported back to the Wonder Farm by him, after eight minutes in the room, the goblin warrior successfully cut down the wonder fruit tree, under Lucas' direction, he transplanted the tree to the wonder farm and then joined Lucas in moving the golden-colored soil. Bonnie was interested to see the two of them working together and joined in. Three men and a goblin were doing the digging, the people of Verona, watching the live stream, looked at each other in disbelief. They really didn't understand Lucas' reasons for doing this, the people of Philipsburg, the people of Lumina, and so on, who were already full of hostility and prejudice against Verona and Lucas, were all very excitedly mocking at that moment, no way, why are you digging up dirt in your personal space? You Verona player Lucas aren't trying to empty this room, are you? I know he can't eat anything good in the marriage game room, but there's no need to be so greedy, right? It feels like a bunch of lowly mudbloods having so much fun digging in the dirt. Verona has always been an agricultural nation, but fortune has modernized them, but the gene for farming is in their bones, if they were from our land, they wouldn't be as shameless as Lucas, the people of Verona immediately fought back, defending Lucas and cursing the trash, on the other hand, Lucas and the others carried a large amount of golden soil to the magic farm and covered all three plowed fields inside the farm with golden colors, before leaving, Lucas wasn't lazy, he picked all the edible fruits and vegetables and put as many as he could in his personal space, the three little superheroes together with the strong goblin warrior carried them extremely fast, when the fridge in the living room was full, they used the thatched cottage on the magic farm as a warehouse. He didn't stop until the thatched hut was filled as well. 
All kinds of strange fruits and vegetables were placed in the thatched hut, which gave Lucas a feeling of satisfaction in his heart, he had a happy smile on his face, now he could have a change of taste, when the countdown reached 9 minutes and 30 seconds, Lucas ran quickly to the last room with Bonnie, and the goblin warrior followed with an axe, the group quickly left the forest troll's private estate, when they returned to the last room, the door to the manor closes automatically, followed by a flickering color change from gray to red, which Lucas sees for the first time and fixes his eyes on, since you escaped from the private manor before the forest trolls returned, this door will randomly update to red or gray and will successfully update after one hour. Seeing this, Lucas breathed a sigh of relief, there was no danger this way, to be honest, he was quite worried about the forest trolls coming after him right now, Currently, the other two doors in this room both led to dangerous paths, one was yellow and the other was gambling, so it was impossible for Lucas to explore them, however, he didn't remain idle. He took Bonnie and the goblin warrior to the magic farm and started to take care of the land, the actions of transplanting the plants. Moving the land and harvesting the fruit were all done in nine and a half minutes and the actions were very rushed, this resulted in a cluttered plowed field at the magic farm and a messy warehouse that needed to be cleaned up. So Lucas led several people to work at the magic farm, this wave of operations once again looked silly to the people of Verona, who were always watching the live broadcast, why did Lucas leave the room in such a hurry? Inside there are a lot of fruits and vegetables I especially like inside a plant such as watermelon black tomatoes, but Lucas several times passed by are not picking thought he stayed a while to pick did not expect to leave directly cannot understand, don't make wild guesses, Lucas must have his reasons for doing so, anyway, no matter what he does, I will unconditionally support. Lucas for our Verona brought two consecutive national rewards in the real world can be a first class merit to get soft, I fully support his actions. Lumina Phillipsburg and other groups that can pick bones in their balls began to sneer once again at this time, what the hell, how long has he been in this room and this is running away? It looks like some kind of monster is chasing him. Obviously, there are so many resources in this room that it's stupid to move around a bit and then not want them anymore. Just now I thought that Verona's farming gene also had some advantages, but I didn't realize that he's a coward, he's really a waste, I don't even know what he's afraid of, afraid of being eaten by plants. We really did make the right choice, while all sorts of pop-ups were flying around, there was suddenly a piece of pop-up from the people of Astralberg that was very conspicuous, our Astralberg player has also entered a resource-rich forest, and he's definitely more daring than the Verona player, so now our Astralberg player's stockpile of supplies will surpass that of the Verona player. There were many pop-ups from the people of Astralberg, which quickly attracted viewers watching Lucas' livestream, since Lucas and the others were busy at the Wonder Farm at the time, they were not out exploring, as a result, some of the people who wanted to see the exploration footage flocked to the Astralberg livestream, there were people from Verona and Philipsburg Lumina and so on. When they saw the Astralberg player with a dark complexion holding a huge pink fruit and chewing on it on the Astralberg livestream screen, people from different countries unconsciously swallowed their saliva, this pink fruit looks so tempting, it must be delicious, right? That's not true, look how delicious this Astralberg is eating, look at the environment here, it looks like the room Lucas just stayed in, I didn't expect the Astralberg player to be so lucky, I wonder what he will do. At that moment, the people of Astralberg saw the various pop-ups in foreign characters and immediately started sending various pop-ups as well, this is our Astralberg's live broadcast room, you foreigners talk less understand. Verona's Lumina's Philipsburg's Caldera's Havenbrook's all shut your mouths, it's good enough for you to watch the live broadcasts, don't gibber about it here. We Astralberg players are going to get a lot of food resources from this room to lay the foundation for victory. Right. We Astralberg will become a world superpower. Seeing the Astralberg people so confident, the viewers from various countries who had flocked to the room began to mock, and for a while, the live streaming pop-up screen was filled with all kinds of verbal battles, marriage game room inside the room where Astralberg player Andrew was, Andrew, who had been hungry for a long time, ended up showing off a whole pink fruit the size of a watermelon. Ever since he had been selected for the mating game, he had been hiding in his room and sleeping, it. 
wasn't until he couldn't stand the hunger anymore that he had to go out and explore, unexpectedly, as soon as he came out to explore, he came across a room with abundant food resources. This made Andrew feel like the mating game wasn't so scary after all, as the saying goes, when one is warm and full, one begins to think wildly, and Andrew had already made plans to move all the strange fruits in this room to his personal space, until the cabin was filled to the brim, then he would explore new rooms and find his own mate. The thought of being able to marry a member of the opposite sex of another race excited him to no end, Andrew stood up, wiped the pink juice from the corners of his mouth with his shirt and began to pick a variety of fruits and quickly carry them to the cabin in his personal space, the sight was a great relief to the people of Astralberg, well done for emptying the room of all food. Yes, the more food you have the longer you can survive, as long as you don't run into danger you can keep on living, Andrew was much better than the Verona contestants, he would definitely scavenge for any resources that would help him instead of somehow returning the same way. These Verona bastards, what's the use of being good with your mouths, you players just can't compete with our players thugs. The people of Verona, who had just achieved brilliant results in their scolding war, didn't know how to respond at that moment, they also didn't know why Lucas didn't stay a little longer and get some more food resources, the people of Astralberg wouldn't have so much shit to say if they could fill their personal space like Astralberg contestant Andrew who wasn't very efficient at carrying and had to sit down and rest for a while every two or three times he carried, it was well known that the Astralberg population had always been so efficient that they could chat and fart while they worked, they could leave work early just for afternoon tea, or they could fuck their bosses to get a break, with no restraints Andrew was even lazier, it didn't take long for him to feel tired and he would sit on his butt on the floor and casually fold a huge leaf to fan himself. His idea was simple, when you're tired, you need to rest, everything else falls by the wayside, now that there was plenty to eat, he could stay here until the food ran out and then go find a mate, otherwise it would be too tiring to fill the hut all at once, with that thought, Andrew picked another yellow fruit and lay down on the ground to take a big bite, as he looked at the huge tree with its dense foliage above him. The dappled sunlight filtered down a bit of dust like mayflies, floating. Hazily like a dream, true beauty, Andrew yawned and murmured, he was a little sleepy, it was time for a nap, Andrew's eyelids blinked heavily as he tried to close them, just then he vaguely heard a sound as he felt the grass beneath his bottom shake slightly, it was as if a huge creature was approaching, before he had time to think, the branches and leaves of the dense trees above his head were torn apart, and a large azure-colored eye obscured all sources of light. The blue eye emitted a faint blue light, black pupils instantly trapped Andrew's sweaty hairs as he tried to open the personal space for the first time to return to it, but to his despair, the personal space could not be opened at all, at that moment, a Stralberg's live broadcast instantly exploded, and countless people from various countries were frightened by this large, terrifying eyeball that suddenly appeared, holy shit, what kind of monster is that with such big eyes? This time, a Stralberg's player suffered. I just envied him for his quiet years he can enjoy his life slowly and leisurely not in a hurry at all now it seems he still can't be a salty fish I suddenly understand a little bit why Lucas hurriedly moved some things and ran away. Lucas must have a strong sixth sense to sense the danger in advance, just to close and run away, in this case, the Astralberg player was simply buried by his own stupidity and greed, if he had seen it coming and left earlier, he would have been finished. With the appearance of the monster, the comments in the live broadcast room immediately became one-sided, those who had originally looked down on Lucas now realized how wise his decision had been, the people of Verona also raised their eyebrows in relief, the people of other countries who had been attacked by the people of Astralberg didn't hesitate to throw stones and taunt them, the people of Astralberg, on the other hand, felt that their entire being was cold, even on a hot summer day, they felt icy cold, they watched as Andrew was crushed to death by a giant hand that fell from the sky as easily as crushing a bug, immediately after that, the live broadcast screen faded to a black screen, then a line of black text appeared, a Stralberg contestant dead disaster selected in disaster random, deliberate retaliation by forest trolls. Disaster cause, went out to receive friends of the forest troll returned to the manor found that his carefully cultivated strange fruit trees and all kinds of fruits were stolen by the abominable thieves even the gold land was dug up most of the time, which made him feel angry, 
disaster form. Ten minutes later, hundreds of millions of magical locusts will sweep through Astralberg's territory, wherever they pass through. There will not be an inch of grass, people, animals, plants, ors, the soil. Will be the target of the magical locusts, the land swept by the locust infestation will become a wasteland, incapable of planting and constantly emitting toxic substances, conditions for the end of the disaster. The death toll reaches 500,000 or the loss of arable land reaches 500,000 square kilometers. At the end of the disaster, Astralberg players will be randomly selected to re-enter the game, seeing this terrible disaster, the Astralberg broadcast room exploded, was the forest troll wrong? Obviously, the Verona player is the thief who stole his fruit trees and land, so why let us Astralberg take the blame? That's right, just because our players didn't leave in time, so they take out their anger on us Astralberg. It's not fair, this game is not fair at all, it's against us Astralberg. This disaster is too terrible, we Astralberg only have 1, 53 million square kilometers of arable land, if we lose half a million square kilometers of arable land that will reduce our food production by a third, compared to the panic and fear of the people of Astralberg, the people of other countries are gloating a bit at the moment, just now, the Astralbergers were scolding them, scolding how arrogant they were. Now how happy, Astralberg, isn't this just a minor disaster? We at Lumina survived it, what are you afraid of? Yes, we Philipsburg country is the same, bear it and it will pass, the lucky ones can continue to get high in the live room tomorrow, the unlucky ones can only say goodbye, laughing themselves to death, this group from Astralberg thought their country's players were going to take off, but they didn't expect to be slapped in the face by the forest trolls with a deliberate retaliation attached. Sit back and wait for the magical plague of locusts to descend. I've got the watermelon ready, fried chicken coke applied to watch the battle. Always be ready to applaud. A Stralberg cabinet, a group of politicians who hold the highest power in this country, held an emergency meeting to deal with the magical locust plague, the Prime Minister of Astralberg is sitting at the front with a sullen face, gentlemen, we don't have much time left, what do you think should be done to deal with this disaster? An official on the left stood up and said, Prime Minister, I think this is a multiple choice question given to us by the marriage game, there are two ways to end the disaster, one is to sacrifice the land, the other is to sacrifice the population, our Astralberg land is very important, this is the foundation of the country. If we lose half a million square kilometers of land then we will lose the advantage of food production in the future, not to mention food export, perhaps even difficult to meet domestic demand, in contrast, I think we can sacrifice some of the lower caste civilians to defend our country from this disaster. Prime Minister Astralberg's eyes flickered as he turned to the other officials, what do you all think? A group of officials raised their hands in agreement with the proposal of the official who had just spoken, low caste civilians should be sacrificed, I agree with this proposal, it is an honor for them to avert disaster for the country and minimize the damage, Astralberg will remember their contribution. Hearing the unanimous vote of the crowd, Astralberg's prime minister also nodded his head, he actually thought that this proposal was good, after all, in the eyes of Astralberg's high caste people, low caste people were no different from cattle, sacrificing a batch of livestock to reduce the country's loss of arable land was a good deal, then informed the officials of each local region that when the magical locust plague descends, the nearest region will immediately mobilize the low caste. Civilians against the magical locust plague, and no matter what method is used, the losses must be kept to a minimum. Is. With the highest decision-making level of Astralberg reaching an agreement, the outcome of the low-caste civilians as victims had also been characterized, in fact, Astralberg's educational penetration rate was so low that the vast majority of those who could grope and post pop-ups on Astralberg's live streams were Astralberg's elite class, most of the lower caste civilians are busy running for their lives. Unaware that an unprecedented catastrophe is about to unfold, the officials of Astralberg are constructing a scam against the low caste civilians, using them as victims to defend themselves against the disaster, in various towns of Astralberg the same scene is being played out at the moment, with an Astralberg policeman holding a loudspeaker announcing the recruitment of well-paid jobs with no limit to the number of people who can sign up and get paid, as a result. A large number of low-caste civilians with no real jobs came together and raised their hands to sign up. Time passed slowly, 10 minutes in a flash, 
the magical locust plague silently appeared in Antilla, in the northeastern part of Astralberg. Densely packed black locusts covered the sky, each one the size of a human head. From a distance, it looked like a black cloud covering the sky and spreading rapidly, and the people from various countries in Astralberg's live broadcast room were the first to discover the disaster. Holy shit. This magical grasshopper is too scary, it's so big. I feel like if I encountered it in the wild, I wouldn't be able to defeat it in single combat. Covering the sky, it looks like the end of days. It's really scary. This is Antilla, where many crops are grown, with the destructive nature of the magical locusts, I think Antilla will be drained of water. Terrible. Terrible. Astralberg is in trouble. You should be taught a lesson for mocking us, Lumina. On the live feed, the magical locusts have begun their feast. The locusts seemed to be scattered across the sky, but wherever they passed, the ground was lowered by tens of centimeters, all plants, rocks, and soil seemed to have been wiped away by an invisible hand, and the swept land quickly turned grayish-white, a large number of wild animals began to flee, creating a wave of beasts, some of the magical locusts stopped over Antilla, drank a few mouthfuls of Antilla's water and then fell into Antilla amidst the flapping of their wings, seeing this scene. The people of Astralberg went wild. She was worthy to be our mother river. The holy water must have a strong cleansing power. Even the magical locusts will surely die. Bless us, the mother river will triumph over all evil. Long live the mother river. Death to the magical locusts. Before they could write much, they could see that the waters of Antilla were turning black, or more precisely, greenish-black, and that the color was spreading rapidly, as far as the eye could see, the Antilla water began to emit black and green smoke that was highly toxic. Fuck Astralberg is in deep shit, Antilla is one of Astralberg's most important water sources, and Antilla is also an important agricultural area, so at the rate the magical locusts are contaminating it, Astralberg is going to lose a lot of money. And the mother river, your mother, has become someone else's color, a Stralberg near Antilla quickly run away, or else by the magical locusts near fear is not even a hair left. The pop-ups were flying in the live room and a Stralberg's officials had already begun to take action, a large number of grassroots officials near the Antilla watershed gathered a large number of low-caste people and led them in the direction of Antilla, there were already many Astralbergers living near Antilla, and Astralberg was densely populated, so it wasn't difficult to gather half a million people. As the magical locust plague spread, the images in the live broadcast room kept changing. Soon, a large number of locust civilians appeared in the center of the live broadcast screen. In the sky above the screen there were magical locusts as dense as a dark cloud, and on the ground below there were dense crowds of people, people from all over the world saw this scene. Some people were confused, what's going on here? Don't these people know the horror of the magical locust plague? Still running towards Antilla, can it be that Astralberg is going to start a fight with the magical locusts? At a time like this, they should be running away, but they still have the courage to go to Antilla, some smart people noticed that the looks of these Astralberg people matched the characteristics of the lower castes, and some people wearing Astralberg police uniforms were quietly evacuating and they immediately sensed that something was wrong. Why do I get the feeling that Astralberg is planning to sacrifice these civilians to minimize their own losses? If your hunch is correct, Astralberg's dignitaries are too toxic, aren't they? Astralberg's terrible rulers are simply too cold-blooded to stand on the angle of interests. The two choices of half a million civilians and half a million square kilometers of farmland are in front of us, the latter is indeed hard to give up, it's just that this is too ruthless, most of Astralberg's population has a low level of education, and this group of people were probably tricked into coming over to send themselves to their deaths. On the live broadcast screen, the dense magic locusts swept over in a frenzy as soon as they spotted the crowd, and the low-caste Astralberg civilians who were forced to come over at that time also understood that what those officials said was all false, this is clearly letting them come over to send them to their deaths amidst the crowd commotion, the stampede happened, the dense crowd was like a tidal wave, with people pushing each other and panic spreading rapidly, the locusts that covered. 
The sky were like scythes, feasting and quickly harvesting lives, the people of various countries who witnessed all this condemned Estralberg at that moment. The politicians of Estralberg are really inhuman to make such a decision. This is against humanitarianism and human rights and freedoms have been violated. I think Philipsburg and Lumina did a better job than Estralberg in dealing with the disaster, at least they didn't put the people at the bottom on top, if we were in Verona, the people's army would have been at the front with their guns and cannons. Amidst the curses, the previously active people of Estralberg didn't dare to post any more pop-ups, they also knew that such a decision by the rulers of their land was simply too cruel, with the magical locusts wreaking havoc and harvesting life in the Antilla Basin, the conditions for ending the disaster were soon met, a terrible disaster gradually came to an end, along with the verbal attacks of the people of various countries, at the same time, all the countries of the world did not have favorable feelings towards Estralberg and condemned it one after the other. Under enormous pressure, the Prime Minister of Estralberg had to publicly apologize to the deceased and promise to pay compensation, by this time, Lucas had already taken care of the magical farm, the three plowed fields were golden and full of mystery, wonder fruit tree, cumin-flavored chicken leg vine and flavored fruit milk tree were planted on the golden land and grew well. The crops grown on the magical farm will ripen every day, meaning that Lucas will be able to eat delicious. Otherworldly fruit every day for the rest of his life, the thatched huts of the magic farm served as warehouses, and all kinds of otherworldly fruits were neatly arranged in different categories, which greatly enriched the food choices, the refrigerator in the living area was also filled with what could be called a full harvest. Don't think of these things as fruits, but the dong cultivated by the forest trolls was truly diverse, there was the long bean noodle, which looked and tasted like noodles, and when cooked it was a big pot of delicious noodles, there was black breadfruit and white breadfruit, which tasted like bread and had a sweet sauce inside that was quite delicious, there are also beef jerky vines, which, as the name suggests, taste like beef jerky and even have a similar nutritional profile, this made. Lucas grateful for the forest trolls, who are not trolls, just my good big brother, thank you, big brother, for growing so much deliciousness. As the busy time in the farm exceeded an hour, the summoned goblin warriors had automatically dissipated, Bonnie was busy and sweating profusely and had already gone to take a bath in company, Lucas picked some of the various delicacies in the storehouse and some of the three kinds of fruit in the field, kept them full and returned to the living area, when Bonnie finished her bath. Lucas greeted her and asked her to come along and try some. As they ate the delicious snacks, both girls had sweet smiles on their faces, their eyes curved into crescent moons, especially Bonnie, she and Lucas had been eating rations for two days and now that they were suddenly food free, they couldn't be happier, the people of Verona, who had been watching the live broadcast without leaving, saw this and immediately let out voices of envy, this food looks so delicious, what should I do, I want to eat it too. Get a steak to satisfy your hunger, watching Lucas work hard and then harvest all this food, I also felt a strong sense of satisfaction and reward, I hope the next national reward brings some otherworldly food. I think the carrots from San Andreas Island are also deliciously sweet and refreshing, and as good as the carrots from San Andreas Island are, you'll get tired of eating them every day. Don't complain, Philipsburg next door and Lumina as well as those who can't eat the carrots and revered foreigners have long been craving for tears, Lucas tasted a few bites of each food, then stood up and stretched and said to the two daughters you guys keep eating, I'm going to check out the refreshment of that door, the two girls nodded and urged Lucas to be careful, Lucas smiled faintly and left the personal space, returning to the game room, by this time, the original room door leading to the forest troll's private mansion had already been refreshed and turned into a brand new grey door, Lucas fixed his eyes and stared at it, and a golden text prompt appeared in front of his eyes, room type, monster room monster type, elite, hibernating giant bear level 4-1 terrain, cave mortality rate, 0% hint, there is a hibernating giant bear in this room, although it is an elite monster. The long time of hibernation has made it fall into a state of weakness, if you call Bonnie to help you in battle, you can take advantage of its weakness to easily kill it. Elite monsters have a chance of dropping treasure chests Lucas' eyes lit up even though he hadn't encountered any elite monsters yet, since the mortality rate is 0%, it means there's no risk, 
What's more, there was a chance of dropping a treasure chest, so it had to be done quickly. Lucas made a quick decision and returned to his personal room. He was going to call out to Bonnie to go and brush the hibernating giant bear. At that time Bonnie has finished eating East is sitting on the sofa. Chatting, Lucas went straight up and said to the two women, outside refreshed a new room, let's go together to explore it, well, the two girls nodded and got up to follow Lucas to the game room, the people of Verona who were watching the live broadcast were both excited and nervous when they saw Lucas start to move again, here it comes, here it comes, Lucas has started exploring again, bless Lucas for not being in danger. Having just seen the disaster in Estralburg, I'm now a little weak in the knees, excited to see Lucas exploring and earning rewards, but also afraid that he'll run into danger and disaster will strike, I would have thought something like exploring would be more of a good thing, but after watching half a million Estralburg civilians die, it suddenly feels good to be alive. I must say Lucas is really brave, know that exploring every room is full of danger and may even lose their lives, but he this exploration frequency is really high, Lucas real man not afraid of the risk of death for the glory of the country. I'd like to give him a shout out. At that time the people of Lumina Philipsburg country people of Stralberg all these countries that have bad geo-relationships with Verona were all throwing cool water, especially the people of Stralberg, who had just been affected by the disaster, were full of grievances in their hearts and happened to be venting them like crazy in the live broadcast room. You guys in Verona have an old saying that there's no such thing as not getting your shoes wet when you walk by the river all the time, it's only a matter of time before something happens to Lucas and with the size and population of Verona the disaster is sure to be quite horrific. Don't get too cocky Veronians, you're only ahead for a while, it only takes one encounter with danger to bring you back down to earth. This refreshed door is a random grey door hopefully it's a room leading to the Jedi, Verona is rubbish Lucas is rubbish we don't get rewarded you don't get rewarded and I wish you all disasters every day. In response, the people of Verona immediately launched a counterattack, only a garbage country would sacrifice the lives of ordinary civilians to save itself in the face of disaster, compared to your Stralberg army, our Verona soldiers are the real men who stand in the sky and defend our country. Even if disaster strikes us in Verona, we will be safe and sound under the defense of the sons and daughters of the people, rubbish Estralberg, your weakness in the face of the magical locust plague will become a stigma, a label for you, a bunch of softies. Aside from Estralberg and all of you luminous, Lucas had entered a pitch black room, there was basically no source of light in this place and you couldn't see out of the corner of your eye while a whistling wind sound kept ringing out like the wheezing of some kind of creature, causing some nervousness among the viewers of the live stream, what kind of place is this, it's too dark, there won't be any scary monsters, right? I can't even see Lucas in this darkness, what's the situation, it's the first time I've seen this kind of room, Lucas can't be in trouble, that wind sound makes my hair stand on end, is it some kind of monster? Compared to the weaker Verona people, Lucas level 4 attribute also brings strong eyesight, he can barely see a few meters in the darkness, but still can't get a full view of the place, but he does not worry, the clues have already said very clearly that inside sleeping hibernating giant bears he brought two daughters-in-law it is impossible to die. Lucas squeezed Harvey's jade hand and said quietly, I feel that there is a powerful monster here, please use your white eyes to find it, Harvey nodded and immediately opened her white eyes, in the next second, the pitch black cave in front of her eyes turned into a grey white vision, deep in the cave, a large ball of plush flesh two stories high shrank together, its body undulating regularly with its breathing, Harvey lowered his voice, Lucas tightened the finger tiger in his hand and said to the two girls, if that's the case, let's take advantage of the monster's unpreparedness to take it down in one fell swoop. The two women nodded their heads with serious faces, obviously already in a state of battle, under Harvey's command, the three of them quickly moved forward inside the pitch black cave and arrived next to the hibernating giant bear. The audience in the live broadcast room couldn't see the east at all and could only rely on the sound of Lucas trio exchanging to judge their actions, Lucas said that there are monsters in this room, it seems that the whistling sound of the wind is probably the sound of the monster breathing, it's so dark, I feel claustrophobic. I'm really sweating for Lucas and the others, don't get into trouble, don't get into trouble. People from other countries scoffed, this looks like a place where powerful monsters live, Lucas is going down. 
Finally, I can see a disaster happening in Verona, I must record this exciting moment and watch it every day from now on. Lucas should have died long ago, it's good enough to keep him alive this long, as the various pop-ups taunted each other and attacked each other's countries in different ways, a green glow suddenly appeared in the live broadcast room. Following the light, the viewers could see that it turned out to be a cave and that there was actually a giant white bear in the cave. The source of the light was Hinata Harvey. Her hands blossomed with intense chakra energy and she launched continuous and deadly soft punch attacks at the giant bear's head, Lucas and Bonnie at the side also did not hesitate and together with Harvey, they launched the strongest attacks they could at the giant bear's head, the three of them were all level 4 existences, the same level as this hibernating giant bear, taking advantage of its weakest moment during hibernation to launch a deadly attack at its head certainly wouldn't come as a Surprise, the whole process was even easier and smoother than Lucas had imagined, he had thought that after sending the attack, the giant bear would wake up and then he would have to fight for a while before he could take it down, as a result, he didn't expect the giant bear to die instantly and violently after a round of attack. A prompt text with a white border on a black background appeared in front of his eyes, you Bonnie and Hinata Harvey have killed hibernating giant bear 1 experience value plus 100. Congratulations, you have reached level 5, full attributes plus 5, longevity plus 5, based on the level binding rules between spouses in the marriage game, Bonnie has reached level 5 and Hinata has reached level 5 Harvey, Bonnie has reached level 5 and has learned a new skill, fallen leaf flying flower 1 fallen leaf flying flower 1, the attack skill consumes a lot of energy and after storing energy for 3 seconds. It sends 20 maple leaves at the target, dealing a lot of damage with 5 sonic blasts. Cooldown time 24 hours, Hinata Harvey reaches level 5 and learns a new skill, Soft Step Twin Lion Fist Level 1 Soft Step Twin Lion Fist Level 1, a high level secret physical art using white eyes, both hands gather a large amount of chakra and then change form to form two ferocious lion heads. The attack range of this state is dramatically increased and the lethality is drastically increased with a 24-hour cooldown. The hibernating giant bear immediately brought 100 experience points, allowing Lucas and the others to advance to level 5, and Bonnie mastered new skills, much to his surprise, but the surprise was much more than that, at that moment, a bronze treasure chest blooming with milky white light appeared on the corpse of the hibernating giant bear, and the golden exclamation mark on the treasure chest shone in the pitch black cave. The Veronians in the live stream reacted quickly after a brief moment of astonishment, holy shit, I didn't even have time to look at what was happening before Lucas got to level 5, and holy shit, Bonnie even learned a new skill, and looking at the skill description, it looks like it's a pretty fierce attack. Soft Step Double Lion Fist The Secret Soft Fist Body Technique of the Hyuga Family Clan If you look at this giant bear with a head the size of a small car, it's amazing how easily Lucas and the others took care of it. Lucas, you are my god. Harvey is the MVP of this game, right? You just did the Bagua 64 Palm from Jiu Jitsu, right? It's amazing, I signed up for Jiu Jitsu, but I don't even know the acupuncture points, let alone the Bagua Palm, the people from other countries who were originally full of malice towards the people from Verona and Lucas at that moment all closed their mouths as if they had eaten a fly, although they still wanted to continue to mock and throw stones. But the bronze treasure chest and the golden exclamation mark on the live broadcast screen were too dazzling and directly blocked their words in. Their chests, Lucas' excitement was no less than Verona's people, he rubbed his hands together and couldn't wait to go forward to open the bronze treasure chest, when the bronze treasure chest was opened, the body of the hibernating giant bear instantly transformed into a sky full of starlight and merged with the treasure chest. The opening of the treasure chest also blossomed with dazzling cyan light, completely illuminating the cave, after a few seconds, the cyan light disappeared and the cave faded away like a phantom, the room refreshed into a pure white starting room, and black text prompts appeared in front of Lucas' eyes, congratulations. You have opened a random bronze treasure chest and received a magical ranch edition personal space upgrade card primary cloakroom card personal space upgrade card magical ranch. Edition, 
After using this card, your personal space will be upgraded and there will be an additional door leading to the Magical Ranch. The initial area of the Magical Ranch is 100 acres and it is capable of raising livestock and poultry. Animals on the ranch will grow and reproduce very quickly, but will not exceed the number that the ecology of the ranch can support. If you already have a Magic Pasture, using this card will increase the size of the pasture by 100 acres. Primary Dressing Card after using this card, you can create a wardrobe in the living area with 10 sets of random female clothing without attributes, 5 sets of random male clothing without attributes, a number of different types of socks and stockings, and a number of underwear and pants. Not bad, it's all good stuff, Lucas eyes lit up, this magical pasture must be a complementary facility to the magical farm, with the pasture. If you come across some livestock in the future, you can catch them and breed them, so you will have an endless supply of fresh meat as food, and the primary wardrobe was also very good, the attached clothes solved the problem of changing clothes for Lucas and the others, mind you, he, Bonnie and Harvey hadn't had a change of clothes in the last few days. They all washed them every night and wore them the next day, now that there is a primary wardrobe, it can be considered as a solution to the urgent need, Lucas was happy in his heart and looked at the attribute panel, name, Lucas level, 523 out of 100 strength, 30 constitution, 31 agility, 30 wisdom, 30 charisma, 30 skills, maple leaf incarnation level 1 soft fist level 1 remarks, normal people, in addition to the life expectancy, the average value of all the attributes of the 5 strength and the Various once again improved. Unfortunately, there was no synchronized learning of Bonnie's new skills, but Lucas is not greedy anyway, and if his daughter-in-law knows, that means he knows, taking advantage of the team's increased strength, Lucas' desire to explore was equally high, he couldn't wait to see the three doors in the room, the first one he looked at was the one on the left, and a golden text prompt quickly appeared in front of his eyes, room type, abyssal monster room monster type, Abyssal Ogre Level 510 Terrain, Magma Stone Forest Mortality Rate, 100% Hint, there are 10 strong Abyssal Ogres in this room, not only that, the terrible terrain of the Magma Stone Forest will easily harvest your life, so it's best not to set foot in it, Lucas smacked his lips secretly and hurriedly looked at the room in front of him. Room Type, Small Boss Room Monster Type, Runner Little Ba Level 10 1 Terrain, Beach Mortality Rate, 100% hint, there is a small boss in this room, its strength is not to be underestimated, and it also knows all kinds of magic spells, you are not its opponent, so don't go and get yourself killed. Another room with a full mortality rate, Lucas secretly spat out a sentence and looked towards the last room. Hopefully this room will pass the room type, trap room trap type, tentacle monsters lair. Trap effect. Endless tentacles will bind all creatures that enter it and drain their life essence with all kinds of maneuvers, mortality rate, 100% peak, there is a horrible tentacle monster in this room, when your physique reaches 100 points, you can consider going in to have some fun, but if you dare to go in now, you will only end up getting your butt blown off, Lucas cursed in his heart, he didn't expect that the three rooms that have been refreshed are not good places to go. It seems that today's exploration can only end here. Lucas quickly calmed down and returned to his private room with Bonnie. When the people of Verona in the live broadcast room saw that he wasn't continuing his exploration, their hanging hearts were immediately relieved, looks like Lucas' explorations are over for the day, so I can eat in peace, I just watched him survey the three doors in the room and thought he would continue exploring, but I didn't expect him to stop, it seems that Lucas knows how to stop when he's done. He's already gotten a lot of rewards from today's exploration, so he's making the right decision to stop, as you can see, Lucas has begun to expand his personal space. At that moment, Lucas had already used the Magical Ranch version of the upgrade card inside his personal space, in the next second, the house in the personal space immediately disintegrated into a sky of building materials and was rebuilt into a brand new house in just a few seconds, the upgraded house changed from a one-bedroom, one living room, one kitchen, one bathroom bachelor apartment to a three-bedroom, one living room, one kitchen, two-bathroom quality suite with an area of 200 square meters, and every bit of space was very spacious. 
In the spacious living room, there were two different colored doors, one was the green door that led to the magic farm, and the other brown door must be the one that led to the magic ranch, instead of rushing to the magical ranch, Lucas also used the primary cloakroom card, the card didn't move much when he used it, except for an extra pink door in the living room that must have led to the cloakroom, the people of Verona, watching the live stream, were in awe of the magical changes that were happening to their personal space, Dear Lord, I went straight from a bachelor pad to a high-end neighborhood commercial house. It's so cool, I haven't even bought a house yet, Lucas has been in the game for a few days and now he has a house and a wife or two. I'm so jealous. Actually, I am jealous too, but when I think about the risk Lucas took when he explored, I immediately do not envy him this treatment he deserves, I wouldn't dare enter the marriage game even if it was 10 times more than this, I'm afraid of dying. At this time, Bonnie curiously came to Lucas' side and held his arm left and right, chirping and asking, Husband, is this the door to the junior wardrobe? Lucas, are there any clothes in there that we can wear? Lucas smiled and said, Of course there are ten sets of women's clothes in there, so you can just talk yourselves into five sets each, Bonnie's face showed a look of surprise as she couldn't wait to push open the pink door and go inside, although the name of the primary wardrobe with the word primary. But the size of the space inside and the degree of luxury is not the slightest bit worse than a large villa in a mansion only the dressing room has five, under the exquisite wardrobe is neatly. Displayed a set of clothes next to the storage compartment is a lot of different styles of stockings, the bottom of the shoe cabinet is also full of various types of men's and women's shoes. Love of beauty is a woman's nature Bonnie is naturally no exception, the two women cheered each went up to pick a favorite set of clothes happy to Lucas side in his left and right cheeks are sent a kiss, Bonnie soft as water said, husband I picked a set of short skirts and black silk suit a moment to wear to you to see the Harvey face blushing Lucas swallowed nodded with difficulty, then you go to change it. The two women looked at each other, a smile in their eyes, then went to the dressing room to change, the Veronians in the live room were stunned, especially the men, Good lord, Bonnie in a short skirt and Harvey in a sailor suit, this is the rhythm of milking it dry damn, I'm jealous. Why don't I have such a good wife? You still need to restrain your evil thoughts and be clear of your desires, like me, when I heard Bonnie say those words to Lucas, I already turned into a sage, the guy upstairs is another man, enough said, I've got the tissues ready, just as most of the men were concentrating, Bonnie changed and came out of the dressing room the two big beauties with the best face value at this time, wearing very attractive short wrap skirt and sailor suit, one black silk and one white silk walked to Lucas, sighed and looked at him with charming eyes, just this scene let a crowd of male viewers hot blood, some directly on the nosebleed, the next moment, however, the live broadcast screen faded to black, countless wailing pop-ups resounded through the heavens and the earth. This is not it. This is a black screen. Marriage game cannot relax a little, we are all adults see a little exciting, how? Lucas did not know about the lamentation of the group, at this time he had already fallen into the gentle land of double happiness, unable to extricate himself, it so happens that the sky is getting dark, people in the real world can only put down the disappointment in their hearts ready to wash and sleep, the night was not very safe in the marriage game, tonight's natural disaster was a snowstorm. And some players from smaller countries with weaker physiques could not withstand the cold and froze to death in their huts and their affiliated countries also suffered a disaster as a result, on top of that, the vast majority of the country's players were frozen to the point that their snot bubbles froze, only a few players who dared to explore and were rewarded were able to spend the night comfortably, Lucas, for example had his own heater in his three-bedroom apartment and wasn't afraid of the cold temperatures brought on by the blizzard. Besides, he was accompanied by two hot women, so how could he be affected by the cold when he was lucky enough not to be sweating? On top of that, the Caldera participant, a young black and white guy named Tom, is also having a great night on the other side of the ocean, in the process of exploring, he received a personal space upgrade card and upgraded his living quarters to a Nordic folk house, as we all know, the climate in northern Europe is so cold that you have to burn wood in the fireplace in the winter. The living area that was upgraded to a Nordic house happens to have a fireplace and firewood, therefore, bye. Burning firewood to warm the room, Tom did not feel cold at all during the night and slept soundly, 
Early the next morning, Tom was awakened by hunger and set out in search of food, outside, a large number of people from various countries flocked to the live stream after realizing that the Caldera player had begun exploring. Since Lucas' live screen was still blacked out at the time, many Veronians also rushed to Caldera's live room to post a pop-up screen, some Caldera residents, upon seeing the pop-ups made up of Verona text, immediately came out with insults, damn it, get out of our Caldera's live room. Squinting is bad luck, get out of here. You'd better pray to God that the Verona people who came to Caldera's live room originally just wanted to watch the fun, but not realizing that they were somehow being scolded, they immediately launched a counterattack. I came here to watch the live broadcast because I give you face, don't yell here, okay? As we all know, Caldera is a country with no quality, so naturally the people of this country are full of curses, instead of yelling and swearing here, you should worry about your country's players, you bunch of idiots. The swearing continued in the live broadcast room and Tom began his quest for the day. As a veteran video game player, he had long been familiar with the rules of the marriage game, and he was lucky to have survived for so many days, it was just that he hadn't come across a red wedding room in the past few days, and that made him a little apprehensive, after all, since it was called a marriage game, marriage had to be the most important thing, so Tom had been praying in his heart the whole time for a wedding room. Today his prayers were answered, in the room where he was now, all four doors after the refreshment were red wedding rooms, which made Tom overjoyed, he took a deep breath, closed his eyes, and spun around a few times, trying to decide his fate, after a few seconds, Tom stopped spinning, opened his eyes, and walked resolutely toward the red door in front of him, he prayed softly in his heart, God, please answer my call and give me a friendly marriage partner and a simple marriage test. As they watched Tom begin to act, the voices of mutual insults in the live room became less and less, instead, the Caldera population couldn't help but show off to each other after seeing four red mating doors in the room, ignorant and stupid yellow-skinned monkeys, open your squinty eyes wide and see that there are four mating doors in this room, which means that our country's player will be able to get at least four mates today, which is two more than your country's Lucas. For mating doors indeed, God still favors us Caldera, we are the only superpower in the world, we were, we are and we will be. Brave Tom will be Caldera's superman, he's our hero. The Lucas populace scoffed, aren't you taking things for granted? Matchmaking rooms aren't 100% secure, to get a mate, your players must first pass the marriage test, and failing the test is a dead end. I see that he's been in the marriage room for several days now and he hasn't had a single match, I don't know if it's just bad luck or good luck, it's good luck to be able to stay for so many days, I guess he's afraid to enter the red door, that's why he doesn't have a match, in the middle of the argument, Tom had already pushed open a red door and cautiously entered. The environment that met his eyes looked like the cabin of a spaceship in a sci-fi movie, and on the silver white alloy holda. Red signal light kept flashing. Tom breathed a sigh of relief in his heart, this place looks very high-tech, it seems that his mate should be from a higher race, right? With this thought he took a step forward, intending to explore a bit and find a mate in the meantime, however, when he took two steps forward, he felt that the soles of his feet were very sticky. When he raised his feet, thick green slime covered the ground and the soles of his shoes were stained with drawn slime, this discovery made Tom's heart tighten, how come this green slime seemed like he had seen it somewhere before? Hardening his resolve, he continued on and after walking about 10 meters, he noticed that the ground in front of him was densely packed with all sorts of round ovoid objects, one sheet and one loose, as if they were breathing, so familiar, but he couldn't remember what they were, Tom frowned and felt his brain itch, and at that moment the live broadcast room had exploded, Caldera's audience had launched pop-ups, these eggs, it seems are the eggs of a face-hugging worm. No, to be precise, they must be aliens. Then won't Tom suffer? No, this is a mating room, if you pass the mating test, you won't die, and no disaster will befall Tom if he doesn't die. In that case, let's pray for him. And the Lucas populace, who were originally scolded in a frenzy, naturally returned the favor by gloating at this point, alien you don't want to marry an alien, do you? It's terrible, alien blood is corrosive, I can't even think about getting married, 
I think your contestant is dead, alien creatures are so horrible and cruel that he'll never survive, I'm waiting for the disaster to hit the Caldera people, I want to see how many people who just cursed us will die, as the crowd watched, the live broadcast screen suddenly shook, and a huge figure slowly emerged from the pitch black distance. It was a 5 meter tall alien queen, she was followed by a group of aliens guarding her. Your spouse is Queen Kashi, a wandering tribal queen of the alien race, so please try your best to pass her test, seeing this scene, Tom was stunned and froze with a pale face, he wanted to run, but his legs were too weak, at that moment, the alien queen let out a hoarse scream, and the mating game warmly tried to provide a translation, forming it into black prompt text that floated in front of Tom's eyes, are you the one I mate with? What a handsome human, I just wonder if your body is strong enough. Tom swallowed, comparing the 1 meter 8 he was to the 5 meter plus Kashi, feeling that his entire body was not as thick as her arm, but to stay alive, he could only harden his heart and say, Honorable Queen Kashi, I definitely belong to the strong type among humans. Since he was a video game fan and spent most of his time playing games, his body wasn't considered strong at all. But what's a lie compared to staying alive? Kashi nodded slightly and continued making hoarse sounds, in that case, my marriage test is for you to accept the parasitism of our xenomorph embryos as long as you can successfully conceive the next generation and not die. Tom's face instantly turned horribly white, but before he could say anything, an alien appeared in front of him holding a face-hugging bug egg, in the next second, the egg directly cracked face-hugging bugs and a lightning-fast momentum pounced on Tom's face, quickly completing the parasitism. This scene had the audience in the live broadcast room shaking with fear, whether it was the people of the caldera or people from other countries. They only felt a wave of disgust, because the sense of immersion of the live broadcast image was too strong just by looking at it, they felt as if they were being parasitized as well, it was hard for them to imagine what it was like to be a truly parasitized Tom. The people of caldera sent out desperate pop-ups, it's over, it's completely over. How can a human body of flesh and blood not die after breeding with an alien? Tom is dead, disaster is coming to our country, I must seek refuge. I'm going to my grandfather's farm to escape the disaster. The Lucas populace struck while the iron was hot and mocked, as it turns out, less fooling around until things work out, hopefully this disaster will teach you milquetoasts a lesson and you'll be less racist in the future, alright? Drop your no-good superiority complexes, all countries are on the same starting line when it comes to the marriage game. This is the punishment for your foul mouth, your god will not bless you. Maybe it was the special rules of the marriage game, but the alien embryo, after parasitizing Tom, developed extremely fast, in only two minutes it had already taken shape and was planning to burst out of his chest, Tom felt the sharp pain in his chest and fell to the ground with various rolls and struggles, disgusting green slime stained all over his body, at the side, the alien queen and a group of aliens did nothing, just stood there and watched coldly, a minute later, a small alien from Tom's chest broke out of the shell, splattering blood, at this point Tom was still alive and gasping for air, after moving its body on the ground, the little alien looked up at the alien queen, seeing the alien queen nod her head, the little alien turned around and began gnawing at Tom's body, during the gnawing process, it grew rapidly in size, soaring toward mature alien growth. Eventually, Tom was gnawed away and the little alien truly became a mature alien warrior, it then walked behind the alien queen and joined the group of aliens escorting the queen, the screen of the live broadcast room faded to a black screen and a line of prompt text appeared, Caldera contestant died the disaster has been selected in the disaster randomization as alien invasion. In 10 minutes, one state in Caldera will be randomly selected to drop one alien queen and 100 alien guards these aliens will rapidly multiply and spread until they are all eliminated or take over the continent they are in note. If all the aliens cannot be eliminated, they will take over the continent they are in and will not go away fortunately. They will not take a single step outside the continent they are in to end the disaster, you must either give up a continent or eliminate them all. The alien after the disaster is over, the Caldera player will be randomly selected to re-enter the game. Upon seeing this series of catastrophes, the people of the Caldera panicked, my god, I'm faking your whole family. How dare you not bless the citizens of the Caldera who believe in you. 
It's over, it's over, the aliens are going to invade Caldera, they're going to take over some random state, hopefully not mine. You cowards, cowards. I've got my guns and Molotov cocktails ready. I'm going to kill all the aliens. I'm so scared, I don't want to be parasitized by the aliens who are heading for the continent I'm in, in contrast to the nervous or hysterical Caldera population, the Verona population seem to be laughing and joking, let's make you racist, let's make your mouth stink mouth to the aliens if you can go call them out to their faces, call them a trashy alien race and see if you get popped in the arse by an alien's retractable tongue. Mib, get down on your knees and sing your conquests, we Verona. We'll be way ahead in the mating game. Even though my trippy mind tells me I should feel sorry for the Migos at times like this, I can't help but feel the corners of my mouth turn up at the strong patriotic feelings, everyone calm down, we Verona is a peace-loving country, we Veronians are also peace-loving people, don't laugh too loud for the free people across the ocean to hear. Otherwise they will stand on the moral high ground and beat us up saying we are cold-blooded and heartless, while all sorts of pop-ups were going on. Caldera's Congress had already opened an emergency session, informing the states to stand by and be ready for disaster, time passed slowly, and 10 minutes passed quickly, the text on the live feed changed again, the countdown is over, the aliens have decided to invade Kanya, please prepare the people of Kanya in Caldera. When this prompt appeared, the live broadcast screen changed for a while, splitting into nine different scenes, each representing a city in Kanya, a total of nine cities, at the same time, the sky above the cities on the screen was suddenly covered with dark clouds, followed by the appearance of a large number of spatial and temporal vortices, if someone had counted them carefully, they would have realized that there were 101 vortexes in total, a few seconds later, aliens slowly descended from the Vortex, each of them over 2, 5 meters tall, the largest of the aliens, the queen, was 5 meters tall, people from all over Kanya looked up to the sky and screamed as they saw this horrible scene and ran to a safe place. Kanya's official TV station reported the disaster urgently, so some people who didn't always pay attention to the live broadcast of the marriage matching game knew the details and returned to their homes, closing their doors and windows tightly. However, ordinary homes were no match for the aliens, who easily broke down the doors and parasitized the people inside with their face-hugging eggs, soon a large number of newborn aliens would be born, exploding the colony's numbers, by this time. People from all over the world had heard of this horrific disaster and were watching it on Caldera's live feed, without seeing it, they realized that the free lighthouse Caldera was just too magical. Due to the fact that the people of Caldera believed in different ideologies, the people of Kanya behaved in a strange manner during this moment of disaster. Due to the small initial number of aliens, Kanya's official force divisions quickly move out to choke off the various transportation routes with the intention of wiping the aliens out of the cradle ahead of time, after all, 101 aliens, though quite a few, could only be wiped out in the face of heavy firepower. However, the Kanya people's operation had stunned the people of various countries. Alien has not yet attacked the region there are a large number of small black organized smash and grab. Zero dollar purchase while also holding firearms and Kanya force department to start a gun battle cheering endlessly, some environmentalists gathered in the march shouting that this alien invasion is the result of the destruction of the environment, vegetarians also joined the march stating that meat-eating populations would be slaughtered by the aliens, while vegans would be welcomed by the aliens. There were even animal rights activists holding up makeshift painted alien banners and shouting, that aliens are rare animals and Caldera should protect them. Such a chaotic scene appeared in countless streets of different cities in Kanya, which greatly hindered the expansion of the official armed forces, the people of the countries in the live stream opened their eyes and pop-ups were flying, I thought that a hundred aliens probably couldn't hold back the heavy firepower and that they would have to develop obscenely for a while if they really wanted to create a disaster. But I didn't expect the people of Kanya to be so stupid, no, it's the freedom. That is uniquely Caldera, where everyone gets to hold on to their ideas and thoughts doghead, freedom is freedom and stupidity is really stupid and the fact that there are people asking for protection from the aliens just makes me laugh my head off, Caldera's unique landscape I have seen a lot today, at this time in Kanya. The number of aliens is increasing in a straight line and at the same time has begun to gradually spread to the area where many people parade. 
Seeing so many prey gathered together, the aliens all froze for two seconds and then swarmed up to the crowd, capturing them and dragging them back to their nests for the face-hugging worms to parasitize, it was at this moment that the marching humans knew fear, and their previously exuberant expressions turned to shock as they fled in all directions, rolling and crawling, in the process. The defense line of the power department was thrown into chaos, the temporary commander immediately contacted the governor and asked for instructions, and the governor's face was grim as he looked at the live feed of those fools who had disrupted the defense line and sternly said, all those who stormed the defense line are enemies, open fire. Shoot them all. For the sake of peace in Konya, we must nip the alien disaster in the bud. The temporary commanders of the cities received this order at the same time, and after a brief hesitation, their eyes turned cold as they looked at the chaotic crowd without the slightest emotion and gave orders to the warriors standing by, fire. Destroy all creatures that dare to storm the defense line. These heavily armed warriors were already holding a bellyful of fire at this moment when they received the order, all kinds of firearms spewed fire without hesitation, the dense sound of gunfire resounded through the defense line, and the sound of crunching bullet casings falling to the ground was endless, now, the crowd that had originally caused the disturbance was instantly caught in a two-sided situation. There was a large amount of firepower attacking in front of them and an alien. Attacking behind them, Within minutes, all of these people were dead, this scene got mixed reviews from the audience in the live broadcast room, many condemned it, but many more were in favor of it, and the pop-ups came in like a tidal wave. It was just that after the interruption of these chaotic crowds, the number of aliens had grown completely, under the command of the alien queen, they didn't fight hard against the troop divisions occupying the main traffic lanes, nor did they try to storm the defense lines. But instead they bypassed the difficult points through the sewers and continued to look for prey for the face-hugging worms to parasitize their ever-growing own colony, for a while, the sewers proved to be a paradise for the aliens, their figures were densely packed and they behaved in a neat and orderly manner, this scene was also shown on the live broadcast screen, unlike the people of the various countries who marveled at the terrifying qualities of such creatures as the aliens, the faces of the governor of Konya and the congressman of the caldera were ironic. It was obvious that the aliens that had taken over the city's drainage system could no longer be removed by simple military action. According to their reproduction rate, if the people of Konya weren't evacuated immediately, it wouldn't be long before all those people would be parasitized by the aliens and produce new aliens, therefore, the Caldera Congress immediately demanded that the governor of Konya evacuate the entire population, in response, the governor of Konya, of course, cooperated fully. First sending out evacuation information through the internet, television, and radio, and then mobilizing the state's armed forces and military to form evacuation squares to pick up people along the way, those who were not in the path of the military were left to fend for themselves, because the governor of Konya knows very well that the longer the delay, the greater the danger and after a long time, even the army might not be able to leave Konya, the pop-ups were flying in the live room. You guys, the aliens are indifferent to the evacuating army and even deliberately spared some of the people to join the evacuation team. Why do I have the feeling that the aliens won't let go of these troops easily? Judging from the way the aliens acted before, they are equipped with intelligence and will most likely use tricks against the troops, have you noticed this? The people who were released by the aliens are all the people who have pets, there are cats, there are dogs, and there are also snakes and scorpions and other exotic pets, strange, the aliens are not hostile to animals. Spared their owners, by the way. In the middle of the crowd's discussion, the evacuating army square suddenly underwent a drastic change. The pets that the evacuating people had brought into the army formation immediately burst open at the chest, and a large number of aliens that had relied on the genes of the animals began to attack the nearby armed soldiers, as we all know, the advantage of aliens is that after they parasitize a mother body, they can use the excellent genes of that creature, compared to humans. All kinds of animals have stronger movement genes, and many of them can run when they are young, this advantage is. Also passed on to the parasitic animal aliens, young cat xenomorphs, dog xenomorphs, snake xenomorphs, and other types of animal xenomorphs all have strong attack power and agility, 
this was an ability that the juvenile aliens that parasitized humans did not possess. When these animal aliens started killing, the army formation immediately turned into a mess. The most threatening machine gunners were the first to be killed by the animal aliens, and then they lurked like assassins in the shadows. Jumping out from time to time to harvest a few lives, now the retreating steps of these army formations were like being tied up with lead weights, heavy and unbearable, and they were also being bled from time to time, so sooner or later they would fall on the road to evacuation. The animal aliens basically declared the end of their total annihilation at that moment, in an armored vehicle, the governor of Kanya was so alarmed that he hastily ordered all vehicles to leave the crowd and evacuate quickly, in this kind of crisis, those who can sit in the vehicle are all the senior officials and managers of various departments, as well as the commander of the army and so on. Since they were able to sit in that position, their judgment of the situation was naturally very accurate, they understood very well that the army square had fallen, so, after receiving the order, an armored car jumped over the crowd without hesitation and sped off into the distance, seeing this scene, the fleeing crowd let out a desperate roar, many of the soldiers who were holding their positions saw that they were being abandoned and raised their guns in anger to shoot at the fleeing armored car. But it didn't affect the distance of the armored car in the slightest. With the vehicle gone as cover, the remaining soldiers were unable to effectively counterattack the aliens, and it wasn't long before they were all wiped out, the crowd on the armored vehicle showed smiles of survival, but before it lasted a few seconds, their expressions turned to horror, only to see a dense mass of aliens coming down the road like a tidal wave, everyone, including Governor Kanya, was desperate at this point. A few seconds later, the aliens densely surrounded the vehicles. Their sharp front limbs ripping open the armor of the armored vehicles, revealing a group of people inside who were limping on the ground, then some of the aliens threw the face-hugging bug eggs into the vehicles, quickly completing the parasitism as the crowd of members of the Caldera Congress watched the scene on the live screen, all of them falling into silence. After a few moments the Speaker of the House spoke with difficulty fellow members it is clear that Kanya has no survivors in this. Disaster, next, we must discuss a new motion, whether to destroy the aliens to retake Kanya, or to temporarily send the army to besiege Kanya. There was a heated discussion between the red and blue MPs about the motion, some believe that Kanya is Caldera's land and must be reclaimed, some people thought that the aliens were so numerous and could parasitize humans that it was inappropriate for the army to enter the battlefield and the only way to destroy them all was to use the air force to bomb them. But the aliens had taken over the sewers and if they bombed all the drainage systems it would cost a lot of money and Kanya would be reduced to rubble which would not be cost effective after retaking the land, after a heated discussion, the Caldera Congress finally made the decision not to retake Kanya, but to send troops to station outside the Kanya border to prevent the aliens from entering other continents, after all, even though the marriage game said that the aliens would not leave the continent where they were. There was no guarantee that they would suddenly change their minds the next time a disaster struck, so there was still a great need for defense. After discussion, the Caldera Congress and the President reached a consensus and gave the order to blockade Kanya, the alien invasion of Caldera was declared over with the total loss of Kanya and no survivors, the eaters in the live broadcast room talked about this result. I didn't think that a country with a strong military like Caldera would be reduced to a state by the aliens. I think it's mostly due to the stupidity of the parade, otherwise it wouldn't have fallen so quickly, or at least. There wouldn't be any survivors, strange, why didn't the other continents send troops to support them? Caldera is home rule for each continent and according to the constitution it takes an outbreak of war to mobilize troops from other states and the option of alien invasion is not in the constitution. Can't you just improvise? People talk about freedom, what does what happens in your Kanya have to do with my other states? Just as the crowd was buzzing with discussion, a Veronese suddenly said, Brothers and sisters of Verona, don't join the fun here, Lucas live feed lights up, he's going to start today's quest. This word cross service watching the Verona people directly foot wipe oil ran back to the Verona live room, Caldera's hilarious look finished now have to go back to see Lucas explore this is the serious thing, at this time, the refreshed Lucas had arrived at the refreshed initial game room, there were four doors in total, two red and two grey, he rubbed his hands together and looked at the red door on the left, room type, wedding room occupant. Shiranui my race, 
Shiranui Clan of the King of. Fighters World Level, 1 Attribute, Flower Butterfly Fan Waves Flirtatious Cooking Sports Face Value, 95 in terms of human aesthetics tests, making delicious cuisine. Conquest of the Unknown Fire Dance Tip, this room is a beautiful ninja from the world of the king of fighters she has a hot body flirtatious personality but preferred food with your mastery of Verona cuisine you can easily pass her test if you want to have a girlfriend with huge breasts pick her right. This scene had made him remember it from his elementary school days until now and the impression was so deep that it was still fresh in his mind and now behind that door on the left was the unknown fire dancer herself. He suppressed the excitement in his heart and did not act immediately, although the unknown fire dancer was tempting, it was always necessary to get a clear understanding of the remaining three rooms before acting, he looked at the grey door in front of him, and the prompt appeared again, room type, trap room trap type, sulfuric acid trap trap effect, after entering the room, a large amount of sulfuric acid will drown you for 10 minutes before you can leave the room. Mortality rate, 100%, this room is a sulfuric acid trap, although you are no longer battle scum, you still cannot survive under the sulfuric acid for 10 minutes, so please do not enter the room, Lucas muttered to himself, if he went in there, he would be dead, he kept looking at the grey door on the right and a prompt appeared in front of him, room type, trap room trap type, purity trap trap effect. Upon entering the room, a purity eunuch will appear to take your quin quin, mortality rate, 20%. Tip. This room is a purity trap less than level 20 players cannot resist the purity eunuch after being purified depending on the severity of bleeding and infection there is a 20% chance of death although going in is not necessarily going to die but your quin quin is dead no more quin quin or what is the point. This fucking. Lucas Hart directly spray rice net body trap are coming. In the marriage game when you become a eunuch it is easy to kill people. Without Quin Quin, there would be no way to complete the marriage match at all, which would be no different than waiting for death, Lucas turned around and looked straight at the red door at the back, and the prompt appeared in front of his eyes once again, room type, marriage matching room occupant, beauty sheep sheep race, green grassland sheep race level, level 1 characteristics, green tea jealousy sweet voice face value, 50 in human aesthetics test content, demonstrate strengths that exceed, those of West lie hints, this room is filled with the number one beauty sheep of Sheep Village, who doesn't quite fit human aesthetics, and she likes West lie too much, so it will be very difficult for you to pass her test I'd rather go with the I don't know fire dance, Lucas muttered in his heart as he walked to the wedding room where the I don't know fire dance was located, inside the live broadcast room. The people of Verona saw Lucas finally start to move after thinking in place for a long time, and the pop-ups became active. It's starting, it's starting, Lucas has started a new quest, he's going to the marriage room, I wonder who the marriage partner will be this time. If the marriage match is successful, we Veronians will be able to get the third national happiness reward. These days, I eat carrots produced by San Andreas Island every day, practice jiu-jitsu, and my physical fitness has rattled up and my herniated discs are all better, me too, I was in a car accident before and limped on one leg as a result, as my physical fitness increased, that leg gradually regained consciousness. You guys stop talking later these people red eyes will be guilty again, we Verona people ourselves enjoy the benefits of their own no on their own, unsurprisingly, when people from other countries realized that Lucas had begun to move, they flooded the live stream with their opinions, the most vicious of which were vicious verbal attacks. People from Verona are hilarious, they can't afford to eat tea eggs, eat some carrots and practice jiu-jitsu and go around bragging about it, isn't it just the luck of the Verona fighter? I think he'll meet the monster today and then we'll see how the people of Verona deal with it, Lucas can't be lucky every time, sooner or later he'll die and sooner or later disaster will come to Verona, Verona has been rewarded with two national fortunes, but they can only slowly increase their physical fitness, nothing to brag about. Friends of all countries I opened a handicap you can come to bet on the death of Lucas the link is come 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 I put out 100 knives to pressure Lucas to die. At this time, Lucas pushed open the red door and entered the wedding hall, the environment that met his eyes was the kitchen with a huge space where there were all kinds of kitchen utensils and fresh ingredients. 
There was a square dining table in the open space in the center, and the blue-clad unknown fire dance was sitting at the dining table, fanning herself with a fan in one hand and holding an ice cream in the other, her pink tongue sticking out as she licked the refreshing ice cream in small bites. When she saw Lucas, she sat up lazily, her amazing bust shaking for a while, a pair of peach blossom eyes looking up and down at Lucas. The corner of her mouth slightly arched, welcome, my marriage. Object, my name is Fireless Dance, what is your name? My name is Lucas, Lucas held his gaze as straight as possible, have you done any research on how to cook? As long as your cooking skills can conquer my taste buds, I will be willing to marry you, and then you can do whatever you want to do, I wonder if Fire Dance's eyes are staring straight at Lucas, and her tone is full of temptation. Lucas felt that her charm was too strong, who could stand this kind of woman however, he quickly calmed his non-stop ups and downs and nodded, I'm quite familiar with all eight of Verona's cuisines, since you like to taste food, then I'll make one of each, at that moment, the audience in the live broadcast room was stunned, holy shit. Unknown fire dance. Old me's childhood goddess. I hope the test of ignoble dance is so difficult that this Verona person dies on the spot. Sinai. Veronians go to hell, I don't know fire dance is mine. Lumina little liked to fall on her sword and gloat over the unfortunate encounters of other countries, just as there was a lot of talk in the broadcast room, the audience saw that the content of the test was presented by fireless dance and it turned out to be a cooking test, then, with a confident and calm face, Lucas said that he would cook eight dishes for fireless dance. This scene immediately made the people of Verona go crazy with joy and they had absolute confidence in Verona's cuisine. What they didn't expect was that Lucas would even know the eight main dishes, it was just too powerful. My god, what else does this man Lucas not know? Blowjob Tai Chi and eight major cuisines. This is simply the top men's collection of beauty Lucas is so handsome, not only handsome, but also has a variety of skills I want to marry him. I grew up so big have not eaten the eight dishes there a moment must look carefully. Wedding game live screen generation feeling is very strong watching is equivalent to eating. The people of Philipsburg were the first to question Lucas's cooking skills, what's so great about Verona food? Our Philipsburg dishes are the ones that best suit the tastes of the unknown fire dancer wait for the failure. Although Unknown Fire Dance is from other worlds, she has a great connection with us Philipsburgers, she must not like Verona dishes, she must like Philipsburg dishes. Verona dishes are all heavy on oil and salt and flavor, eating too much of them is not only easy to gain weight, but also has all kinds of disease risks, which Unknown Fire might definitely doesn't like, as a female ninja I don't know Fire Dance not only to keep training but also to keep in shape will only like healthy food Verona dishes have no hope. Indiana addition to all this Philipsburg was belittling the people of other countries and regions hostile to Verona were constantly clamoring for more. Flaunting their region's cuisine and feel that it was the strongest in their region, and Lucas knew nothing of all this, after being tested, he had asked Fireless Dance for the ingredients and cookware he needed, with a lazy wave of her hand, the ingredients and cooking utensils in the room automatically flew up and were neatly arranged in front of Lucas, Lucas was secretly surprised. It seemed that the occupants of this wedding room had magical and unpredictable abilities. However, he didn't waste any time and quickly entered the state, the tip of the iceberg was revealed at this moment by his level 5 physical fitness, which allowed Lucas to easily navigate 8 pots and pans and cook 8 dishes within the same period of time, the actions of chopping, stir-frying, and turning the pots and pans flowed with ease, the sound of chopping between the chopper and the cutting board is endless. And the processed ingredients are can automatically fly into the wok, raise. Your hand and slap the table and all kinds of spices fly into the air and fall into the pot with a shake of your hand, the whole process was pleasing to the eye, unknown fire dance sat on the side of the table, curiously watching Lucas every move, unconsciously, she could smell the strong aroma of food that made her fingers tingle, and she paid more attention to Lucas, who watched him with his hands on his cheeks. The Veronians in the live room watched in rapture, awesome Lucas' hand is so powerful, I would call him the god of cooking. After all, it's a level 5 being, and its strength shouldn't be underestimated. 
I'm a senior chef and I've won awards before, but Lucas' cooking techniques and experience are so much better than mine, there must be a master teacher to teach me, 6 ah, it's still not easy to pinch the belly of the unknown fire dancer. Now I have mixed feelings, both happy and sad, happy that Lucas can pass the marriage test, and sad that the childhood goddess will be Lucas' daughter-in-law, I also want to feel the joy of the purifier. Various other members of the audience continue to sneer, there's no point in looking good when you're cooking, the important thing is that it tastes good. Isn't it just because you are physically strong? Cooking eight dishes at the same time and not being afraid to put in the wrong spices and such a dish is soulless and nowhere near as artisanal as ours in Philipsburg. I think it's still our Straubberg hand-me-downs that are good. No, it's still our Caldera fast food that's the best. You're all rubbish, my Luminous Kimchi is the best in the world. In the midst of the pop-ups, Lucas had already made eight delicious dishes, he served the dishes and used a large tray to carry them to the table where Ignoble Dance was sitting while he served the dishes. Beautiful lady, please enjoy the delicious dishes from Verona her eyes at this time towards Lucas no longer had the contempt when she first met him, but was very appreciative, Lucas has such a serious attitude towards food, I think his cooking skills must be very good as well I can't help but. Drool from just smelling the flavors of the dishes, please may I ask if I can have a drink? I can't help but drool just from the smell of these dishes, can we start now please Lucas smiled slightly and extended his hand please enjoy. After getting Lucas approval, Fireless Dance picked up her chopsticks, prayed for a while, and then said I'll start. She first picked up the sea cucumber in the Buddha jumping wall and tasted it, and her taste buds were immediately conquered by the incomparable freshness, with her beautiful eyes wide open, unknown fire dance immediately filled a bowl with a large soup spoon and quickly destroyed the delicious Buddha jumping wall, soon the bowl of Buddha jumping wall was finished, their eyes turned to the next bowl, like Buddha jumping wall, after savoring one bite, one could not help but eat more, the eating. Style gradually changed from a ladle-like small bite to a generous bite that disregarded her image, when the people of Verona saw this scene in the live broadcast room, their hearts were filled with pride and joy, this is our Verona's eight major cuisines, an existence that stands at the top of the world's cuisine. How dare Philipsburg think that fireless dance would reject our Verona's cuisine? Upon reflection, it seems that Lucas will successfully pass the marriage test this time as well, I wonder what kind of national happiness rewards he can get. Let the national happiness rewards come a little more fiercely. The vast majority of the people from the countries that originally sneered and laughed at each other had kept their mouths shut at this time, there were only a few barbaric barbs that once again raised the bar with their bullseye drilling but they were soon defeated by the Verona Key Fairy and left in a hateful, impotent rage, after savoring the eight dishes, unknown fire dance gently wiped the corners of her mouth with a white wet towel, then stood up and looked at Lucas with very satisfied eyes, Lucas, you have passed my marriage test, I am willing to marry you, you have passed the marriage test of fireless dance, now you may bring her back to your personal space and gather her. Lucas took a deep breath and brought her back to his personal space, at this time, the living area of the personal space was already three rooms, Bonnie chose one room each and there was still one empty room left, Lucas directly pulled unknown fire dancer and entered the remaining empty room, the next second, the live broadcast screen faded to a black screen, this is black, this live broadcast is a little bit of welfare to say no more, I'm going to go to check the fireless dance 3D area works. Brothers upstairs good people are safe. Bring me one I did not get on the car yet. In the midst of the wolf friends screaming, two hours of time passed quickly, in the living room Lucas emerged from the waves and covered the sleeping Shiranui with a blanket. In the next second a black text prompt appeared in front of him, you are successfully married to Iguana Mai and have received the following rewards from the Iguana clan, Level plus 1 full attributes plus 5 lifespan plus 5 gain the skill flower butterfly fan level 1 your country has received a gift from the iguana clan. Full attributes of all members plus 1 lifespan plus 1 cuisine paradise title flower butterfly fan level 1, a throwing skill that consumes stamina to unite the flower butterfly fan to attack the enemy from a distance with the damage of the skill tied to the intellect attribute and with an attack range of 30 meters, cooldown 1 minute, Culinary Paradise title, 
after learning that Verona has eight major cuisines, the unknown fire clan was amazed and all the clansmen were conquered by Lucas' cooking skills. So they gave Verona the title of culinary paradise and all the people in Verona will have a chance to make the food more delicious and have the effect of increasing their physical fitness as long as they use Verona's cooking techniques, and the effect will only be effective within the territory of Verona, the territory of Verona, looking at the chain of rewards, Lucas couldn't help but tickle the corners of his mouth. He opened the attribute panel to check it out, name, Lucas level, 623 out of 100 strength, 35 constitution, 36 agility, 35 wisdom, 35 charisma, 35 health, 20 slash 110 skills, maple leaf incarnation one soft fist one flower butterfly fan one remarks for ordinary people all attributes except vitality have an average value of five this time's marriage was also very rewarding in addition to the basic attribute rewards from the upgrades he also gained the flower butterfly fan skill the cooldown time is only one minute making it the shortest cooldown skill known to lucas that can be used as a primary attack and Verona surprisingly won the title of Cuisine Heaven, I wonder how effective it is. Outside of the people of Verona who always watched Lucas live broadcasts, they were the first to see these rewards, Cuisine Heaven title. What is this thing that makes us cook better? If you take a closer look at the introduction, it doesn't seem simple. I also triggered the Cuisine Heaven title effect, the chicken soup I was cooking suddenly appeared with a phoenix shadow, just like a special effect, when I took a sip, my whole body floated and felt tremendously energetic, this is an increase in stamina and intelligence, right? I also come to report that my egg fried rice has become a golden golden egg fried rice the taste is simply unbeatable I uh, just dropped a grain of rice on the ground was raised by my era 8 stupid eyes immediately appeared in the wisdom of light suffering head itchy I seem to be growing brain. With this title, our Verona cuisine will be able to beat the rest of the world, right? Yes, the food of other countries will have to kneel and sing in conquest. Enough of this, I'm going to cook some pasta. I'm going to stew some bullwhip, hopefully giving me a combat enhancement effect, the people of Verona rejoiced and celebrated this moment with gusto, the secretary brought a bowl of ginseng soup and said to the leader, leader, just now the back kitchen was boiling ginseng soup, then the ginseng soup floated with a dazzling light, the cook tasted it and found that it could restore energy and strength, so you should try it. The leader took the ginseng soup and took a sip, and immediately felt refreshed, with warmth and strength pouring out of his body, well, the effect of the title of Cuisine Heaven is amazing, it seems that in the future our Verona will fully establish its position as a gourmet country, the leader praised some and then said, to the large group of people have to stick to the workplace are not easy to drink some ginseng soup to make up for the body, secretary nodded and went to do. As Verona national rejoicing, the people of other countries envious tears slipped from the corners of the mouth, they were hard-mouthed and hostile to Verona people who continued to mock and abuse, and some of the people from other countries, who had a friendly attitude towards Verona in their hearts, were already extremely eager for Verona's food and after the title of Cuisine Heaven was added, they were even more eager to taste Verona's food. Coupled with the fact that the reward did not stipulate that it was invalid for people from other countries to consume it, many people moved their little hearts to apply for visas and spend a large sum of money to order plane tickets to Verona, they want to get to know the Veronese culture, eat Veronese food and improve their physical fitness by traveling. This wave of national happiness inadvertently brought a large amount of growth to Verona's tourism economy, Lucas continued to explore after a short break, he felt that he was beginning to enjoy this sense of exploration, with the presence of the Hint plugin, every time he explored it would bring him a different harvest, this feeling was simply not too enjoyable. The original marriage room had been refreshed and reset all around, it had turned pure white, the three doors in the room were almost. All gray, Lucas' eyes turned to the gray door on the left, room type, chief's room monster type, elite, ice rock giant level 5 1 terrain, snowy mountain mortality rate, 0% tip, there is a level 5 elite monster in this room, ice rock giant, which is one level higher than elite monsters, fortunately, your team is strong, so call your spouses to attack together and you can easily defeat it. The ice rock giant is a next level elite monster. 
It's worth noting that the ice rock giant is a rock creature, and soft fists are ineffective against it, so it's best to use long-range kites, elite level monster. Stronger than an elite monster. But it was only level 5 inch and the clues also indicated that there was no risk, so it could be used as a direction to explore, Lucas pondered in his mind for a while, not acting in a hurry, but looking at the grey door in front of him, room type, monster room monster type, which in training level 6 10 terrain, castle mortality rate, 80% hint, there are 10 witch in training in this room, each of them has reached level 6 strength, they are tricky and have mastered the evil magic, please don't enter. It without crushing strength or else you will die 80% of the time. This room can't, there are too many monsters and the level is also the same level can't be crushed, Lucas' eyes moved slightly, looking towards the last grey door, room type, monster room monster type, goblin scholar level 10 5 terrain, laboratory mortality rate, 100% hint, there are 5 goblin scholars in this room, they are conducting magical experiments and are very short of biomaterials. Players who enter them will be captured as guinea pigs don't go in. Good lord all three are monster rooms three flowers gathering nah this is. Obviously, there is only one way out of the three monster rooms, since this is the case, Lucas did not hesitate to return directly to the personal room and called Bonnie and Fire Dance for help, although unknown Fire Dance's legs were still a bit weak after a good fight, she was physically strong and had a formal matter to attend to, so of course she wouldn't resist. As for the ice rock giant, considering that it was a rock creature, the damage of the soft fist was limited, and the hints from the henchmen all suggested long-range kiting, so Harvey, who could only fight melee, would be better off just resting for now. Lucas didn't want his daughter-in-law to get hurt, he, Bonnie, and Fireless Dance all had ranged attacks, so he thought it would be easy to deal with the ice rock giant, Outside, the people of Verona were eating hot food while looking at the three Lucas who were preparing to explore, pop-ups were flying, Lucas was going to explore again and he called out to Bonnie and Fire Dance. This time it's a grey random door, I wonder what kind of room it will be. Getting the Culinary Heaven title boosted with bubbly noodles also smells too good and it's all brought to you by Lucas no matter what's on the other side of the door, I'll always be rooting for Lucas. Hopefully it's a resource room, hopefully it's a resource room, hopefully it's a resource room. The people of Verona are very excited that Lucas will continue to be able to avoid evil and fight for the glory of Verona. The people of other countries, who are full of malice towards Verona and Lucas, have made their own malicious remarks, you Verona players have been lucky too many times, I don't think he can be as safe this time as he was before, unless he is a concubine of Lady Luck. Damn Veronians, damn me Veronians, you all Sinai Sinai. What makes the people of Verona so lucky that they always escape from the dangerous room? I curse the Verona players who encounter horrible monsters. The people of Verona are a bunch of lowly and shameless people who don't deserve to live on earth, only to encounter super bosses and let the disaster wipe out the land. Upstairs is a good point, if Verona is gone, we as Straubert can go north and get a large piece of land directly. At this time Verona people's physical quality and mental state are far better than before spraying up these vicious people of other countries have no soft mouth each can spray a hundred like a god of war, see their mouth so stink Verona people defend Lucas at the same time, but also let them know what is called a storm of spiritual attack, Lucas, on the other hand had already pushed open the grey door with Bonnie and Fireless Dance and entered, as soon as they entered the room, a cold chill. Greeted them, and what met their eyes were the white snowy mountains, the wind and snow howling, and the ice and cold piercing their bones, fortunately, the three Lucas were not ordinary people who could withstand this cold, if an ordinary person came here, he would be afraid that he would be instantly frozen to the ground, and his exposed parts would be severely frostbitten. In the distance, a small hill covered in ice and snow shook for a while and actually turned into a blue-white rock giant about 5 or 6 meters tall, with blue light in its eyes, it stared at the three Lucas, its rock mouth opening and closing, letting out a low roar, humans. How dare you enter my territory, I want you to sleep forever in this cold, snowy mountain. This scene stunned the Veronians in the live broadcast room, holy shit, is that the glacier beast of Mephit? What will happen now? Will Lucas be able to fight it? 
This shit, if this kind of monster appeared in reality can scare me piss Lucas must not be okay, how do I feel suddenly in my heart is not going to have a heart attack right? I am also the same, the thought of Lucas to risk his life, I feel so heartbreaking, this monster is too scary, how to do ah. Uh. Don't panic, look at Lucas, he's still calm, he's not panicking, things can't be as bad as we think. Apart from the frightened Veronians, the rest of the audience came from the neighboring countries, the vast majority of them had been looking forward to this scene for a long time, and when they saw the terrifying stance of the ice rock giant, they immediately felt a huge rush in their hearts a stone monster, crushed this Verona contestant hard, preferably into mush. I couldn't be happier, the Verona man has finally met a decent ordeal, I'm going to watch him die. I'm going to watch disaster strike Verona. Come on, come on, a terrible disaster for Verona. Better yet, a drought, a flood, a plague of locusts. Let there be famine in Verona. Let there be cannibalism. I think a zombie crisis would be the perfect disaster for Verona, there are so many of them, they'd better all become zombies. With everyone watching, Lucas didn't panic or rush, but silently observed the ice giant's speed of movement. After watching for a few seconds, he finally realized that the other party's movement speed was much slower than the three of them, no wonder the Q plugin suggested kiting, thinking of this, Lucas made a quick decision, looking at Bonnie and Fire Dance, he said, this ice giant's movement speed is slower, let's use long range attacks to kite it, don't get too close to it, with its size. The power of each hit can't be underestimated Bonnie and Fire Dance nodded their heads and then fixed their eyes firmly on the ice giant, they were both qualified fighters and would not make any low-level mistakes in battle, after reaching an agreement, the three of them immediately launched a long-range attack, Lucas was the first to condense a flower butterfly fan that was burning with flames and threw it at the ice rock giant's left leg. Ignoble Dance also used her flower butterfly fan to target the ice rock giant's right leg, after the two flower butterfly fans hit the ice rock giant's legs, a small burning explosion immediately appeared, Bonnie stepped aside, closed her eyes, and concentrated, and after storing her power for three seconds, she flicked her wrist and used her newly mastered falling leaves and flying flowers skill. Twenty pieces of maple leaves emitting a faint red aura quickly coalesced in front of her, and... With a wave of her hand, the maple leaves attacked the ice rock giant, and a rumbling magical explosion was heard endlessly, the frost giant was knocked to the ground by this skill, the years of cold ice underneath him shattered by the tremendous impact, he struggled to get up with an angry roar, and ice and snow flew haphazardly between his waving arms, scattering debris. After using the falling leaf flying flower, Bonnie consumed a lot of physical energy, and her face was slightly white, Lucas, who was standing beside her, quickly picked her up and ran away from the ice giant, flower butterfly fans cooldown time was one minute, and it was just the right time to move away from the ice rock giant during this skill window, fireless dance followed behind the duo like a shadow, Bonnie lying in the crook of Lucas arm but not forgetting to attack, right now, Lucas, and fireless dance's skills were on cooldown, but her normal attacks were still able to attack, she continued to shake her wrist, and the jade cocktail between the shakes formed red maple leaves, which were beautiful to watch as they sliced through the tens of meters of white snow and hit the still struggling ice rock giant, this irritated him even more, and he let out a roar that echoed through heaven and earth, rumble. The snowy mountain in the distance trembled and began to collapse violently. Seeing this scene, Lucas' pupils shrank, there was even an avalanche. Could this also be the ice rock giant's ability? The Lucas people in the live broadcast room couldn't help but sweat for Lucas when they saw the three of them in such danger, holy shit, there's an avalanche, something's going to happen, this monster is too powerful, is it some kind of boss? Take a deep breath, brothers Lucas, calm down, they are already level 6, running fast, surely not afraid of the avalanche. But Lumina, Philipsburg, Poison Frog, Astralberg Caldera, the people in these lands who are hostile to Lucas and Lucas can't help but clap their hands at this moment, for the first time, nature's natural disasters are so beautiful. Let the avalanche bury the Lucas player deep underneath and suffocate him. Well done, if this rock giant can kill Lucas, then I'll use a 3D printer to make it into a hand puppet and call it the beast of blocking Lucas's national fortune. 
It's best to mass produce it, I'll also buy this kind of hand puppet and worship and make offerings every day. Lucas was undoubtedly much calmer than the crowd in the live broadcast room, the direction of the avalanche was behind the ice rock giant and there were still tens of meters away from the three of them and with their movement speed it was more than enough to run away from the avalanche, however, at this time Lucas Hart was more thankful, luckily. He had listened to the guidance of the Hint plugin and decided to use kiting tactics to wear down the ice giant's life, leaving enough buffer. Distance between the three of them and the avalanche, if they had used their increased strength to move away and choose melee combat to take down this elite level monster, the mortality rate wouldn't have been 0%, at the same time, Lucas was secretly suspicious in his heart. Elite level monsters are already so strong, with a level 5 body hard to resist, 3 level 6 skill attacks do not die one of them is still similar to the power of the big move is simply thick skin, and even the avalanche can trigger this kind of wide range of natural disasters to carry out the attack really terrible like this, it seems that the monster with a higher title must be even more powerful. Definitely not to be taken lightly, Lucas was in two minds, his head secretly alarmed at the same time his footsteps did not stop, Bonnie's attacks also did not show the slightest sign of stopping, continued to attack the ice rock giant, the ice giant was continuously attacked, and from time to time, magical explosions occurred on his body, and a large amount of ice snow and rocks were crushed into powder, filling the air and obscuring his figure, however, his roar did not stop, as if the avalanche was conscious. It lifted the ice rock giant and chased after it toward the Lucas trio, Unwilling to stop, the Lucas trio ran for their lives, the one-minute cooldown on the flower butterfly fan passed quickly, and Lucas and Fireless Dance condensed the fan again and threw it recklessly at the ice rock giant, boom. Boom. Two more consecutive explosions rang out, this time, reluctance took over the ice rock giant's roar, and Lucas could see the blue light in the ice rock giant's eyes as he rode the avalanche like a surfer go out, and immediately after, he turned to stone and fell to the ground, the avalanche seemed to lose some of its power and stopped for a moment, then turned into snow and wind, you, Bonnie and Fireless Dance have killed the elite. Ice rock giant level 5 1 experience plus 150 congratulations, you. Have reached level 7 full attributes plus 5 stamina plus 5. Based on the level binding rules between spouses in the marriage game, Bonnie has reached level 7, Hinata Harvey has reached level 7, and Shiranui Mai has reached level 7, the unknown fire dancer has leveled over 5 and mastered a new skill, Dragon Inferno Dance Level 1 Dragon Inferno Dance Level 1, attack skill attaches special flames to a fan dance and spins her body to strike out and knock back nearby enemies, causing a scorching effect that continuously burns the enemy's life every second and reduces the enemy's life regeneration effect that cannot be quenched by non-water attribute healing, by killing the ice rock giant, the team gained 150 experience, the entire team rose to level 7, and the fireless dance mastered the new dragon flame dance skill. Most importantly, the harvest wasn't just about that. At the spot where the ice rock giant had died, a silver white treasure chest flickered with a hazy light, protecting it from the wind and snow, a golden exclamation mark shone on the treasure chest. Lucas was excited in his heart and led the two girls to the treasure chest, in the live broadcast room, the Lucas people all breathed a sigh of relief, this is much more exciting than watching a disaster movie, at least there is no danger of being surprised, I have prepared my fast acting heart pills, luckily Lucas is okay, otherwise I would have killed at least half a bottle. Did you notice that even though the ice giants looked scary and the avalanches were so dark, Lucas' calm expression didn't change, does that mean he knows he's stable? It's a roar, if you're nervous and scared, you'll show it, not to mention I can't stop my hands from shaking after a fight with someone, like it's some kind of hormone secretion instinctual reaction. So it seems that Lucas actually knows that there is no danger, but we are the ones who worry too much. It should be, after all Lucas was a level 6, now he's a level 7 long ago, he's not the same as us battle scum, have you noticed that the dogs in Lumina, Phillipsburg, Poison Frog, Astralberg, Caldera and all those places don't bark anymore. They only barked when the situation was unclear, and now that they see Lucas making a killing, how dare they come out and bark, 
as long as Lucas has the advantage, sooner or later, we, Lucas, will take the dog truncheon and beat those evil dogs who dare to bark. The people of Lucas raised their eyebrows, and everyone was very happy, the people from other countries who were originally crying out for help all kept their mouths shut at that time, they originally thought that Lucas was going to die, so they acted so happy. As a result, Lucas not only didn't die, but he also killed that kind of terrifying elite monster, it was just inhuman. If this kind of monster appeared in the real world, the army would have to be massively mobilized to kill it, right? But it turned out that Lucas killed it with two women using a fan and a maple leaf, and even exploded a silver treasure chest, how could this embarrass them all? Their country's players were still hovering above and below the subsistence level, risking their lives to explore the room just to avoid starving to death in this situation, not to mention the silver treasure chest, even if there was a black iron treasure chest that Lucas encountered in the beginning, being able to open the tasteless basic food from it would be lucky. The spammers from different countries were so depressed in their hearts that they felt like they would explode from all the depression. But there was nothing they could do, and they didn't even want to leave the live broadcast room yet, they were also curious to see what Lucas could open from the silver treasure chest, at that time, Lucas had already arrived in front of the silver treasure chest, rubbed his hands together, secretly recited Oh Huang's blessing in his heart, and then opened the chest, the moment he opened the chest, a silver white light blossomed from inside the chest, then, the snowy mountains in this room instantly turned into stars, and fluorescent lights poured into the silver treasure chest, the room refreshed into a pure white starting room, while the light inside the treasure chest shifted for a while, eventually slowly coalescing into an ice crystal-like azure-colored armor. Bonnie and Fireless Dance were both drawn to the delicate chest armor, their eyes blinking as they looked up and down, looks like it's a piece of defensive equipment in that case, another layer of protection for your husband's safety Lucas must look very handsome in this armor Lucas replied to the two girls with a smile, then looked intently, and the introduction of the equipment suddenly appeared before his eyes, defense, ice rock giant guardian chest armor level, D active skill, when used, the power of ice and snow in the chest armor is activated, forming a shield of ice crystals that can withstand three attacks from monsters of the same or lower level or one attack from monsters of a higher level than its own, passive attributes, intellect plus 5, constitution plus 5, reduces physical damage by 20%. Wearing requirement, level 5 or above Lucas raised his eyebrows in delight, this equipment was really good. The active skill could create a shield that would be good against three attacks from monsters of the same level, but being able to defend against one attack from a monster of a higher level than his own would be strong, the equipment didn't explicitly state the maximum defense level, did it mean that it could also resist level 10 level 20 attacks? If so, it would be a small artifact. Of course, Lucas wouldn't risk his life to try it, he just felt that the active skill effect was strong, the passive attribute boost and physical damage reduction were also very good, in the future, if he encountered a monster that could kill him with a single slash after reducing the damage by 20%, he might even be able to save a life. The Lucas people in the live broadcast room were much happier than Lucas when they saw the characteristics of this equipment, this equipment was strong with a shield and damage reduction, it greatly increased Lucas survivability. Now, if he runs into danger again, we don't have to worry too much unless he uses the active skill of the chest armor, don't talk nonsense, this kind of active skill is life-saving, the general situation is that it can't be used, using it is dangerous. Lucas has already reached level 7 attribute points, don't know how many we are these weak chickens attributes are not yet more than 10 there is really no comparison there is no harm in the room Lucas will be directly equipped to wear on the body, and then open the attribute panel to look up, name, Lucas level, 773 slash 100 strength, 40 plus 8 physique, 41 plus 8 agility, 40 wisdom, 40 plus 3 charisma, 40, health, 20 slash 115 skills, maple leaf incarnation level 1 soft fist level 1 flower butterfly fan level 1 equipment, ice rock giants guardian chest armor d remarks, for normal people, except for life span, the average value of all attributes is 5, at level 7, his attributes break through the 40 mark, and with equipment to increase his strength and physique, he approaches the 50 mark. 
Another wave of exploration to increase his strength, although the process was a bit exciting, the rewards were plentiful, Lucas swung his fist fiercely and was full of energy, all he wanted to do now was to keep exploring, Lucas' eyes rolled as he looked at the three doors that had been refreshed, one red, two gray, there was a red one, so of course it was the preferred target, Lucas' eyes twitched as he looked at the red door on the left. Room type, nuptial room occupant, mantis na race, Voidlands Mantis Clan Level, 1 Characteristics, Cold-Blooded Hunting Gene Brutality Void Creature Face Value, 25 in Human Aesthetics Test, Compete with Mantis Na in Hunting Skills and Defeat Her. Tip, There is a Void Mantis Warrior in this room, she is battle-hardened, cold-blooded, and brutal, it is not easy to defeat her in hunting skills, even if you succeed in passing the test, the mantis female will stimulate devouring instincts after cohabitation, there is a chance that she will devour you, if you want to feel the special sensation of the mantis race, you have to think about it. You can't mess with this kind of marriage object, just the characteristics of the column is cold. Blooded brutality face value is only 25 the most terrible thing is that after intercourse can also eat him. Whoever wants to go probably won't, Lucas pursed his lips and looked at the grey door in front of him, room type, trap room trap type, maze trap effect, maze that keeps changing mortality rate, 0, 100% hint, this room is a maze trap, it changes all the time, without mastering the ability to fly you can only rely on your luck and the longer you hesitate the higher the mortality rate will be. Lucas shakes his head and looks towards the last grey door, room type, resource room resource type, giant. Yak King 1 Giant Yak 50 Mortality Rate, 0% Tip. There is a herd of giant yaks in this room, you can either defeat the giant yak king by force to subdue the herd or use the otherworldly fruits from the magic farm to gain the goodwill of the giant yak king, it is recommended that you choose the latter, giant yak herd. Lucas' eyes lit up. He was worried that the magic farm was empty and had no animals to raise now that he had finally stumbled upon it. If he could get this herd of yaks to the magic pasture, it would be beef and milk free in the future, Lucas couldn't help but make his mouth water as he thought of beef kebabs, beef soup, braised beef, grilled steak, and various other delicacies, he swallowed the lump in his throat and led Bonnie in fireless dance to walk quickly towards the grey door behind which the yak herd lived, inside the live feed, the Lucas populace, watching Lucas every move, were astonished to see that he did not. Even take a break to get back on the move, how did Lucas start exploring again? We've just finished a fierce and exciting battle. The grey door is risky, you should rest until you're fully recovered and then go exploring, even if it's just for the sake of exploring, there's no need to be in such a hurry my little heart, if there's another battle of this magnitude right now, I can't stand it don't crowd your mouths, say something nice and pray that Lucas hits the resource room, okay? When they saw Lucas start exploring so early, they felt they had found an opportunity and mocked him. Do you really think that the matchmaking game is run by your own family? You've just finished a fight and you're rushing to die. The fact that that stoner didn't kill him just now just means that he was lucky not to be strong, and he might not be able to face such a sluggish monster next time, die, 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 Lucas player, hurry up and die, I've been waiting for this moment for too long. How dare you explore the grey door, you really think your life is too long, doesn't it smell good to live well, Lucas people saw this and immediately cursed those people who cursed Lucas to death all over their ancestors, Lucas didn't know about the curses from the outside world, he had already pushed open the grey door that led to the habitat of the giant yak herd. The breeze that greeted him was soft, he saw an endless grassland with the blue sky and the green grass reflecting each other in the distance, a long river flowed down from the far end of the field of vision and ran through the entire grassland, the river was clear and blue, sparkling in the sunlight, beside the river, a herd of white giant yaks were drinking water with their heads bowed, grazing slowly or resting on the ground, and the sound of mooing was very relaxing, the whole picture seemed harmonious and natural, full of warmth, Lucas secretly compared the average height of these giant yaks reached 3 meters, and some of them looked like cubs were also the size of normal buffaloes, one of the biggest yaks surprisingly reached a height of 5 meters, it was like a moving two-story house, I think this must be the giant yak king. Bonnie and Fireless Dance looked at the picturesque scenery and uttered surprised exclamations, husband, it's so beautiful here. 
There's also a herd of cows, and they don't look like they're hostile to us, Lucas, why don't we go swimming in the river? I'll wear a swimsuit to show you apart from the two women's exclamations of surprise, the Lucas population in the live stream did the same, I have traveled to many countries and seen many beautiful landscapes, but I have never seen a landscape that is so refreshing and soothing to the heart, it's beautiful, but those huge yaks look dangerous, they're not all monsters, are they? If they were monsters they would have attacked Lucas and the others by now but the cows just looked at them for a few moments and then went on grazing and drinking and the calves didn't look nervous so it didn't feel like a monster house. I feel the same way, it should be a different kind of space, compared to the Lucas people who analyze things rationally, the people of other countries don't think so, Lucas people, you can continue to comfort yourselves, this group of yaks is a horrible monster group at first glance, the only reason why they didn't attack right away is because the strength of the Lucas people isn't in their eyes, yes, humans don't care about the sudden invasion of ants, but they will soon keep them down, this group of yaks is huge, maybe only 10 of them need to be sent out to kill the Lucas player I'm so happy at last, I've been waiting for this moment you guys, the biggest yak is starting to move, it's coming towards the Lucas player, is it going to launch an attack? At this moment everyone in the broadcast room is on edge. The Lucas people were afraid that the giant yak was really going to attack, while the people from other countries were looking forward to it, the poisonous frogs on Frog Island and the Lucas natives, who had been denied rewards because of their reverence for the foreigners, screamed the loudest, die, 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 Lucas died and disaster struck, we didn't get any rewards, and the disaster certainly had nothing to do with us, yak attack, quickly kill this guy who brings benefits to Lucas, Lucas. Better kneel down now and let the yak hit him directly, so he can die a little easier, for those traitors who have no motherland in their hearts, the Lucas people will not be soft when they spray them with their blood, and their parents will go to heaven, however, Lucas faced the giant yak king who was coming slowly, his expression was calm, not panicking, he opened his personal room and called out to Bonnie and Firefly as well as Harvey who was watching TV in the room. The four of them went into the storage room of the magic farm together, picked some of the otherworldly fruits piled up inside and moved them to the center of the resource room where the yak herd was located, watching this confusing operation, everyone in the live broadcast room was baffled, some were curious, some mocked, but all waited for Lucas' next move, soon the giant yak king walked in front of Lucas, its window-like eyes looked at Lucas and a low mooing sound came from its mouth, the Golden text translated by the plugin appeared in front of Lucas' eyes, Lucas smiled, picked up a large fruit, handed it to it, and said in a very friendly manner, Hello giant yak king, we accidentally stepped into this grassland, but there is no malice, this is a fruit from the other world, are you interested in trying it? The giant yak king showed a hint of doubt and vigilance in his eyes and barked again, Human, you wouldn't poison the fruit and then poison me to death, would you? Lucas shook his head and said, how could it be, I really have no malice, he directly peeled the fruit in his hand and shared the delicious and juicy fruit with Bonnie and the others, when the giant yak king saw the four of them eating the fruit, his mouth watered, and the liquid that poured out of his mouth was almost the size of a small waterfall, it moved anxiously, hurry, let me taste it, I want to taste the otherworldly fruits too, a hint of laughter flashed in Lucas' eyes, what a simple big guy, he immediately left his doubts behind when he saw something tasty. He immediately grabbed a fruit bigger than a watermelon and threw it at the other party, the giant yak king's eyes lit up at the sight of the fruit flying towards him, and he stretched out his huge ox tongue to easily catch it, chewing it twice like a human eating blueberries, just feeling a bit of the fruit's deliciousness before swallowing it, it smacked its mouth and roared again. Can you let me taste it again, this fruit is too small, I can't even taste the flavor Lucas smiled generously of. Course you can, I don't dare to say anything else, but this fruit is definitely enough, Lucas smiled broadly, of course, I don't dare say anything else, but this fruit is definitely good enough, he threw different kinds of fruits directly at the giant yak king from left to right, the other party stretched out his huge tongue like a giant cloth and easily caught all the fruits. When he had enough fruit on his tongue, he rolled it around in his mouth and chewed, when he felt the sweet and tasty juices of all the different fruits bursting in his mouth, the giant yak king let out a moo of joy, yummy yummy, oh human, I recognize you, you are my friend. The sound of the giant yak king attracted many little calves, 
They cocked their heads and took small inquisitive steps, running from bumper to bumper, Bonnie Hinata Harvey and the three girls of the unknown fire dance laughed out loud at the cute appearance of these cows and also picked up the fruit to feed the calves, the audience in the live broadcast room watched this harmonious scene and were all stunned, good man, there's this kind of operation. Watching me break a sweat, Lucas can actually communicate with this yak king, he can't have mastered some animal language, right? A born animal tamer. Just now I thought we were going to have a fight, but I didn't realize that Lucas and the others were feeding the cows. Suddenly I feel that these bulls have such cute personalities, just like pets. By the way, remember the magical ranch that Lucas got last time? Since these yaks aren't monsters, doesn't that mean they can be raised in the magic ranch? When you say I want to drink bullwhip soup, the bullwhip of this giant yak must be very tonic, kid, don't even think about it, they're whipping something bigger than you, it'll support you compared to the passionate discussion of the people of Verona, the people of other countries were like complaining women, impossible, those giant yaks must be monsters. I see, it must be that these fruits have lowered the hostility of the yaks, when the fruits are eaten, they will start attacking, yes, it must be like that. What magic ranch? It's still trying to capture this group of cows, with the intelligence of the yak king, he would never allow his clansmen to be eaten by humans. Yes, a yak of this size that could still communicate with humans must be extremely intelligent. At that moment, the extremely intelligent giant yak king had already been completely overcome by the deliciousness of the otherworldly fruits, it stared at Lucas with huge eyes and called out in anticipation, Human, are you going to stay here forever? Lucas shook his head and said regretfully, Although this place is very beautiful, I will have to leave, at this, the giant yak king was worried, then can you take me with you? Besides having a bigger appetite, I am very strong in battle. Lucas looked at him with a smile and said, then will you give up your herd? The giant yak king shook his head, I can take my clan and go with you as long as I can eat otherworldly fruit every day. At these words, a hint of a line of black text immediately appeared in front of Lucas' eyes. Your friendly attitude has impressed the giant yak king, and he has decided to lead the clan to leave with you, taking with them this large area of habitat rich in water and grass, do you agree to include this area and the giant yak clan in the magic ranch? Of course, Lucas immediately agreed, yes. After hearing Lucas' agreement, the giant yak king was overjoyed and mood repeatedly, then, a vortex appeared in the sky above this room, and through the vortex, one could see the magic pasture at the other end, the vortex that was connected to the magic pasture erupted with a huge suction force, and all the giant yaks flew up uncontrollably and were sucked into the vortex, immediately after that. The grasslands and streams in this room were also sucked in, a few seconds later, everything. Returned to normal, this resource room was also refreshed into the original room, the Veronians in the live broadcast room were shocked to see this scene. Since the black text prompt was from the marriage game, they were able to see it as well, and it clarified the context, holy shit, Lucas is awesome. He tricked those giant yaks into the magical ranch with just some fruit. Now Lucas is really beef and milk free. Besides beef milk, there's tripe, brisket tendon, bone marrow, and steak, I'm dying to taste what giant yak meat tastes like, Luckily it's not a monster false alarm hee hee. Laughing at this Lumina Phillipsburg Frog Island poisonous frogs and other fools also thought Lucas will be killed by the yak really stupid originally shouted and cursed at the people of other countries once again disappointed in the face of the Verona people's taunts can only be hard to fight back only to fight back to the bottom of basically nothing. At this time Lucas first of all let the three women return to the personal space to pacify the cattle. By the way, he took some more of those otherworldly fruits to the warehouse to feed the cows, now that the magic farm can produce a large amount of fruit every day, the warehouse is already in a bursting state, and Lucas and the others simply can't eat it all, if they kept putting it away, the fruit would only spoil and it would be difficult to dispose of it at this time, so it would be better to take it to feed the cows, meanwhile, he stayed in this room and looked at the three doors that had been refreshed, one red door, two gray doors, Lucas looked at the red door first, room type, marriage room occupant, Lulu race, rune continent yodels level, 
one characteristics, small optimistic fairy spirit which mischievous face value, 70 in terms of human aesthetics test contents, height less than 130 cm, tip, this room is occupied by a fairy spirit which from Yodel city state, and her standard for choosing a mate is that he cannot be taller than 130 cm otherwise it will affect the height of her offspring and you are too tall. It's too much, if you enter it Lulu will turn you into a 1M tall dwarf, yodlers. Lucas scratched his head, it was the first time he had seen such a strange condition, however, the yodlers were all exceptionally short, so it seemed reasonable, but Lucas had little interest in short people, knowing that Lulu's height was only 111 cm standing straight up to his waist, this did not give Lucas any interest or sexual interest, he turned his head to look at the grey door in front of him, room type. Battlefield game room game type, Jedi turn mortality rate, 99% reward for passing. Level plus 2 information, this room is an ancient battlefield where the red army killed the blue army, and the blue side desperately needs the help of a commander well versed in military strategy to lead them to a 1 on 10 Jedi turnover, hint, don't look at this mortality rate of 99%. The remaining 1% is the blue side of the army comes with you and has nothing to do with you without any military strategy you'd better save it, Lucas mouth corners slightly twitching decisively gave up the idea of exploration, the plugin was right, he was also very self-confident, so he looked at the last grey door. Room type, trap room trap type, board trap trap effect, the player who enters will be randomly incarnated as a certain piece and become a plaything for a mysterious being, mortality rate, 90%, after turning into a chess piece, life and death are out of your control, if the piece is eaten on the board, the player will also die and will not be rewarded, even if they make it to the end of the game, which is the trap room. High risk, low reward or even no reward. After looking at the three rooms, Lucas sighed, it seems that today's luck has run out and it's not advisable to explore, it's better to check out the magic ranch and get some yak meat, Lucas returned to his personal space and entered the magic ranch through the brown door in the living room, then a series of golden text prompts appeared in front of him. The giant yaks have been domesticated by the magic ranch and are 100% obedient to your commands, however, it is best to avoid the herd when slaughtering the yaks so as not to reduce their fertility. I didn't know that the magic pasture had this function, it's really good, Lucas sighed in his heart, he originally thought that the giant yak king's intelligence wasn't low, usually if he wanted to eat beef, it would take him a lot of effort, now, it seemed that the magic ranch had solved this problem for him, at that moment, the area of the magic ranch had already turned into a grassland, and the river running through the grassland was not far away, the giant yak herd was resting by the river. And the three girls, Bonnie, Hinata, Harvey, and Fire Dance, were busy carrying otherworldly fruits from the magic ranch and feeding them to the herd, in the center of the ranch were several wooden buildings, a slaughterhouse, a milking place, a cow house, and so on, these buildings had been built by the giant yak herd themselves when they arrived, and must be one of the functions of the magical ranch. Lucas watched from the sidelines for a while, then chose a cow to take to the slaughterhouse. Since the giant yak did not resist, he quickly finished the slaughter and splitting. Skin, beef, bones, offal, etc., were all neatly separated, Lucas then took some of the beef from each part and put the rest in another building next to the slaughterhouse, there is a storage area with its own freezer, the hides were peeled and placed outside on the meat drying racks to dry, and after processing they were the material for making clothes and leather armor, after doing this, the sky has gradually darkened. Lucas called the three girls to build a fire on the grass and from the living area to bring pots and pans and tables and chairs, but also took a barbecue grill, it is worth noting that the grill came with the kitchen after the living area was upgraded to a three-bedroom house, which was not available in the original small house, under Lucas' command, the three girls were also busy, Bonnie was in charge of making the meat skewers, Harvey was boiling the beef soup and Mistress of Fire was in charge of marinating the various meats. Lucas, on the other hand, was in charge of building the fire and the grill, the tender yak meat soon bubbled under the flame and the golden fat dripped down onto the coals, creating a cloud of white smoke, the beef marrow in the beef soup turned the soup thick and white under the high temperature cooking, making people drool, there were also some dishes of beef stir-fried with otherworldly vegetables that were full of color and flavor. 
These vegetables also came from the forest troll's private estate, but compared to the otherworldly fruits, the quantity wasn't much, but it was enough to eat. After the general dishes were prepared, Lucas ran to the magic farm and picked fresh flavored milk fruits, wonderful fruits, cumin flavored chicken leg fruits, and went to the warehouse to get some sweet and delicious fruits. After arranging these otherworldly fruits on the spread out picnic cloths and serving all kinds of roasted meats and dishes and broths, the four of them began a hearty campfire dinner, there were a dozen delicious dishes on the table, and Lucas held a flavored milk fruit in each hand, the branches of the milk fruit tree serving as natural straws. At this moment of relaxation, Lucas' mood was also very good. He stood up and raised the flavored milk fruit to the three women, saying, daughters in. Law, let's raise a glass together to celebrate today's bumper harvest. The three women smiling eyebrows stood up in unison mouth chirping. This scene made the people of Verona in the live broadcast very jealous. Suddenly, it feels like Lucas is living a really good life, without the pressure of a mortgage and car loan, and doesn't have to work every day, has his own farm and ranch, and has the company of several beauties, eats campfire dinners cooked with giant yak meat and otherworldly vegetables and drinks otherworldly milk fruits, and after a while, when he is full, he will put his arms around his daughter-in-law to sleep, and sleep until he wakes up naturally. When there are no various dangers in the marriage game, he is really good like this this beef soup looks so good that I really want to try it, beef soup is nothing, see that big cow's leg on the fire? That's the real delicacy, damn, I'm drooling, it's like the noodles with the cooking heaven added don't smell good anymore, while the people of Verona were feeling emotional and envious, the people of the various countries who dived in to watch were actually envious to death in their hearts, but they couldn't admit it with their mouths, and they made snide remark after snide remark, there is a saying in Verona, born in peace and happiness, died in sorrow, Lucas was just a little bit lucky and started to enjoy himself, I think he is not far from death, such a person, who has no spirit of struggle, will sooner or later be surpassed by our Phillipsburg players. If it was our Lumina player, he would never have wasted so much time on a campfire dinner, he would have kept exploring, after all, the more you explore, the more rewards you get, I really don't know what those Verona turds have to be jealous of, isn't it just the life of a farmer growing crops and raising cows? It's hilarious, to be led by this kind of people is really a shame for us you guys wait and watch the good show, don't forget that personal space at night is not safe either, if they eat and miss the time they will probably be wiped out by the natural disaster, Lucas didn't know what these people were talking about and he wouldn't have cared even if he did, he ate with the three girls until very late, the equivalent of 7.30 in the real world, according to his observations, the natural. Disasters of the night came after 8 o'clock. Therefore, he ended the campfire dinner at 7.30 and brought the three women to start packing, after packing, the yak herd also returned to the cow house under the leadership of the yak king, if they stayed outside at night, they would also be affected by the natural disaster. Lucas then brought the three daughters back to the living area to take a bath together before returning to his room to sleep, the screen of the live broadcast room suddenly went black, Every time this happened, a bunch of wolf friends would appear and post envious and jealous pop-ups, this was closely followed by all sorts of pop-ups begging for resources with words of thanks from a good man's life, the night passed quickly. When the sun came up the next day, Lucas was still asleep in the soft land and had not woken up, many of the people of Verona waited early for him to get up and explore, but they waited for a lonely one, however, some small Lumina pop-ups attracted the attention of the Verona public. Verona trash your contestants are still sleeping while our Lumina contestants are already on the move. This time the contestant is our Lumina's famous bodybuilder Barry. With his strong body, he's sure to be able to disguise himself. Wait to be outdone by us lazy Veronians. This comment, of course, made many Veronians smile, and after a while of mocking, they flooded the Lumina live broadcast room, they wanted to see where Lumina Jr., got the courage to talk about Verona's garbage. At that moment, the man who appeared on Lumina's live broadcast screen was very strong, with a height of 1 meter 8, his body gave the impression of a double-door refrigerator, dressed in a yellow vest and black shorts with his thick arms and calves exposed, he looked intimidating with his muscles bulging out. He is Lumina bodybuilding champion Barry, 
and since being chosen as a contestant in the marriage matching game, Barry feels like the sky is falling, he is rich and famous in the real world and has been free of wealth for a long time, for ordinary people, the unattainable luxury cars and mansions, beautiful women and money are no problem for him, in this case everyday life is extravagant enjoyment. Who would like to come to this terrible marriage game to suffer, so Barry at first performance. And many players like the same are hiding in the personal space when the ostrich, it was only now that the hungry couldn't stand it that they thought of coming out to look for some food, he was covered in muscle mass and weighed a lot, his tolerance for hunger was lower than normal, he needed at least six meals a day to eat. As a result, he came to the marriage game and was hungry for three meals a day, that would be starving and having to act, being an ostrich again, he felt he could starve to death alive, however, the Lumina people didn't mention anything about Barry's previous ostrich behavior in the Lumina live stream, but instead praised him many times for his power and strength with countless words of praise. They were tired of Verona's players being in the lead all the time and jealous of Verona being rewarded with national fortune, it was hard to wait for their own player to move, so they had to praise him to the skies. Barry's muscles were just too majestic, with his physical fitness he was probably able to challenge monsters across the levels, right? This kind of body is just too handsome, his arms are thicker than my legs, with Barry's strength, he can surely break through in the marriage game. Our Lumina's time to rise has finally come, when we get the national award, the first one we will surpass will be Verona, not only will we surpass Verona, but when the national award is strong enough, we, Korea, will become the hegemon of the Asian region. The people of Verona scoffed at the fanatical self-confidence of the people of Lumina, worthy to be a self-proclaimed cosmic nation of a bullet-ridden land, you small nations, not even the size of one of our Verona provinces, yet you presume to surpass Verona and dominate Asia. Wash your hands of it. As I recall, Lumina seems to have drawn the mainland super large on the map, so it seems that this group of small, poisoned, educated people don't even know about it and are completely in the dark, you can tell by the way they worship Barry's freakishly muscular body, which can't be built without drugs, and the fact that one or two of these celebrities from the bodybuilding world die every now and then, all in their 20s and 30s, doesn't help. I can't say it's no use at all, we have to fatten up our pigs to make them taste good and this kind of muscular person should be able to feed the monsters, it wasn't only the people of Verona who mocked Lumina, but also the people of the other nations, in particular, the people of Philipsburg, the Straubberg, Skoker, and other countries in the Asian region cursed even harder than the people of Verona. It had to be said that the animosity of people from different countries cursing each other on. The internet was just extremely strong, neither of them could see the superiority of the other, during Verona's live broadcast, people from different countries were all mocking Verona and Lucas, now you see Lumina, this group of small dejected up everyone began to set fire to the small people again, it feels like the wind and water are turning, and unlike the people of Verona, who have always prevailed in the scolding wars, the population of the little people of Lumina is only about 50 million. And the scolding wars are about the number of people. So even when they fought in the live stream of their own country, they were spat upon by all the countries and were powerless to fight, it took a dozen or so pop-ups in the network of other languages for a single Lumina text to barely fight back in the cracks, Barry knew nothing of the outside world, all he knew was that he would starve if he didn't explore, so with trepidation he looked around the room at the four doors, one red and three grey. After a moment of agonizing, he walked towards the one grey door in front of him, granted, the red marriage door contained the marriage item, and there were many rewards to be gained from a successful marriage, but the last Lumina player died in the marriage room, and what he needed now was food, not a marriage item. So he gave up on the red door and chose the grey door, as he pushed the grey door open, he only felt a force behind him pushing him, followed by the sky spinning and the scenery changing around him, Suddenly he was in an old street and in front of him was an old-looking mansion with red painted pillars and glazed tiles and a gold and red plaque on a stone lion at the town gate, and at that moment, Barry found himself in a long queue, the direction of which was exactly that one mansion, he looked curiously at the people in front of the queue behind him and found that the queue were all 12 or 13 to 17 or 18 year old men, all wearing ancient costumes with pigtails, yellow and skinny, it seemed to be malnutrition, around the line were soldiers with cold weapons patrolling back and forth, while in front of the entrance to the mansion were people handing out buns. 
the people in the line received the buns and happily entered the mansion, not knowing where to go. Seeing this scene, Barry swallowed hard and stood in line as well, from now on, it seems that there are soldiers guarding the place, so I guess he can't run around, while as long as he waits honestly in the queue, he will be able to get a bun to eat, so Barry quickly made his choice, get in line. Get the buns. The viewers from various countries in the live broadcast room were also seeing this kind of room for the first time and were curious to post their guesses, after a while, it was Barry's turn to get his bun, he couldn't wait and bowed to the person handing out the buns. At the same time, the people of the countries in the live broadcast room got a good look at the dress and appearance of the person handing out the buns. It could only be seen that this person was in his 40s, with a female face, a red tasseled bucket hat on his head, red and blue clothes on his body, and a floating dust in his hand, seeing this, the people of Verona immediately recognized the identity of the other party, the great inner eunuch. Before they could post a pop-up, this eunuch raised his head and looked at Barry, a satisfied smile appeared on his face and his voice shrieked, finally, young descendant with a thick physique, not bad. He stuffed the buns into Barry's hand warmly said, this light outside the palace cannot mix well the precarious want to eat a full meal is difficult and so in the palace I introduced you to the sea eunuch's packages of fame and wealth you enjoy endlessly. The eunuch's words were not in any of the world's languages, but the marriage game still translated them to Barry and the audience of various countries. Barry didn't know the deeper meaning of these words, he only understood that he could enjoy fame and wealth endlessly, wasn't that his life in the real world? I didn't realize it could be like that in the marriage game. He felt that his luck was too good to be true, so he immediately held the buns and bowed down repeatedly, the eunuch who was handing out the buns looked at him with a smile and said, his brain is a bit dull, but thanks to his robust physique, it won't hurt, he waved his hand and let Barry enter the mansion, and Barry did not doubt him as he stuffed the hot buns into his mouth and chewed them as he walked majestically into the mansion. But what he didn't know was that the otherworldly inscription on the mansion's plaque was actually true, purification room. As Barry walked into the purification room, Lumina's livestream was immediately flooded with pop-ups from the people of Verona. That Barry is going to kill me with laughter, but he probably doesn't know what he's in for, does he? If I'm not mistaken, this should be the palace of some otherworldly dynasty recruiting eunuchs. This stupid big man is really limber and simple-minded, two buns on his kun kun sacrifice, Lumina small really no cultural heritage even the palace recruiting eunuchs do not know, but also run to become a eunuch himself really laugh, in this regard, the people of all countries are very puzzled, they did not understand the culture of Verona, nor did they know the ancient eunuch disguise of Verona. So of course they could not see what Barry was experiencing, especially the people of Lumina felt that the people of Verona were mocking and cursing them, and immediately burst into curses, what eunuchs Veronians, you quickly shut your mouths, I think you just envy Barry. What a wicked country, wicked people, full of foul language, what a time for eunuchs. It's disgusting a garbage country with garbage people who can't see the good in any other country Barry came across a resource house otherwise he wouldn't have gotten the free food and the promise of riches and wealth, disgusting Verona people, just wait and see, Barry will soon bring Lumina a national reward, just be jealous guys. This room looks so powerful, the house is of ancient architecture, very luxurious, if you can get a reward it must be extraordinary, maybe even stronger than all the rewards in Verona combined. In response, the people of Verona rarely refuted one by one, they all secretly snickered and waited for the fun, Barry after entering the mansion followed the two soldiers through the long corridor and came to a room. The room was filled with the smell of Chinese herbs and a white-faced middle-aged man was sharpening a knife, Barry looked curiously and found that the knife in the middle-aged man's hand looked delicate and small and he didn't know what purpose it served, seeing a newcomer, the middle-aged man rinsed the knife with water, looked at Barry and scared. I didn't expect to be able to purify such a body in my lifetime, purification. Barry chewed the bun, his mind was full of doubts, what does that mean? Take a bath. Before he had time to ask the last question, he saw the middle-aged man saying to the soldiers, tie him up, such a big man needs to be tied up tightly so that he does not move around and spoil things, two soldiers nodded, one on the left and one on the right, and placed Barry on a wooden bed. Subconsciously, Barry wanted to fight, 
but he found that the strength of these two soldiers was surprisingly great, out of proportion to their size, even if he struggled as hard as he could, he couldn't break free from the soldiers' arms, which were like iron hoops, and he couldn't spit out the bun in his mouth, so he could only chew it while making noises, tension and doubt were written all over his face, what in the world are these people doing? There was no need to force him to bathe, he could have done it himself. It seemed that they also wanted to tie him to the bed, so how could he take a bath? A few moments later Barry was tied to the wooden bed, thick hemp ropes tied him so tightly he couldn't move, then the soldiers stripped him of his pants. It wasn't until then that Barry realized something was wrong, when he saw the middle-aged man holding a small knife and coming over with a smile on his face, his face changed even more furiously. Barry thought of this and immediately panicked a lot, screaming repeatedly, Ah don't cut don't cut please let me go. The middle-aged man looked at him indifferently, scared again, shook his head and said, white blind so big body, it's just a matter of time, the old man will start to purify himself, you two go out, the two soldiers sniffed and hurriedly turned around to leave, the people from various countries who were always paying attention to the live broadcast screen when they saw this scene, the pop-ups were everywhere, especially the people of Verona, they all went crazy with laughter. The marriage game had a mosaic and it was still considered to leave some last face for the Lumina man, laughing to death really was pulled to GA just now all said this group of small still do not believe, the last eunuch of the new century will be born. No, I'm going to die of laughter quickly, save me. The people in the other countries didn't understand everything until this moment, and they also burst out laughing and mocking, but the people in Lumina were silent at this moment, they didn't expect that Barry would actually be dragged away to be physically castrated, however, it wasn't Barry they were worried about, but whether Lumina would suffer some terrible disaster as a result, the cleansing didn't take long, and the middle-aged man's hand rose, then Barry, who had passed out from the Living pain was anointed with herbs and, incidentally, feathered to prevent the blood and flesh from clotting and interfering with urination. None of these operations were seen by the viewers of the live broadcast because the marriage game blocked the privacy process with a black mosaic, but Barry's struggles and screams were clearly seen, finally, when the purification was over, all the men watching unconsciously secretly breathed a sigh of relief that he was still there, after purifying Barry, the middle-aged man left the room to have lunch. What he didn't realize was that the hastily applied herbs weren't working to stop the bleeding, and Barry's wounds continued to bleed and bleed quite a bit, the people from the countries in the Lumina live stream didn't disperse when the purification ended, instead, they began to wonder if Barry's next step was to become a eunuch in the palace. On this subject, there was another heated argument between the people of the various countries and the people of Lumina, the argument went on for more than an hour with no sign of the cursing stopping, at that time, the live broadcast screen suddenly turned to a black screen, lines of text appeared, the Lumina player died, and the cataclysm was randomly selected as the penalty of fertility deprivation. In 10 minutes, 100000 purity house eunuchs will descend on Lumina's mainland, the purity house eunuchs are able to travel regardless of terrain obstacles, searching for men and women with the ability to procreate and depriving them of their fertility, and the catastrophe will not end until more than 1 million people have been deprived of their fertility, after the disaster is over. The Lumina player will be randomly selected to enter the game again. Lucas has just awakened from his deep sleep and is ready to begin a new day of exploration, he knew nothing of the disaster that had occurred in Lumina, even if he knew, he would just laugh it off, after all, what did the disaster in Lumina have to do with him, a Verona? When Lucas left his personal space and entered the marriage game room, Verona's live broadcast screen instantly lit up, the eyes of the long-awaited Verona people lit up, and they called back the people stationed in the live broadcast rooms of other countries, there were also people calling their friends and greeting those around them to watch Lucas live broadcast together, unconsciously. More and more people began to pay attention to Lucas' live broadcast, not wanting to miss a single frame. After all, he was working hard for Verona, fighting for Verona's glory. This was the equivalent of Verona having a live broadcast from the front line in times of war, it was thought that no Veronese would want to miss such a live broadcast as it was a matter of national security. 
After one night, the room Lucas was originally in was refreshed into an initial room surrounded by pure white, the four surrounding doors were all gray and random, however, Lucas noticed that out of those four doors, there was one that didn't seem quite right, with a slight frown on his brow, he stepped closer and examined the distinctive gray door in front of him. What was different from the other gray doors was that the frame of this gray door was slightly purple, with occasional streams of purple light flashing making it look mysterious and dangerous. In the next second a golden hint text appeared in front of Lucas' eyes, room type, abyssal room monster type, abyssal pioneer level 3-1 terrain, barren land mortality rate, 10% information description. After learning that the 10,000 races of the sky have joined forces to create a marriage game, the Abyss immediately launched an invasion of the marriage game. And many Abyssal monsters have already invaded the game just to strangle the growth path of Earth players in advance, and these Abyssal monsters are even stronger than the ordinary monsters. These Abyssal monsters are even tougher than normal monsters. However, opportunity and danger always go hand in hand, and the treasure drop rate of abyssal monsters is also very amazing, if you are strong, you can get various equipment or props by killing abyssal monsters. Tip, there is a level 3 abyssal vanguard in this room, with your current team formation you will be able to kill it without any injuries if you are careful, but you must be careful not to get eroded by the abyssal breath that the monster releases before it dies, or else it will gradually assimilate into an abyssal creature. Unless you have purifying holy water, Abyssal room, Lucas froze for a moment when he saw this kind of room for the first time, looking at the introductory information that the monsters in this room were from the abyss, Lucas clearly remembered that the reason the marriage matching game came down was because all the races of heaven had joined forces to create it in order to help the earth defend itself against the abyssal invasion. Unexpectedly, in this situation, the abyss could still send. Monsters to invade the game, the strength of the other party's terror could be imagined, not only was this abyssal vanguard only a level 3 monster, but it was able to give Lucas a 10% mortality rate, which showed how strong it was. It was important to note that the elite grade ice rock giant he encountered earlier was a level 5 monster, and monsters of that level and with the elite title could not cause Lucas the risk of death. Such a comparison was enough to prove the toughness of abyssal monsters, so Lucas thought about it and didn't rush into it, after all, there were still three rooms he hadn't looked at yet, so maybe he could find something better. He moved his eyes to the gray door on the left, room type, monster room monster type, golden lion king level 10 1 brutal golden lion level 720 terrain, tropical grassland mortality rate, 100% hint, there is a group of golden lions living in this room and the leader lion king is strong and has great commanding ability, so with the strength of your team, going in there will surely result in death. Exit this room. Lucas shakes his head and looks at the gray door on the right, room type, story drama room story type, vampire's supper gameplay description, the room is an ancient castle, in the castle lives a vampire family in which the player must mix into the vampires play the vampire to eat together if you can hold out until dawn and not be found you can successfully pass the level and get the rewards. Mortality rate, 100% hint, to pass the vampire dinner you must have vampire skills or bloodline talent or else in the meal cannot be hidden from the perception of other vampires and ultimately waiting for you only death, this is also a dead end, Lucas saw this 100% mortality rate and immediately looked towards the last grey door, room type, trap room trap type, soft trap trap effect. Countless ugly looking banshees in the room will release illusions on the players who enter, and the other. Party from the player's point of view will be an extremely beautiful woman, and then start intercourse with the banshees, and eventually sink into them and die. Mortality rate, 100% hint, this room is a juicer, the kind that sucks the marrow from your bones, if you don't want to be sucked dry by a bunch of ugly banshees, don't enter this room, what kind of ugly banshees, Lucas said, in this case, if he didn't want to get anything today, he could only choose the abyssal room. Although the Abyssal Room had a 10% mortality rate, Lucas estimated that it was most likely caused by the Abyssal Breath released by the Abyssal Monsters after they died, as long. As you were a little more careful to avoid it, you should be fine, no big deal, keep using the Dragon Play method and drag the Abyssal Vanguard to death. After making his decision, Lucas returned to his personal space and called all three girls. 
After that, Lucas took the lead and pushed open the grey door that represented the abyssal room, and the four of them slowly walked in, inside the Verona live streaming room, the eyes of the Verona populace were glued to the four of Lucas, have you noticed that this door is a bit different this time, the door frame has a bit of purple color, I guess Lucas noticed it too, that's why he called Bonnie and the girls to stand by and wait for whatever that purple color represents and wished Lucas. Better luck, yes, any disaster that comes to Verona is too much for us to bear, people from other countries also flocked to the city when they heard the news that Lucas had begun exploring, for some time now, Lucas' repeated successes had made them envious and jealous, some expected him to be unlucky, while others wanted to see how long his luck would last. As a result, the ratings for Verona Live were far higher than the rest of the country, among them, the people of Lumina, who had just suffered the catastrophe of fertility deprivation, were venting their inner anguish and resentment on the Verona live stream, this random room with a purple door frame must have horrible monsters, I want to see Verona players die and see you Verona suffer too. Right, why should we Lumina suffer two disasters in a row while you Verona don't have any? I'm not happy with that, I'm not happy with the fact that it clearly says deprivation of fertility, why should I be deprived of my youth? I want the people of Verona to suffer like this, not just us Lumina people. The people of Verona, while gloating over these disgruntled Lumina people, naturally hit back hard. The funny thing is that many people from other countries also helped the people of Verona and joined the army of taunting Lumina people, while the crowd was cursing fiercely, Lucas had already entered the abyss room, what met his eyes was a grey-white land, the sky was a dark purple, and a reddish blood moon hung high above, barely illuminating the land, in the distance, a humanoid creature about ten feet tall stood silently with its back to Lucas and the others, and a thick stone pillar that appeared to be a weapon rested in its hand, seeing a player enter the room, this abyssal vanguard gave a slight eep, slowly turned around to look at Lucas and said in a low voice, it seems that this vanguard is having good luck today and has actually caught some tasty prey, up until that moment, Lucas could see the general appearance of this abyssal vanguard, its skin color was grey-black, its features were similar to humans, its eyes were scarlet red, it had a sharp horn growing on its head, its body was muscular, its body surface didn't have any clothes on, its bare skin looked somewhat similar to whales with a faint sheen, and bright purple lines were scattered all over its body. Seeing this terrifying monster, the Veronians in the live broadcast room were instantly shocked, holy shit, this monster looks a bit boss-like, shouldn't it be very strong? This place just by looking at the environment, it's not a normal monster map, what is Lucas going to do now? Those columns in the monster's hand aren't weapons, are they? It looks so ferocious. Compared to the panic and fear of the people of Verona, the people of other countries who can't wait for Verona's downfall are all very happy, the Verona players have finally encountered a decent monster and it looks like it won't be easy to deal with, it looks like my prayers are working Verona is waiting for a catastrophe to come, Lucas go to hell and let this kind of monster come to Verona a million heads is the best. A million would be great. Finally the Verona players went to Karma and between the pop-ups Lucas and the others were ready to fight, he looked at Harvey and said, let's try it in melee first, if it doesn't work, pull back immediately and switch to dragon tactics. Seeing Harvey nod, Lucas looked back at Bonnie and Fireless Dance, you two are responsible for ranged attacks, cover me. Don't worry, husband, Bonnie nodded and told Lucas, go ahead and fight, we'll cover you well, Fireless Dance said seriously, with a three-word battle plan, Lucas split his army into two, one on the left and one on the right, and charged towards the abyssal vanguard, in the process of rapidly approaching, Lucas condensed the flower butterfly fan in his hand and threw it at the abyssal vanguard, Harvey's eyes opened, the white eyes had opened at the same time she condensed the blue chakra in her, Hand and the soft step double lion fist had already been made and the dominating lion head shadow attached to her arms, pulling out a long blue tail with a fast run. Bonnie and unknown fire dance did not rush to attack, their task is to cover at this time, both eyes are staring firmly at the abyss vanguard, as long as he made a move to attack, the two women would intervene, the abyssal vanguard had a face of contempt as he stood in place, moved his wrists, and then twisted his neck, making a crisp ringing sound, he had a relaxed expression on his face, as if he hadn't noticed the incoming flower butterfly fan, 
only when the flaming flower butterfly fan was about to hit his face did the abyssal vanguard open his mouth and inhale into his stomach, showing a satisfied expression as he burped. After that, the purple lines on his body flowed for a while before turning red, not bad, the power of the fire attribute full of bursts and high temperatures. With a satisfied smile, the abyssal vanguard reached out his right hand and grabbed the huge stone pillar beside him. Pouring the fire attribute energy he had just absorbed into it, the next second, the Stone Pillar instantly burst into flames, Abyssal Vanguard swung the Stone Pillar at Lucas, who had already attacked in front of him, and clenched his left hand into a fist, smashing it at Harvey. Lucas was willing to test his opponent's strength and used his soft fist to hit him with a blow, while Harvey was more skillful, his double lions dodging his opponent's attack and hitting him hard in the stomach, at the same time, Bonnie's Red Maple Leaf and Firefly Dance's Flower Butterfly Fan followed and struck the Abyssal Vanguard's chest, boom. Lucas felt nothing but numbness in his arms as his opponent's power was actually equal to his own. It should be noted that the Abyssal Vanguard was only level 3 inch while he was already level 7. Couldn't it be that the physical characteristics of the Abyssal creatures had an innate advantage? Without much time to think, Lucas hastily shouted, back off, don't fight hard. Harvey retreated at the sound of his voice and pulled away a dozen meters with Lucas, she could feel that the soft step double lion fist had only done half the damage, the layer of skin on her opponent's body seemed to have a chakra absorbing effect, preventing her from penetrating deep into the flesh and blood and attacking the acupuncture points. And just a touch of contact made her lose quite a bit of chakra, this kind of opponent can suck your chakra out in sustained melee combat. A few moments later, the smoke slowly dissipated and the abyssal vanguard was still standing in the same place, only the stone pillar in his hand had already dissipated its flames and returned to its original form, and the chest that had been attacked by the butterfly flower fan and the red maple leaf seemed to be unharmed, it was just that the purple lines on its body had faded slightly and unnoticeably. The Abyssal Vanguard's expression was much more serious than before as he narrowed his eyes at Lucas and asked in a condescending tone, Earthling, I guess you're not of low rank, are you? Lucas didn't bother to argue with him and said to the three girls, no more close combat, just kite him to death with long-range attacks. Lucas said to the three girls, no melee, just kite him to death with ranged attacks. The three girls responded with their own ranged attacks. Bonnie flicked her wrist and her Jade Raven continued to fire red maple leaves. Fireless danced throughout her fan and pirouette her attack while waiting for the flower butterfly fan to cool down, inside the live broadcast room, the people of Verona were sweating for Lucas and the others, that guy looked hard to handle he just took so much damage in that wave at the beginning, yet he looked unharmed, I guess it's a small boss, based on the analysis of the battle just now, he has the ability to absorb energy attacks. And his physical fitness is also very strong, directly. Resisting Harvey's soft step double lion fist and Bonnie and Fire Dance's long range attacks, what should we do? Lucas and the others shouldn't be able to defeat him, right? Don't worry, although this boss is very strong, Lucas and his team are not vegetarian so far there is still no danger, Lumina Phillipsburg Frog Island Poisonous Frogs Astralberg Populus's pop-up screen are all kinds of taunts and sneers. Verona people are hilarious still here on paper I see Lucas is going to die soon. It's best if he dies, because as long as he dies, Verona's happiness will be over. He should have died a long time ago, collecting rewards so many times in a row while I can't enjoy them, it's a disaster for me to have this kind of person alive, big monsters kill the Verona players, I want to see how the people of their land suffer under the disaster. The people of Verona responded with another bloodbath of the 18 generations of their ancestors, Lucas team, and their group attacked the Abyssal Vanguard without stopping the flower butterfly fan red maple leaf bitterness and the hand sword flew, the opponent still had a haughty expression on his face, just waving the stone pillar in his hand easily resisting all kinds of long-range attacks. And from time to time he could even open his mouth and swallow a red maple leaf or a flower. Butterfly Fan, then swing the stone pillar to hit a wave of long-range attacks to return the four people, both sides were at a stalemate. The Abyssal Vanguard laughed out loud, weak humans, how long can you sustain such attacks? 
When you run out of stamina, that's when the battle will end. Lucas' eyes moved slightly as he detected a hint of favorable information. If this abyssal vanguard was so confident, why did they have to win by draining their energy? Wouldn't it be good to just take the initiative? Besides, the other party had been standing still and not moving, was it because they were patronizingly unwilling to move, or was it because they were unable to move? Most importantly, the other party could absorb energy attacks, but seemed to despise physical attacks, at the beginning of the test, the abyssal vanguard was the one who swallowed the flower butterfly fan that he threw, ignoring the energy attacks of the three women in favor of using the stone pillars to block his fists. If this analysis was correct, several weaknesses of the enemy could be deduced, first, the abyssal vanguard could not move. Second, the abyssal vanguard's resistance to physical attacks was relatively weak, Lucas' eyes flickered, and a feasible plan was already sketched out in his mind, he directly used Finger Tiger's active skill to summon the goblin warrior, a hexagram formation appeared out of nowhere, and then a goblin warrior holding a giant axe slowly coalesced, Lucas whispered a few words to the goblin warrior, informing him of the battle plan, then he told the three girls to continue their long-range attacks. While carefully avoiding the abyssal vanguard's counterattacks, he, on the other hand, led the goblin warriors and charged the abyssal vanguard. Seeing that Lucas was able to summon helpers, the abyssal vanguard's expression changed, but they quickly recovered and sneered, you think you can fight the noble abyssal creatures by summoning a lowly race like goblins? Lucas didn't react, and between his sprints, he had already come within two meters of the Abyssal Vanguard. In response, the Abyssal Vanguard grunted and swung the stone pillar across the semicircle in front of him, its attack radius encompassing both Lucas and the Goblin Warrior, at the same time, his eyes were constantly watching the long-range attacks of Bonnie and the others, and while he opened his mouth to devour the energy attacks, he didn't forget to swing his hand to knock down the Bitterless and the Shuriken as well. The Cobalt Warrior received the command and threw the huge axe in his hand. Directly at Lucas, and he himself bravely rushed towards the stone pillar and opened his hands as if to hold the stone pillar, in response, the Abyssal Vanguard laughed coldly, his talent is to devour energy, the more energy he devours in a battle, the stronger he becomes, and the stone pillar's attack power will grow with it. If that high-level human male was able to carry the initial stone pillar attack, that goblin would only be killed by him in a single blow. Trying to break the game by limiting his weapons was indeed a good idea, but the gap in power would make this earthling understand everything. The corners of the abyssal vanguard's mouth grinned, revealing sharp fangs, and he could already see the image of the goblin's brain bursting, and that was supposed to be this human's last resort, once this tactic was ineffective, the other party would not be able to do anything to him. Thoughts flowed in a split second, and a stone pillar was about to hit the goblin warrior between his dances, in the next second, a protective shield of ice crystals surrounded the goblin warrior, at that moment, the ice giant's guardian chest armor came into play. The stone pillar smashed into the ice crystal shield with a loud bang, and the blue colored shield was as solid as a mountain, leaving the goblin warrior unharmed. Taking advantage of the opportunity, he also managed to hug the huge stone pillar while his hands reached out to break the abyssal vanguard's fingers as he tried to snatch the pillar from the other party's hands, the abyssal vanguard became enraged and threw its right hand as hard as it could to knock the goblin warrior away, at that moment, Lucas, holding the goblin warrior's huge axe, slashed at the abyssal vanguard's right arm with all his might, with the sound of a poof, the axe blade broke. Through the gray-black skin, spraying purple blood and severing the enemy's right arm at its root. At the same time, Lucas shouted to the three girls, this is it. Attack him with your highest damage skills with all your might. Hearing this, the three girls jumped into action, Bonnie did not hesitate to stand at the same spot and aim at the abyssal troll, using falling leaf flying flower, twenty red maple leaves swept towards the abyssal troll wrapped in a strong wind. Hyuga Harvey and Fire Dance looked at each other, nodded their heads in unison, and took a step toward the Abyssal Troll, as she sprinted, Shiranui Mai threw out her flower butterfly fan, and at the same time, her dragon flame dance was ready to go. 
Harvey fused the twin lions in her hands, her white eyes fixed on the abyssal vanguard as she quickly approached her opponent and struck the eight trigrams and sixty-four palms with the soft step twin lion fist enchantment, the abyssal vanguard's right arm was severed, and the stone pillar naturally fell to the ground with it as he let out a roar of shock and anger, despicable human, how dare you play tricks. But there was no one to hear him, the goblin warrior kicked the stone pillar far away, then used his muscular body to wrap around the abyssal vanguard's only remaining left arm, angrily, the abyssal vanguard raised his foot and kicked straight ahead, he only had that arm left, if he was chopped off by that human again, he would lose it completely. Unfortunately, his kicks were blocked by the ice crystal shield, so Lucas made a split-second decision to aim for the abyssal vanguard's leg that supported his strength, and slashed his axe across the knee joint, a slightly skeletal sensation, but it didn't affect Lucas' ability to hack off the abyssal vanguard's leg. Now he lost his balance completely and fell to the ground, the goblin warrior did his duty and grabbed hold of the abyssal vanguard's arm, pressing his body against it so that he couldn't move, at this time, the three women's attacks also arrived, three berserk energy attacks bombarded the abyssal vanguard one after the other, causing the purple lines on the surface of his body to quickly fade, Lucas found the right opportunity and with his hand on the axe, he directly decapitated him. In the next second, Harvey's white eyes noticed the violent energy fluctuations within the abyssal vanguard's body, her face changed and she said sharply, run. Lucas sniffed and ordered the goblin warriors to hold their original positions while he and the fire dance darted away, and as he passed Bonnie's position, he scooped her up in a princess carry and flew away at a rapid pace. Three seconds later, the crowd had retreated a hundred meters, abyssal vanguard position also at this time the explosion purple fog swept 30 meters in a circle annoying corrosive sound is very using it seems even the air in this area was distorted and swallowed in the next second a prompt appeared in front of me you and bonnie hinata harvey and fire dance have combined your efforts to kill abyssal vanguard level 3 1 with an experience value of plus 100 congratulations on reaching level 8 with a full attribute of plus 5 and a lifespan of plus 5, based on the rules of level binding between spouses in the marriage game, Bonnie has reached level 8, Hinata Harvey has reached level 8, and Fire Dance has reached level 8, however, the difficulty level was much higher than that of the hibernating giant bear. Simultaneously with the death of the Abyssal Pioneer, the barren land in the room quickly shrank, all of it converging on the Abyssal Pioneer's place of death, and the room quickly turned pure white, Finally, everything in the room coalesced into a basketball-sized ball of purple light with a golden exclamation point shining brightly on it, something exploded. Lucas quickly stepped forward and reached out to touch it, the next second all he felt was a warm current flowing along his fingertips and a black text message appeared in front of his eyes, congratulations on killing the abyssal vanguard, the other party dropped their own natural ability after death, now you have received this natural ability. Devouring Absorption Level 1 Devouring Absorption Level 1 Passive talent after killing the enemy will automatically devour the other party high. Probability of increasing attributes Low probability of obtaining a certain skill of the other party Lucas raised his eyebrows This skill at first glance was a divine skill, and at a more serious look, it really was a divine skill. You can gain attributes by killing and devouring the enemy, and there is even a small chance of gaining a skill, in a place like the marriage matching game, where you can't move without encountering monsters, this talent is really a perfect match. Sighing in his heart, Lucas opened his attribute panel to check it out, name, Lucas level, 873-100 strength, 45 plus 8 constitution, 46 plus 8 agility, 45 wisdom, 45 plus 3 charisma, 45 health, 20 120 talent, devour and absorb level 1 skills. Maple Leaf Incarnation Level 1 Soft Fist Level 1 Flower Butterfly Fan Level 1 Equipment, Goblin Summoning Fingertip Ice Rock Giants Guardian Breastplate D Remarks, Ordinary People Have an Average of 5 for All Attributes Except Vitality. TSK Not Bad Really Good. At Level 8 Inch with the Attribute Increase from his Equipment, his Strength and Constitution broke through the 50 mark. Moreover, it was estimated that it wouldn't take long to reach level 10, I wonder if there would be any new gains. For example, would the daughters-in-law continue to learn new skills or something? 
In the live broadcast room, when Lucas successfully killed the Abyssal Vanguard, the hanging hearts of the people of Verona completely relaxed, scared me to death, that monster is simply the strongest Lucas has faced in such a long time, thankfully it's dry, I checked it, Lucas operation just now was simply divine. First of all, through the preliminary test and long range attack concluded that the other party is not afraid of energy attack, so summoned the goblin warrior to try to melee close to the goblin warrior to sell. He took the giant axe as the main output at the same time used the ice armor of the initiative to protect the goblin warrior in the successive chopping off the abyssal vanguard hands and feet shouted to his daughter-in-law to set fire to the final axe and finally an axe will be heading it. The analysis upstairs is very on point, I finally read the ins and outs of that battle just now, so it is like this. Lucas scared the hell out of me in that melee, and my heart is still pounding. Did you see that the Abyssal Vanguard exploded a devouring and absorbing talent, and in the future, Lucas will be able to devour the monster's attributes and skills when he kills the monsters, so he'll be even stronger. Where are the people who just cursed Lucas to death? Why don't you dare to come out? Come out and kneel down and apologize. For those who mocked Verona, we Lucas have once again beaten the odds and led Verona further in the marriage game. No one dares to answer the words of the Verona public, who are raising their eyebrows, all those who were filled with malice towards Verona knew that appearing at a time like this would only get them sprayed or the kind who had no power to fight back. Lucas resumed his exploration after a short rest, the refreshed rooms were one red and two grey, and as usual, he looked at the red wedding room first, he gazed intently and a golden text prompt appeared in front of him, room type, marriage matching room occupant, scarlet child race, great apes of the Mangu continent level, level 1 characteristics, muscular strong shrinking super fat buttocks face value, 20 by human aesthetics test, compete with scarlet child for the fastest shuttle in the forest tip, this room is filled with Scarlet Child, a flower from the Great Ape Tribe, don't look at her as a big woman, but she will show a little daughterly attitude when it comes to the one she loves, of course if you can't accept the fact that the daughter-in-law is covered with a lot of blood, you won't be able to accept her, if you can't accept that your daughter-in-law is covered in hair, it's better to give up. Lucas' mind immediately conjured up the image of a writhing female gorilla, and he was scared to death, that kind of big alien female, it's better to leave it to other people to enjoy, he's not lucky enough to enjoy it, gulping, Lucas turned his head to the grey door in front of him, room type, monster room monster type, rampaging tree goblin level 10 forest mortality rate, 100% hint. There are a large number of level 10 tree goblins in this room, their life source is depleted for no reason and they are in a rampaging state at this time, don't mess with them. Lucas felt his scalp tingle at the thought of a bunch of tree goblins wielding roots and vines that his small body couldn't handle, shaking his head, he looked at the last grey door, come on, a good door, will you, Lucas muttered to himself and stared. Room type, resource room resource type, random silver treasure chest random range, food, equipment, skills, personal space, upgrade cards, etc., mortality rate, 0% tip. 100% safe resource room, you can walk in and open the treasure chests and as for what to harvest it's all up to your luck, pray you're a Euro Emperor. A resource room? Lucas' heart leapt as he led the three girls to this grey door, inside the live broadcast room, the people of Verona couldn't help but admire Lucas when they saw that he had just finished a thrilling battle and hadn't rested for long before continuing his exploration, I have to say, Lucas is really lucky for us in Verona to be chosen as Verona's candidate, that urge to explore is too strong. Yes, he's just finished fighting such a tough monster and now he's back to exploring, that's fierce. If it were me, I'd hide in my personal space to rest and relax, looking for my daughter's in-law to calm my inner fear and anxiety, the grey door this time was a normal grey door, so I shouldn't encounter that powerful monster again the people from the other countries would show up again this time, and they wouldn't miss a chance to step on Lucas, you Verona players really don't want to die, you keep running towards the grey door, there's a red door over there and you don't even enter it. Stupid. Yes, the main point of the marriage game is to get married, and only in this way can you bring national happiness rewards to the country you belong to, so why is Lucas of your country always going to the grey door? Does he want to separate himself from you people of Verona? 
I really hope he meets unbeatable monsters, grey gates are random and it's quite possible that he'll randomly get a monster that slaps him in the face. Expect Verona players to die in combat. The curse seekers took the initiative and jumped out, and of course the people of Verona didn't like it and drowned them in spit. And Lucas had already pushed open the grey door with the three girls and entered the resource room, what met his eyes was a luxurious silver-white palace with a silver glittering treasure chest in the center and a golden exclamation mark flashing incessantly, seeing this, the cursing in the live broadcast room stopped and the people of Verona went wild, holy shit, this is a resource room. There's also a silver treasure chest. God bless Lucas, God bless Verona. The last silver treasure chest I opened with Lucas was popped by an ice rock giant and opened a deranked ice armor, so I wonder what kind of equipment can be opened this time. It doesn't have to be equipment, the black iron treasure chest at the beginning opened food, who cares what it is anyway, there is no danger on the line, no danger to earn, the people of other countries made endless jokes, even though they saw the silver treasure chest, they still made all kinds of evil speculations. It's not necessarily a real treasure chest, maybe it's a scary treasure chest monster. Yes, it would be interesting if Lucas is suddenly eaten by a treasure chest monster with a huge mouth when he opens the treasure chest later, a silver colored treasure chest monster, it must be very powerful, it's no problem to eat Lucas, right? Amidst the flurry of pop-ups, Lucas had opened the silver treasure chest, a dazzling white silver light bloomed from inside the chest for several seconds before slowly dissipating, revealing two cards floating in the air, Congratulations, you have opened a random silver treasure chest and received an experience card one and a national fortune reward card one, after using it, you will gain 100 experience points. National fortune reward card, after using it, the country you belong to will receive a random national fortune reward. It looked like a good haul. The experience card could boost your team one level, while the national fortune reward card could bring a new national fortune reward to Verona. This wave of global announcements immediately shook the other 196 countries, some of them had been focusing on their own players' adventures, unaware that Verona was already way ahead, it wasn't until the current global announcement that they were shocked to realize that Verona was already ahead. Countless people from all over the world flocked to Verona's live broadcast room to see what the so-called exclusive copy and experience level system was, at that moment, the screen of Verona's live broadcast room had switched to Verona itself, the pillars of light all over the country and the eastern divine dragon covering the sky were clearly visible to everyone's eyes, pop-ups made up of different kinds of words, all posted by people from different countries around the world were flying. The people of Verona had no time to pay attention to these people watching at this time, and everyone was immediately injected with a message in their heads, knowing the information about the copies in their own region. Have you received any information about the copies in your province? I'm here in Fengdu Ghost City it feels a bit scary. Ah uh, there's also the attribute panel opened I took a look at it 100 points of experience will be able to rise one level I kind of want to go and brush the copies, people from other countries watched from the sidelines, their envious gossip flowing, although I didn't know the details of those copies, since it was a national reward, it definitely wouldn't be too difficult, this meant that the people of Verona could brush their copies in their own country and brush their experience to upgrade them, and upgrading would bring about an increase in physical quality, so it wouldn't be long before the physical quality of the Veronians would be the strongest in the world. How could they not be jealous? Especially the people of those countries that were hostile to Verona, such as Philipsburg, the Straubberg, Caldera, and so on, couldn't even say anything to mock them at the moment. To say that the hardest to bear are those who are in Verona but did not get this national reward, because they had no sense of belonging to Verona and worshipped foreigners, they were turned away from the national luck reward from the beginning, now, looking at the pop-up screen, the excited Veronians were discussing copies and attribute boards, while they hadn't received any copy information and their attribute boards hadn't been opened. This made them almost vomit blood, at the same time, an emergency meeting was held, and a plan on how to properly manage the exclusive copy cards was quickly discussed and immediately propagated for implementation. First, each military region mobilized its armed forces to start opening up the replica level by level from the village level replica, and after the replica was cleared, the replica strategy was announced to the nation's people. 
Second, allow civilians to explore the copies on their own, but advise everyone to make all kinds of preparations before entering the copies to prevent excessive casualties. Third, quickly establish a real name rank management system in which all people's ranks are linked to their identity information for easy management. Fourth, the rapid establishment of replica information exchange forums to facilitate the mutual exchange of information and teaming and so on. Fifth, the establishment of duplicate item trading platforms and regulatory departments to encourage the public to trade equipment props, etc., to promote universal exploration of the duplicate craze. Sixth, with the state machinery in full operation, the program soon came to fruition, and all aspects of Verona's duplicate oversight were put in place. The vast majority of the population still did not rush into the replicas, preferring to wait for the army to research and obtain the strategy before entering the replicas. There are also those who feel that this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to be one step ahead of the others, and that it is worth taking the risk of calling on the brave ones around them to enter and explore the replicas directly. For a while, the whole of Verona was caught up in the fervor of brushing copies, on all the major online platforms, the hottest content was the prediction information related to the copies, people from other countries looked at this scene and turned purple with envy, they also wanted to have copies to brush, and they wanted to upgrade so badly. But for now, they could only stand on the sidelines and envy the people of Verona, there were even people who decided to emigrate to Verona with their whole family. Since Lucas' performance during this period had proven everything, Verona would be the only major country that would be far ahead in the marriage matching game. The sooner you join Verona and become a citizen of Verona, the sooner you can enjoy the various national rewards, however, Verona is very strict about screening immigrants, only one person in a thousand can successfully immigrate, in addition, dignitaries from various countries were on the agenda, bringing their own sincerity in wanting to cooperate with Verona in various fields. These people would bring a large amount of money and jobs to Verona, allowing the lives of the people of Verona to flourish, soon after, the visions in Verona's territory disappeared and the pillar of light in the sky slowly shrank until it disappeared, the dragon of the east also disappeared into the blue sky in white clouds, and the screen of Verona's live broadcast room changed, and Lucas appeared on the live broadcast screen again. After Lucas opened the silver treasure chest, this resource room was automatically refreshed into a pure white room, he was energized and wanted to start exploring again, among the Veronians in the live broadcast room, some of the brave ones had already prepared their weapons with the intention of exploring the copy, however, the vast majority of the people did not act rashly and intended to follow the official arrangements and explore the copies later, which would be safer. Therefore, there were still many people watching the live broadcast. Together with the people from other countries who were attracted by the global announcement, the number of people in the live broadcast room in Verona at that time was several times higher than before, when they saw Lucas walking and exploring again, the people of Verona sighed, good guy, the production team's donkey is not as wild as Lucas, Lucas really is our Verona's lucky star, I love him to death. Besides, this national lucky reward alone is enough to completely establish our Verona as a leader. Yes, we will soon start to brush the copies to upgrade then everyone is a small superhero sea of people tactics can slaughter Philipsburg this garbage. While the crowd lamented, Lucas was already looking at the refreshed doors from left to right, they were grey grey and red, due to the fact that the occupants of the red door were always some weird dong lately, this made Lucas' interest drop a bit, Lucas turned his head to the grey door on the left and a golden text prompt appeared in front of him. Room type, trap room trap type, poisonous snake trap effect, like a tidal wave of poisonous snakes attacking mortality rate, 100% tip, there are 10,000 otherworldly poisonous snakes in this room, their venom is very deadly, in order to leave the room, you need to kill all the poisonous snakes, it is difficult to do with your current strength, better forget about it. Lucas thought deeply and turned his head to look at the grey door in front of him, room type, guessing game room game type, puzzle. Guessing mortality rate, 50% reward for passing, a C-rank piece of equipment information, there is a wisdom stone demon in this room, if you can answer the riddles correctly you'll get a C-ranked piece of equipment, if you lose you'll have to give up your life as a bargaining chip. Tip, riddle this kind of brain teaser, it might involve otherworldly knowledge, that's your knowledge blind spot, it's better not to risk it, 50% mortality rate is no joke. 
The followers were right, Lucas made the decision from his heart, he turned his head towards the last red door, whether or not he could continue exploring today depended on this door. Room type, wedding room occupant, Nildra 2B race, mechanical era bioroid level, one characteristics, cold eye patch light and heavy swords white hair pod drones battle aids face value, 95 in human aesthetics tests, defeat them or be killed by them. Tip, in this room is Neil, a Model 2B mechanical era android with a great face and body and the ability to reproduce, she is made to kill, so you must have the strength to overpower her in order to marry her. With your current level and strength, defeating her will be easy. Lucas was surprised for a moment in his heart, followed by uncontrollable excitement, this was near, one of the goddesses of the 3D realm, and Lucas hadn't seen many of her homoerotic works before, of course, those were just 3D animations fictionalized by technical curiosity, while the one behind that red door in front of him was the real Neil, according to the test shown in the Hint plugin. If you want to marry Neil, you have to defeat her, however, Lucas is already level 9, while the Neil in. The wedding room is only level 1 inch so it should not be too difficult to defeat her, also, the hint plugin indicates that Lucas can easily defeat them, since this is the case, we can't miss this goddess level spouse, with this in mind, Lucas took the three girls in his stride and pushed open the red marriage match door. The people of Verona in the live broadcast room immediately rose in anticipation, in the first three marriage matches, Lucas showed Verona the classical musical instruments of Taijiquan and the eight major cuisines in turn showing his extremely deep Veronian cultural connotation, he also successfully conquered three goddess-level marriage partners and brought Veronian national happiness rewards. I wonder what kind of existence the residents of the marriage house will have this time, and what kind of cultural connotation Lucas will show, and what kind of national happiness reward he will win for Verona. The people of Verona are very excited, it is an exciting time to be back on the marriage matching room, so allow me to crack open a coke to calm the nerves. Lucas has just brought us exclusive copies and leveling system in Verona and now he's going to bring surprises again. Lucas has just brought the national reward which is also too cool the local leaders on our side have launched various policies to encourage people to explore the copies and they can get money for upgrading and they can fight monsters and upgrade so who is still going to go to work and let the national reward come a little more fiercely. The state council has released a white paper on exclusive copies, and I expect that this next period will see a sea change in the lives of our Verona people, and the focus of society will no longer be on schooling, going to work, and 996 internal scrolls, but it will be a complete shift in the new direction of fighting monsters and upgrading. I am not the material of study, but dare to fight can make money by brushing copies I am the first on. The people of other countries had already envied them countless times in their hearts, and at this time, when they saw the Verona people's anticipation of the future, they were even more upset, and the mockery came one after another, you Veronians should save your breath, can't you see that the monsters in the marriage game are so frightening? If you dare to draw a copy, you'll probably die soon, this exclusive copy is not necessarily a good dong, maybe it doesn't even need a war, and your population will be drastically reduced, I don't know what you Verona people are looking forward to, there are a lot of disgusting races in the marriage room, better let Lucas meet Spider Woman. Verona people better go to the replica and get killed by the monsters so that this land will be ours in Astralberg. Sooner or later there will be a disaster in Verona, I'm ready to smuggle myself to Caldera, bye bye trash land. While the pop-ups were flying in the live room, Lucas had already arrived in the wedding room, what met his eyes was a futuristic skyscraper around him with all kinds of flying machines whizzing by in the air, and after observing for a few seconds he realized that he was currently on a rooftop of a building, this rooftop had been transformed into a huge fighting arena, not far away, a tall, white-haired, extremely beautiful woman was standing with a black combat eye mask on her face, carrying a light and a heavy long sword behind her back, and a small drone hovering beside her, a short black combat skirt, knee-high black silk stockings, and thigh-high black leather boots outlined a perfect figure. One could vaguely see the plump and greasy feel of thigh flesh being strangled by the stockings, it was clearly the member of the infantry regiment from the mechanical era, Neil, seeing this 3D zone goddess, the live broadcast instantly exploded, at that moment, whether it was the people of Verona or other countries, as long as they knew Neil, 
they were all shocked, followed by envy and jealousy. This was because Nir's goddess image was too deeply rooted in people's hearts, and she was simply the goddess of countless people's dreams, as a result, she appeared in the wedding chamber at that moment, and it is possible that she will soon become Lucas' spouse. Dear God. My Neil why would she appear in the marriage match room? Not to mention I'm going to go brush my copy to upgrade and then find a way to enter the marriage match game to find Lucas to duel whoever wins will be Nier's husband. Goddess, my goddess, I'm so jealous. The cold and stunning Neil even came to the matchmaking game matchmaking why was I not selected to become a matchmaking game player I'm not willing in the countless envious and jealous glances and pop-ups flying in the matchmaking room, Neil turned his head to look at Lucas and after some measurements, his tone of voice was light and said, are you my matchmaking partner? My name is Neil and who are you? Lucas smiled slightly and said, my name is Lucas from Verona, Neil nodded slightly and said, if you want to marry me you must be a strong man as long as you can defeat me I will of course agree to marry you, the three behind you can't participate in a fight, it must be a fair one-on-one -on -one duel to make it work, obviously. Neil wants to fight Lucas one-on-one -on -one instead of letting him bring his daughters-in-law to fight in a group. Of course, Lucas would not refuse, it was already level 9 fighting level 1, if they were to engage in a group fight, it would be too much haha. He looked at his three daughters-in-law and smiled, I'm going to fight your new sisters one-on-one, -on -one. can you be my cheerleader? The three women looked at each other and smiled as they nodded their heads, husband, don't worry about going, Bonnie will cheer for you. Me too. Lucas has to work hard. Sisters, it just so happens that I have a lot of fans, let's each have one and cheer for Lucas together. The three girls laughed and immediately entered the state and started waving the flag to cheer, Lucas smiled and walked up and said to Neil, I'm ready can we start? Neil nodded and said, before we start there are a few rules that I would like to explain to you in detail, after the dueling arena starts, we will be datamined any damage we suffer during the fight will be restored after the end, even if the datamined body dies, it will be resurrected after the end, no need to worry, second, in this marriage chamber, the only way for you to leave alive is to defeat me. Otherwise you will be wiped out by the rules, even for the sake of those three ladies who are waving the flag, please make sure that you give it your all. Neil said glancing in the direction of the cheerleaders who were laughing all the time, Lucas sniffed and his expression turned serious, originally he had been worried about hitting Neil too hard and hurting him, but now it seemed that there was no need to worry. Besides, for the sake of his daughters-in-law, this battle cannot be lost, Lucas nodded his head, near nodded slightly, her fingers continuing to tap the air in front of her, and faint blue ripples swirled out in the form of water. Waves, after a few maneuvers, she weakly said, ready? After a three-second countdown, the duel will begin. 3-2-1 to begin. As Neil's words fell, a blue shield instantly coalesced, enveloping her and Lucas within the dueling arena, Bonnie Harvey and the three girls of the unknown fire dance happened to be isolated, but it didn't affect the viewing of the fight. The people of Verona in the live broadcast room watched in amazement, I didn't expect Neil's marriage test to be a battle and that Lucas would have to defeat her, Lucas is now level 9 inch so she should be able to defeat Neil, right? It's hard to say, maybe Neil is super strong in battle. Suddenly began to panic, what if Lucas lost Lucas can never give a little bit of strength other countries people see Neil's marriage test is actually fighting suddenly looked forward to it, I can't believe they're talking about fighting Neil's got a lot of power value, come on fuck the Verona contestant to death. Kill him, kill him. Decapitate him with a heavy sword. Please let the Verona player die once, let disaster strike Verona once. As the projectiles flew, Neil had already drawn his lightsaber behind him and charged at Lucas at high speed, while the plot-assisted combat drones beside him quickly followed suit, firing lasers at Lucas. Lucas' face was grave as he hurried to the side to avoid the drone's laser beams, only then did he realize that his original stance was gullible, Although Neil's level was low, his combat strength was not weak, especially since the drone's lasers were very fast and posed a great threat to Lucas, after realizing that his opponent's strength was not to be underestimated, Lucas decided to go all out, dodging the lasers. Lucas threw the flower butterfly fan at the drone, and the flaming fan hit the drone precisely, knocking it to the ground, 
at the same time, Nir had already killed her delicate body, waving her light sword like a beautiful but dangerous poppy, the light blade was approaching Lucas' neck in an instant, and the next second it would be able to cut off his neck. But Lucas wanted that chance, he used his maple leaf incarnation directly, his body transformed into a sky of red maple leaves that exploded and the next second coalesced and took shape behind Neil, seizing the opportunity when their door was wide open, Lucas did not hesitate to strike Neil's back, neck, waist, sciatic nerve in his hip, knee joint and Achilles tendon in his leg, and other vital parts of his body like a storm of soft blows, although Neil was a bionic human since his physiology was similar to that of a human, these parts were equally important, powerful strength seeped into Neil's body under the power of the soft fist, and the passive bleeding effect of the goblin finger tiger also took effect at that moment, in an instant, Nir's body was hit so hard that she couldn't even hold the light sword in her hand and dropped it with a crash, she fell to the ground and struggled to get up, but she could not. In the next second, a black prompt appeared in front of Lucas' eyes, you have passed Neil's marriage test, you may now return her to your personal space and take her home, as the prompt appeared, the light shield surrounding the dueling arena disappeared, and Lucas and Neil's status was instantly restored to its previous state, Lucas, your strength is very strong and you have successfully defeated me, from now on we will be the husband and wife of life and death, Lucas also sighed with relief. In his heart, fortunately he was suppressed by his own level, otherwise he would not be sure that he would be able to defeat Neil, immediately after that, he became excited, looking at Neil's slightly flushed face, it was obvious that he had already thought about what would happen next. Lucas is also not ambiguous directly put her on the waist to pick up warm fragrance and soft jade in the arms, he opened his personal space to the only guest cheerleader of the three female young shouted, ladies hit the road back to the house. Come on. Another sister to join our team has become stronger. The three women laughed and followed Lucas back to his personal room, then the screen of the live broadcast room went black, as much as I want to say that Lucas is great, that black screen came too fast. Fuck me, why did the screen go black? Isn't that the privacy screen yet? Anyway, Lucas is really strong, he directly took Neil for a split second and beat up his wife without any weakness, the heart without women martial arts natural god Lucas a shot Neil carry home. Verona people hip hop jokes, but also do not forget to mock the Verona full of malice to the people of other countries. Only when they were scolded so much that they didn't dare to squeal did they content themselves with continuing the conversation, Many of the people of Verona were reluctant to leave the live broadcast room, waiting for the time when the screen would light up, because that was the time to receive the reward for national happiness. Time passed, and after two hours, the live broadcast screen finally came back on. On the screen, Lucas was sitting on the living room sofa with Bonnie Hinata Harvey Fireless Dance and Neil with cut fruits in front of them eating and chatting, at this time Neil has changed his clothes and the stockings on his legs before have come off not knowing if they were torn or taken to the laundry, Lucas nibbled a bite of the wonderful fruit and checked out the prompts that appeared in front of him. You have successfully married Neil and received a reward from the Byroid clan, level plus one full attribute plus five lifespan plus five gain skill light and heavy sword proficiency level one your country of affiliation has received a gift from the Byroid clan full attribute plus one lifespan plus one future mechanical technology for all its members light and heavy sword proficiency level one. Passive skill you are very proficient with any light and heavy sword and can use light and heavy swords together in combat, future. Mechanical technology, the Bioroid family gave the mechanical technology including the whole system of civilian technology and comes with a full set of matching industrial chain and guidance robots to decide the industrial chain of the layout of the site of Verona official high-level discussions, Lucas looked at this future mechanical technology with straight eyes, the other rewards were all of the regular type, and the light and heavy sword skills only allowed Lucas to have one more means of attack. However, the future mechanical technology given by this national luck reward could allow Verona to reach a new level, when the future mechanical technology was fully spread in Verona, it was estimated that Verona would become the most economically developed country on earth, bar none. 
Even though this future mechanical technology only involved the civilian field, it would still be able to bring about shocking changes, the way of life that people are used to will be changed, cell phones, computers, cars and so on, from food, clothing, housing and transportation to the internet, all industries have begun to change at this very moment. Just as Lucas sighed at the richness of this harvest, an unexpected prompt appeared. Congratulations, you have reached level 10, the career system is open. You can choose from the following professions, warrior assassin mage archer auxiliary different professions focus on different directions, and the attributes gained from upgrading after transferring also focus on different directions, so please choose carefully, Lucas looked at the newly appeared profession system as well as these five professions and hesitated for a while, not knowing which profession to choose, in the next second. Another set of prompts appeared in front of his eyes. Congratulations, you have opened the profession system, your country will be opened at the same time, all Veronians can choose any profession to transfer after level 10. Good lord, it's really a bumper harvest this time, not to mention an extra daughter-in-law, the reward clues came in bunches. Lucas wanted to reconsider his choice of profession and did not rush into it. By this time, Verona's live broadcast room had already exploded. What kind of day is today? The rewards come in waves. Neil was too powerful to bring us so many rewards at once. Future mechanical technology career system, this is too good. Even though it's a mechanical technology in the civilian field, it's enough to leave other countries far behind, and we can also use this technology to find out what the military field can use it for, I've already thought about it. When I reach level 10, I'll become a mage. Mages are the strongest. Mage is nothing assassin 2 seconds might as well choose warrior surely can resist and fight. I'd rather choose a support profession, I slingshot to hit birds thieves accurate choose the archer must be very strong, the eyes of people from other countries are red with envy, why is Verona so cool? All the advantages have been taken by Verona. The exclusive copying and upgrading system that was just opened, and now the career system, not only that, but also the future mechanical technology, Originally, some Western developed countries can still be in the few high-tech field card of Verona neck, now it seems afraid to be Verona in turn card neck, the most difficult thing is to have Verona bloodline. But the spirit of the group of people who worship foreign countries, these people were originally hidden among the masses, working and living normally during the week and only venting their dissatisfaction and malice towards Verona on the internet so that the people around them couldn't see their true colors. However, since Lucas' first successful marriage, these 1450s have found that their various physical qualities are getting worse and worse compared to those around them, originally, they were all lethargic when they went to work, but when other colleagues started eating the carrots produced on San Andreas Island and practicing Jochuan, their physical fitness became better and better, gradually. All the colleagues around them became energetic when they went to work, and they, the only ones who had not been favored by the country's fortune, looked like frozen eggplants in the lively crowd, if this went on for a long time, I'm afraid it wouldn't be long before the people around them realized that they were the group of people who had been rejected by the national luck reward, so these people began to panic, those who were able to do so immediately ran away and greased themselves, while those who weren't able to do so temporarily brainwashed themselves in their hearts and said to themselves, I'm very patriotic. But it was no use, every time there was a reward for national happiness, there was still no share for them, this time, when they saw a series of rewards, their mentality completely collapsed, and they sent pop-ups hysterically, why don't I get a national happiness reward? Just because I wasn't patriotic before. Just because I think the West is good, so I've been denied my country's lucky reward. Stupid marriage game, fuck him. I'm already patriotic, why don't you give me a bonus? What's it going to take? Are you going to drive me to my death? Just because I didn't know any better, why can't you give me a chance? If this continues, everyone around me will know that I'm the kind of person who doesn't have a national happiness reward. Marriage game, please give me a little bit of national happiness reward, I will never worship foreigners again. 
These people were either hysterical or crying with grief, venting their fragile emotions. Seeing this, the people of Verona laughed out loud and had no sympathy for these people. Lao Zi has long seen you people who worship foreigners. What foreign air smells good, foreign hygiene is clean, foreign people have quality. Do you lick the graves of your family's ancestors? Humble foreign slaves. I just want to say that the marriage game has done a good job. They're in a hurry they're in a hurry waiting for the start of the brush copies the average physical quality of our Verona population will increase by leaps and bounds and those hidden 1450s around them will become the weakest of the weakest of the weak and I'll see how they can hide at that time. Verona's great land the foreign slaves spread out in the various cities looking at the series of mocking pop-ups and it was hard to die. At the beginning of the marriage game they didn't think anything of it, ISNT it just a national reward. If they didn't have it, they didn't have it, but as the national happiness rewards became more and more numerous, they could already imagine the changes to come, unable to improve their physical qualities, unable to upgrade, unable to change jobs, they might not even be able to find a job in the future, just thinking about it made them deeply afraid, after weighing the different focus directions of the five professions. Lucas side had the best impression of the warrior profession, compared to the body plates of the other professions, warriors were the hardest, and in the dangerous game of marriage, saving one's life was the most important thing, coupled with the fact that in Lucas' current skill set, soft fist and light and heavy sword mastery were both melee types and maple leaf incarnation was also well suited for use in melee combat, the choice of warrior was a better fit. After making his decision, Lucas decided to switch to warrior, in the next second, a black text prompt appeared in front of him, transformation successful, you have become a warrior pro. Next, your total stats will increase by plus 6 per level and your health will increase by plus 6, you have gained the warrior expertise skills, heavy strike level 1 block level 1 heavy strike level 1, attacking skill, you will instantly accumulate power and then mobilize your entire body's muscles, exerting your power to the extreme and deal a heavy blow that inflicts great damage to the target. Cool down 1 hour, the higher the strength attribute, the higher the skill damage, the higher the physique attribute, the shorter the cooldown. Block level 1, defensive skill gather power to attach energy to the weapon block the upcoming attack exempting 50% damage. Cooldown 1 hour, the higher the strength attribute, the more damage reduction, the higher the physique attribute, the shorter the cooldown. Good lord, two more skills. Lucas' eyes lit up, today's bountiful harvest had directly increased his combat power by more than one level, he couldn't wait to open the attribute panel to see his current status, name, Lucas level, 1073 out of 100 strength, 55 plus 8 constitution, 56 plus 8 agility, 55 wisdom, 55 plus 3 charisma, 55 health, 20 slash 130 talent. Devouring absorption level 1 skills, Critical Strike Level 1 Block Level 1 Common Skills, Maple Leaf Incarnation Level 1 Soft Fist Level 1 Flower Butterfly Fan Level 1 Light and Heavy Sword. Skills Level 1 Equipment, Goblin Summoning Finger Tiger Ice Rock Giants Guardian Chest Armor D Remarks, Normal Humans have an average of 5 for all attributes except Longevity The Attribute Table distinguishes between skills gained through marriage and transfer skills. One is a shared skill and the other is an occupational skill, Lucas keenly noticed the change and then looked at his current attributes for a few moments revealing a hint of a smile, level 10 all attributes are 11 or 12 times that of a normal human, it's simply too strong, Lucas was able to see the change in his current attributes and then looked at his current attributes for a few moments revealing a hint of a smile. Soon Lucas calmed down and told his daughters-in-law to get some rest, he, on the other hand, left his personal space and prepared to continue exploring, with such good fortune today, it was imperative to walk through as many rooms as possible, after marrying Neil, the original wedding room had been refreshed into a pure white initial room, three new doors had also appeared in the room, all of them grey. Lucas looked at the grey door on the left first, and a prompt appeared before his eyes. Room type, monster room monster type, elite, Evil Gargoyle Level 15 1 Terrain, Ancient Fortress Mortality Rate, 100% Hint, This room contains an ancient fortress guarded by a level 15 elite gargoyle, any creature that enters will be captured by it and turned into a stone statue. You are not strong enough to defeat it, level 15 elite monster. Can't beat it, 
can't beat it, Lucas knows better and looks ahead to the gray door, room type, time and space guest room room level, normal service provided, food rest currency to be paid, one ten thousand race coin tip, this room is a normal time and space guest room specially created by a time and space merchant for travelers through the ten thousand worlds. You only need to pay one ten thousand race coin to enjoy tasty food and a safe rest environment for 72 hours, unfortunately, you don't have a 10,000 race coin at the moment, and poor people without money will be banished to the unknown void by the time trader, a space-time room. This is the first time I've seen such a room. It can provide food and a safe place to rest, but you have to pay 10,000 clan coins, this kind of room didn't appeal to Lucas very much, that was because he could provide a steady supply of food from his farms and ranches, and his personal space was safe enough. Perhaps if someone lacked a food source, this temporary guest room would be a good choice, but the bottom line was that this was the first time Lucas had heard of something like 10,000 clan coins, and the monsters he'd fought so far didn't drop gold coins, so it was probably hard to get his hands on them, even open players like him didn't have 10,000 clan coins. So it would be even less easy for ordinary players to rest in the temporal rooms, Lucas shook his head and looked at the last gray door, room type, Resource room resource type, lakes random output, energetic lobster enduring not crab energetic razor clam rhubarb squid, etc., mortality rate, 0% hint, a 100% safe resource room, you can feel free to explore the lakes inside and rescue the aquatic creatures inside, and these special aquatic creatures can bring in all sorts of magical buffs to boost your game. This is a resource room with aquatic creatures, Lucas' eyes lit up and he subconsciously swallowed. During this time, there were magical farms that provided all kinds of otherworldly fruits and vegetables, and magical ranches that provided yak meat and milk, so food-wise it wasn't bad, but it was still not rich enough, for example, seafood had not been eaten for a long time, unexpectedly, today I stumbled upon a resource room that could produce seafood. Lucas revealed a hint of a smile and quickly stepped forward to push open the grey door, the people of Verona were both happy and worried. When they saw Lucas exploring again, Lucas is so brave, when he returns to Verona one day, I will definitely give him a model worker certificate. Today has brought too many rewards, I think it's time for Lucas to relax and not work too hard, yes, it's good to take it slow as long as he's at peace. Since Lucas still wants to explore, let's trust him Lucas pushed open the grey door and entered the resource room. A green meadow greeted his eyes, and a dozen meters away was an endless mega lake, the sky was turquoise blue and white clouds were floating in the sky, a paradise like a painting, then a black text prompt appeared in front of Lucas' eyes, congratulations you have arrived at the resource room this is a safe room the lake will randomly refresh a water creature you can choose to catch it cooking it and consuming it will have a magical buff added. Fishing time is one hour from when you enter the Lake, the resource room will be refreshed after the fishing time is over, this black text alert is from the official wedding match game and is visible to everyone in the live room, Lucas is lucky again. Surprisingly, it was a resource room. This lake is so beautiful, I wish I could take some pictures here, it was really beautiful, and it felt like there was no place in the real world with a better view than this lake, after all, this is a marriage game created by the 10,000 heavenly races, and the products in this room must be from the 10,000 realms, so it's normal for the scenery to be better than earth, I wonder what kind of aquatic life is in the lake. Lucas will be able to eat seafood this time, unfortunately. There is only one hour of fishing time, I don't know if it's enough, under the expectant eyes of the crowd, Lucas did not immediately jump into the river to fish, first he returned to his personal space and called to the four girls to go to the magic ranch together, then he took a huge yak horn and polished it into a sharp harpoon, which he polished a total of five times, after the preparations. Lucas returned to the resource room with the four girls, he stood on the grass next to the lake and said. To the four girls, daughters-in-law, the lake is rich in aquatic products, we have a total of one hour to fish, how much we can fish depends on our efficiency. After fishing, we will eat seafood together at night. Eat seafood. A delicious protein meal, I can't wait. Let's compare who caught more. Seeing that the four girls were highly motivated, Lucas lifted the corners of his mouth, raised his harpoon and shouted, let's start. 
The words just fell out, he did not take off his clothes and jumped directly into the lake to dive down, seeing this, the four women also jumped into the river with their harpoons, once everyone was in the water, a countdown number appeared in the upper right corner in Lucas' line of sight and it seemed that this was the fishing time. He didn't pay any attention to it and started looking for aquatic life in the lake. If a normal person went into the water without wearing a mask or goggles, their vision in the water would be very blurred, just like with severe nearsightedness, however, Lucas' current body quality was super strong, and his vision in the water was clear, so he wouldn't be unable to see clearly, and his one-time breath holding could also last for a long time. He soon realized that the lake looked empty, not a single fish, it was hard to believe that the refreshments were aquatic creatures like crabs and lobsters. In that case we'll have to go to the bottom of the lake to have a look, Lucas thought and quickly dived down, arriving at the bottom of the lake, he immediately found his target, an oversized lobster. The body length of a normal lobster was only 20 to 30 centimeters, this lobster's body length was estimated to be 70 to 80 centimeters, and its body size was also very thick and it was meaty at a glance. A variety of different methods for cooking lobsters immediately popped into his mind, steaming braising garlic frying, in the next second, a black prompt appeared in front of Lucas' eyes, Vitality Lobster, delicious seafood, cooking and eating it can greatly increase the vitality of sperm and eggs, increasing the chances of pregnancy, good lord, if this thing were to become a reality, I'm afraid it could be speculated at sky-high prices by rich women desperate to have children. The people of Verona in the live broadcast room also saw the introduction of the Vitality Lobster and discussed it in various ways, it seems that this lobster is a good thing to nourish the yin and replenish the yang, I have a friend who has a weak sperm, it is difficult for his wife to get pregnant, he was in a hurry before and he almost asked for a loner, but fortunately he got pregnant later and if there is this Vitality Lobster, it is estimated that the child is 3 years old, this friend you are talking about, is it you? If so, do you think there is a possibility that your wife has secretly found someone to borrow the seed from? Could your topic be more twisted? Aren't we watching Lucas catch lobsters now? This lobster is so big, I want to try it, the head is big enough to feed a family, I guess the feet are full of meat. In the middle of the crowd's discussion, Lucas and the four girls are already on their way, five people dive to the bottom of the water find the vitality of the lobster regardless of the other side of the flaunting waving shrimp pincers directly a harpoon knocked out and then grabbed the lobster to the surface of the water a hand thrown to the grass, in no time, a small mountain of lobsters was piled on the grass. Every ten minutes Lucas would carry the living lobsters to the river at the magic. Ranch to see if the river could produce living lobsters, by the time the last 10 minutes were up, the five of them were in full swing, trying to catch another big pile of energizer lobsters, at the end of the last fishing period, they saw the resource room refreshed back to its original all-white state before reluctantly calling it a day. Then Lucas first told the four girls to go to the magic pasture to start the pot and set up the stove, he would be right back, the four girls obediently keep. The lobster back in the personal space, take turns taking a bath, and go to the magic pasture to prepare the lobster meal, Lucas looks at the new room after the refreshment. One red door and two grey doors, he was the first to look at the red marriage door, room type, matrimonial room occupant, gamako race, ghost race earthbound spirit level, one characteristics, bubbling sound true, snow white skinned mutilated torso face value, 10 by human aesthetic standards test content. Help Gamako unlock the hatred in her heart hint. This room is filled with earthbound spirit ghosts from the world of Spell Grudge, who was killed by her husband in life and turned into an earth. Bound spirit with a great deal of resentment after her death, and in order to be mated with her you need to unlock Lucas remembers that she was brutally killed by her husband before she was turned into an earthbound spirit who kills anyone who enters her house. Another ghost and the wife of a man who died a tragic death, this kind of label is not Lucas' favorite type, moreover, her face value is only 10, presumably her body was kept in a miserable dead appearance, that's why her face value is so low, not even comparable to the previous scarlet horrible horrible horrible, Lucas shook his head and looked at the next grey door, room type, trap room trap type, gourmet trap trap effect, various types of gourmet food with extreme appeal, enticing visitors to, 
eat frantically, unaware of their hunger, until the visitors who enter are strangled to death, mortality rate, 100%, this room is a trap room built by the overeating demon before your profession reaches the fifth level, you will not be able to resist the demon's whispers and you will only die if you enter the room. A trap room built by an overeating demon. Lucas was secretly shocked that he had just gained the warrior profession and was only on his first turn. If he could make a transfer every 10 levels, he would still have to be level 50 before he could reach the fifth round, and at level 50, he would only be able to resist the whispers of the tyrannical dark demon, in this case, it was difficult for Lucas to imagine what level of existence the other party was, he shook his head and looked at the last grey door, there was only this one left, and if it was also a dead end, then today would be the end of the quest, room type, parley game room game. Type, parley agreement mortality rate, 99% reward for passing, S rank equipment. Information, this room contains a parley agreement written by the unknown creature himself, after signing the agreement you need to explore 24 rooms in one day, reaching the goal rewards and S class equipment, after failing the soul will be taken by the unknown creature, hint. Explore 24 rooms in a day an average of 1 per hour there is nothing wrong with the time but perhaps a little less than enough luck for the sake of a small life it is better not to covet the S class equipment although it is very tempting. Lucas frowned and sighed, this wager was simply an impossible challenge, unless one had unrivaled strength and could kill indiscriminately in the marriage match game, it seems that today's exploration can only end here. Lucas gave up his intention to continue exploring and turned around to return to his personal space, although he couldn't explore, there was still a delicious seafood meal waiting for him. Moreover, the effect of the energizing lobster was to increase the likelihood of pregnancy, when he finished eating it, he had to try it, you see, in the marriage game, the marriage reward was only the first ring, and the pregnancy and birth came later. Thinking about it, Lucas was getting a little impatient. Procreating offspring is a human instinct, and in the real world, people's desire to procreate is suppressed due to heavy economic pressure, but in the marriage game, procreation is encouraged. And there are rewards. It smells so good, you have to make more babies. When Lucas arrived at the magic ranch, all kinds of picnic arrangements were ready, the four girls were all very busy as they divided up the work. Bonnie handled the fruits and vegetables, cutting up various delicious alien fruits for the plates, and the alien vegetables were cut up and set aside, Iguana loved food and was very good at cooking, this time she was the chef. A lobster and vegetable soup was simmering in a pot in front of her, a steak was grilling next to it and a pot was steaming. Something unknown, Hinata, Harvey, and Neil assisted from the sidelines, occasionally giving Iguana a helping hand, watching the scene, Lucas gave a small smile, his daughters-in-law were all wise wives and mothers, he walked up and tried to prepare dinner with them, however, he was pushed away by Fireless Dance who said she would be the cook for tonight's dinner, so Lucas had to give up and chat with Neil on the side. During the small talk he learned that the ranch had dumped some tranquilized lobsters into the river. So Lucas ran down to the river to see how these vigorous lobsters were doing, if these lobsters could be successfully bred with the special effects of the magical ranch, the lobsters would basically be free in the future, unfortunately, when Lucas dived to the bottom of the river and found the surviving Vitality Lobsters, a black text prompt appeared in front of his eyes, Vitality Lobster withered. Due to leaving the lake with magical powers causing it to lose the special effect of increasing. The probability of pregnancy does not affect the reproduction of the meat is also very tasty, but always feel that there is something missing, well, it seems that although the magical ranch can breed vigorous lobster, it cannot provide the best growing environment for it and it immediately loses the effect of increasing the probability of pregnancy and turns into an ordinary big lobster. But Lucas was not too disappointed, the vigor lobsters caught this time were so plentiful that it was just as well that the picnic had freed up all the food in the refrigerator and made room for enough lobsters to eat for days, and these lobsters, raised in the rivers of the ranch, had lost their special effects, but it was enough to provide fresh seafood, back on shore, Lucas went to the living quarters to take a shower, and when he returned to the picnic area, a sumptuous dinner was ready, a large dining table was set up next to a picturesque green meadow filled with colorful food, 
braised brisket, grilled beef shank, steamed lobster, fried shrimp balls in butter, lobster and vegetable soup, otherworldly fruits, flavored milk, but the most beautiful thing was the beautiful people around the table, when they saw Lucas, they quickly waved their hands and called out to him, dinner is ready husband come on Lucas I am starving. Eat enough to work hard at night, this bigger lobster has a special effect, I don't know if I'll get pregnant if I eat it, Lucas laughed and rushed to the table, everyone has worked hard, everyone is hungry, let's eat. The four women cheered and ate with Lucas, this happy scene made the people of Verona in the live broadcast room jealous, it's so nice, I want to have four wives to eat with two. I'm not asking for much, two would be fine. I looked at the solid doll next to me, and the takeout in my hand suddenly didn't smell so good, I don't know if the energizing lobster works well, but if Lucas gets his wife pregnant, we'll get another national luck bonus. The people from other countries and the foreign slaves, who originally liked to jump on their feet, were not in the mood to mock at this time, they were shaken by the successive rewards Lucas received today and had to slow down for a while. After all, in this situation, no amount of mockery could shake the people of Verona, all they had to do was show off the rewards and they could easily gag everyone, a short time later, dinner was over and Lucas and the four women returned to the living quarters and began the necessary daily nightly entertainment and human continuation program, the screen also went dark. By this time it was night and stars in the outside world, the people who liked to watch the live broadcast saw this end. Scattered, some looking for their daughter-in-law to play guns, some looking for their brothers to play games, and some looking for a formal foot bath, after all, after watching the live broadcast for so long, the mud man also has a three-point fire. There were very few people who stayed in the live broadcast room because the vast majority of people knew that Lucas would not be able to act at night and would have to wait until almost noon the next day to resume the live broadcast screen, in the Conference room of one of Verona's secret bases, the dignified man gathered with many men in suits. As they watched the live feed on the projection screen fade into darkness, their faces became serious, this was because they knew that the majestic man had never called them here just to watch the live broadcast, now that the live broadcast had ended, it was inevitably time to discuss the big event, sure enough, the majestic man first swept the crowd's expressions, then opened his mouth and said, fellow comrades. Comrade Lucas one day of exploration is over, and during this time he has made many great achievements for Verona, bringing us a historic opportunity that will be hard to come by in Verona in a thousand years. Now it's our turn to do the work, the faces of the crowd were stern, all of them looking as if they were all ears, seeing this, the majestic man looked at the secretary, the other party understood immediately and after a few operations, the image on the projection screen changed and a map of Verona's industrial distribution slowly appeared. The dignified man took out a paper contract emitting golden light and said to the crowd, not long ago, friends from the outside world from the mechanical era sent a great gift to our Verona, this is the cooperation contract they gave. The content of the contract is that we Verona and the mechanical era have formed a friendly and mutual assistance alliance. And the other party will gift future technology techniques in the civilian field, I've read the list of the industrial chain, and if we can land on the ground, we can at least make Verona's technology in the civilian field lead the world by a hundred years or even longer. In this regard, my attitude is to start a fair and just friendly cooperation hand-in-hand win-win, do you have any objections? Of course, the crowd would have no objections, this was Lucas who had sacrificed his life in the matchmaking game to fight for a great opportunity for Verona, and they all rose to second the motion, seeing this, the majestic man nodded and said, in that case, we must plan the distribution of the future mechanical industry and strive to let every province get a share of the relevant industry production line through the future technology industry landing to further realize the great renaissance. Everyone nodded their heads, Verona's noblest ideal and goal was to achieve a great renaissance, now that this opportunity was available, it was only natural to take advantage of it, after more than an hour of deliberation and repeated analysis of the strengths and weaknesses of each city by the think tank, an agreement was finally reached. The distribution of the entire industrial chain of future mechanical technology among the provinces of the country was completed, and according to the principle of fairness all cities within each province would basically enjoy the dividends brought by the new opportunity, 
when the results of the deliberation came out, the majestic man moved to use the Verona seal and stamped it on that one golden contract. When the stamp was finished, the contract went into effect immediately. The live feeds from 197 countries around the world instantly switched to the Verona border, like a view from space, Verona and the mechanical era realm signed a cooperation agreement, the two sides formed a friendly and mutual assistance alliance and will work hand in hand in the future for mutual benefit and win-win. Mechanical Era will send a large number of guidance robots and engineering robots to Verona to establish a complete industry chain of future mechanical technology in the civil field. The countries of the Blue Planet are invited to make more efforts to strive for cooperation with the 10,000 races of heaven, which is very important for the future fight against the Abyss. At that moment, the electronic screens next to everyone automatically lit up, showing the changes in the Verona area, Nearly 700 towns in Verona could only see a huge golden pillar of light descending from the sky, through the pillar of light, dozens of figures could be clearly seen inside, they were mechanical era leaders and engineering robots, when these visitors from the mechanical era landed. They contacted Verona at the first opportunity, and then the construction of the production line began in the area selected by Verona, watching this amazing scene, the live broadcast immediately exploded, I was still shuffling my feet when suddenly my cell phone lit up and when I looked at it, it turned out to be a friend from Mechanical Era who had come. I was just wondering how the whole industry chain of future mechanical technology was no news, but I can finally look forward to it. Look at the pillar of light on the other side of the southeastern part of Verona, that's my hometown. I wonder what's in the future mechanical technology industry chain. Why are the people of Verona so happy? And is the map of Verona so big? Where is our Lumina? You're on that peninsula in the northeast, occupying the lower half, it pisses me off why we in Phillipsburg land don't get this kind of reward. If we had access to future mechanical technology, our craftsmanship would be put to good use. Phillipsburg shut up, we in Caldera are the ones who deserve it. Damn it, if we in Astralberg can get it, we will surely become a world-class power. Countless people who were preparing for an entertainment break were blown out of their seats and watched the live feed with rapt attention. The people of Verona rejoiced and the people of other countries were envious and jealous, at the same time, all parts of Verona were busy working overtime, various areas of the first time with the guidance of the robot docking all aspects of the green light all the way to the future of mechanical science and technology upstream and downstream quickly be open production application promotion, etc., are in full swing. A large number of media and self-media reported information about future mechanical technology on social networks, causing the general public to discuss it enthusiastically, at the same time, Verona also published the list of products and instructions of future mechanical technology on its official website, this detailed information was quickly circulated by all major media and became a bombshell that completely ignited everyone's enthusiasm, looking at the list. There were flying cars, land cars, comfortable smart brains, personal communicators, virtual reality. Helmets, virtual silos, and even robots. On top of that, all sorts of household appliances, electronic products, and means of transportation had corresponding product iterations, which meant that it wouldn't be long before the way Veronians dressed, ate, lived, transported, socialized, and worked would undergo radical change, before the people of Verona could catch their breath, another bombshell was dropped on the internet. Verona sent out an announcement to all the people that it had started a replacement subsidy policy and set up a replacement point for future mechanical products, all the people of Verona could replace their original mechanical or electronic products with future mechanical products and they would only have to pay a very small amount of money to cover the cost, of course, there was a prerequisite for this replacement. That is, the physical quality to reach the per capita level of 8 points for. More and through the screening of the physical quality tester, it is worth mentioning that this tester was also one of the products of future mechanical technology. This part of the policy was used to limit those who didn't get the national luck reward, currently, Lucas already has four spouses, and the people of Verona, as long as they have reached adulthood, all have a minimum physical fitness of 8 points or above, and those who fall below this level are undoubtedly insiders, they may be able to disguise themselves on a normal day, 
but in the face of true physical fitness. They will only be revealed, while Verona would not exterminate these people who have been abandoned by the matrimonial game, it would certainly not give them preferential treatment, this kind of exercise made countless Verona people clap their hands and the pop-ups in the live broadcast room didn't stop, awesome. Should have done this a long time ago born in Verona heart outside this kind of person when my son directly thrown into the trash can. Well done, the mole will cry to death. In the future when I go out on the street and meet people who do not have future technology products I will go up and talk to them and after confirming that it is a mole I will tail him to a corner without surveillance and then beat him up. Clean up the scum for the country. I'm intrigued by the robots in this list, surprisingly they are custom made and out to be a must have. Inside the live feed, the people of Verona rejoiced, imagining the future. People from other countries were envious, but clueless, the insiders are even harder to die because of the foreign admiration, because of the denigration of Verona, so they lost so many benefits, on the internet, all kinds of human nature are on full display, and in reality, the countries of the world have started the access procedure at the first moment of receiving this news. Whoever could be the first to achieve cooperation with Verona in the field of future mechanical technology would be able to drink the thickest mouthful of soup. The four scoundrels reacted the fastest and contacted Verona's Ministry of Rights directly through a secret hotline, hoping to start a cooperation in the field of future mechanical technology, even Caldera had to lower its voice to seek cooperation in the face of such a tidal wave event, because Caldera's top management knew that if they missed this industrial revolution in mechanical technology, their status as a developed country would probably be untenable. Other countries, not to mention other countries, could not wait to move right to Verona. When they came across this kind of thing, where would they want to miss it? When they came across this kind of thing, how would they want to miss it? They carried gifts and wanted to pay a visit to their homes, dying, a great man, once said that there are no eternal friends and enemies, only eternal interests, this phrase between the big country game shows the most, as long as the interests were in place everything was fine, in addition to the four rogues in action, all the countries in the Yezhou region had also initiated the visiting procedure, among them, the countries of Lumina and Philipsburg showed great enthusiasm, even to the point of licking, however, the benefits they could offer were too small, as a result, the two countries were stifled, but they had nothing to say, now that they saw that the other party had received benefits, they wanted to share a bowl of soup, but of course it wasn't that easy, but the leaders of the two countries didn't give up, as much as possible, they came up with various benefits in hopes of an earlier visit. However, the Ministry of Ceremonies in Verona was already too busy to pay attention to these two goods, because of the 197 countries in the entire Blue Star, except for those in civil war, economically backward and poor and unable to contact the outside world, all kinds of interests came one after another, some were willing to extract important resources such as ores, oil and natural gas. Some were willing to sign trade agreements with Verona, importing Veronese goods at extremely low or even zero tariffs, some offered to exchange some of their future mechanical technology for highly advanced technology, in the conference room of a secret base of Verona, what the majestic man and many high-ranking executives were focusing on was not trade with various countries. Instead, they listened to the secretary's report on the exploration situation and the output items of the exclusive copies, the casualty situation of the soldiers in the military region, and the upgrading situation of the people across the country, this was because they knew that the initiative to trade in the future field of mechanical technology was in Verona's hands, they were not the ones who needed to be in a hurry, so it was perfectly fine to put it aside to air it out and perhaps squeeze. Out more benefits, at that moment, the secretary used the remote control to manipulate the PPT on the projection screen with a serious face, at present, the major military regions had begun to explore the village-level replicas and summarized the following information, each replica is a space independent of the real world outside the real world. You can enter the replica by entering the vortex-shaped portal we tried 100 groups entering the replica in batches and found that they were all in the middle of a separate replica and would not encounter other comrades. 
This means that a single replica can hold a large number of explorers, and if you want to enter in a group, you'll need to enter together at the same time slot, upon entering a copy, electronics and hot weapons are disabled and only cold weapons can be used in combat, each region copy in folklore is associated with different copies of different ways to deal with different, for example, the southwest region has a zombie set of copies you can bring from the reality of glutinous rice peach wood. Sword copper sword and other Taoist ghost repellent things can effectively restrain the zombie, after killing copy monsters, you can gain experience, currently, all monsters within the village level copies only provide one point of experience and the daily limit of gaining experience is unknown for the time being, copy monsters can drop special materials, the role of which is unknown, but also burst equipment where can increase attributes, there is a chance to gain passive abilities, but the Equipment burst rate is extremely low, the major military regions so far only 5 pieces of equipment. In terms of troop casualties, the death rate has not appeared for the time being, slightly injured and seriously injured personnel occupy about 1%, 2% of the number of explorers, all of them were attacked by some monsters that appeared out of nowhere resulting in injuries, thanks to Lucas' efforts, the physical quality of Verona's entire population has been improved, including the army's warriors who were able to resist the monster's sneak attack without dying, otherwise the death toll would have increased significantly. According to the think tank's assessment, the copies above the village level were more dangerous, so they were not explored for the time being, after reporting all this, the secretary looked at the majestic man for instructions. Next, I will report the statistical information of the people's levels as well as the casualties, the majestic man nodded and said, continue. The secretary pressed the remote control and the PPT screen turned the page. At present, the people had also spontaneously formed many groups to explore the replicas, most of them chose village-level replicas to explore, but a small portion traveled to more advanced replicas with heavy casualties, and there were even cases of regimental destruction, some of those who were not favored by the national fate accidentally entered the replicas and were tragically attacked and killed by monsters. While some tried to sabotage the exclusive replicas but came up empty-handed and were arrested by the public security department, at present, the highest civilian level has reached level 2, there are many population with combat talent brushing replicas with high efficiency and upgrading quickly according to the policy, they will be recruited into the organization and given civil service treatment, as for the career system, it requires a level of 10. The secretary's report lasted more than half an hour, and his mouth was dry from speaking, after listening to the report, the majestic man slowly opened his mouth and said, colleagues, these exclusive copies distributed all over the country will become a part of the life of the people of Verona in the future, therefore, I believe that we must open an exploration copy course in the current education system and make it a major subject, accounting for 50% of the total grade of all candidates. Starting from elementary school, all students must receive combat training as well as a clear understanding and knowledge of the various types of replicas, in addition, society will be encouraged to set up replica research institutes on their own initiative, and the government will subsidize them after reviewing them, in this way, when the people of Verona spontaneously research replicas in the future, the number of casualties can be reduced while at the same time drastically improving the combat skills of the entire population. After all, there is not much time left to protect our country and this azure planet when the abyss descends and we must all take up arms, all of us here are intelligent people and naturally know that the martial virtues of the entire population of Verona will rub off on us, in a peaceful society, this is unfavorable, but in the current situation, this kind of martial training was a must, thus, the proposal of the majestic man was unanimously accepted, after the meeting ended, the state council. Announced this serious news, the Ministry of Education, in cooperation with the Ministry of War, would create a curriculum system for exploration copying and set up related courses in elementary schools, middle schools, high schools, and universities throughout the country. The results of this course account for 50% of the total score of the college entrance exam, which is crucial. Here, one stone immediately created a thousand ripples, and everyone on the internet was buzzing about it. Some people think that this policy is too good to be true because it can produce well-rounded people who are good at both literature and martial arts. Some people think it's bad because he didn't take such a course in school, and it's upsetting.
Meanwhile, the hut in the residential area where the Phillipsburg Nation contestants were staying was blown down by a typhoon caused by a natural disaster during the night, followed by a lightning strike. This added to the already miserable Phillipsburg Nation. It was a big night and many people had fallen asleep and did not even pay attention to the live broadcast of the marriage match game, as a result, a terrible thunderstorm swept through the city, killing hundreds of thousands of people, the people of Verona only found out about this the next day when they watched the news, since Lucas' live screen was still blacked out at that time, many people ran to the Phillipsburg Nation live broadcast to show some humanitarian concern. This made the people of Phillipsburg Nation furious, damn Verona people even ran to mock us, what inhumanity we did to hundreds of thousands of people last night, don't laugh too much, Lucas will die sooner or later and then it will be our turn to mock Verona. Damn Verona people, when we Phillipsburg rise again, we will make you look good. At that time, it was discovered that the Phillipsburg nation's newest chosen player had already begun to move, and the chosen target was still a red wedding door, Verona people, our country's player has already started to act this time, he is sure to succeed, you guys just wait to be jealous. I know this contestant, he is a famous extreme athlete, his physical condition is very good, the chances of passing the marriage must be very high. As long as he succeeds in the marriage match, we'll be able to get the national luck reward as well. As long as we have a few more marriage rewards, it's only a matter of time before we surpass Verona, when that time comes, let them come and kneel before us. As the pop-up said, the Phillipsburg Nation contestant's name was Yelang Muramabe, an extreme rock climber and outdoor broadcaster, he usually live streams rock climbing and other adventurous activities and is an internet sensation in Phillipsburg Nation with a large following and popularity. He has been watching the game live since the time of the marriage game reward, since his profession requires a high level of physical fitness, he was very eager for the players in Phillipsburg country to succeed in the marriage game so that he could receive the national game reward and improve his physical fitness, as a result, the Phillipsburg country players were consistently disappointing, either their courage or their luck was too bad, and there were even some who were struck by lightning. While sleeping at night. This was simply a disgrace to the men of Phillipsburg. Every time a Phillipsburg Nation player dies, he is outraged because if it were him, he would have passed the marriage test for sure. At the same time, he was very envious and jealous of the accomplishments of Lucas, the Verona player next door, he couldn't wait to take his place and sit on all kinds of beautiful women as well as powerful physical qualities and equipment, unexpectedly, he was indeed selected. After being selected, he had a short period of nervousness and fear, but quickly adjusted his mindset, as an extreme climber, this mental quality is a must, calm and rational. Knowing that every move he made would now be broadcast live, he opened his mouth as if he were on a live outdoor broadcast ladies and gentlemen of Phillipsburg, my name is Yelang Muramabe and I'm sure many of you know me, I'm happy to have been chosen to participate in the marriage game, and I'm sure that with my qualities, I'll be able to bring us Phillipsburg a great reward for our national happiness. Now, the room I'm in has one red door and two grey doors, and for the sake of Phillipsburg, it's only right that I choose the red marriage door. Please bless me and see me gain the favor of the Fay Goddess. With these words, the people of the Phillipsburg nation in the broadcast room immediately got high. To be our Phillipsburg man, Muramabe Cohen must be a worthy hero. Phillipsburg's glory will shine on the earth thanks to Muramabe Cohen's efforts. The people of Verona were only amused and amused by the fact that Phillipsburg was so good at this. A collective orgasm before you even get your reward. You've had several disasters in Phillipsburg, haven't you? I don't know how many more you can take before the island sinks into the sea, based on the performance of these few players, it's probably not much better, amidst the flurry of pop-ups, Murake Vieira strides up to the red door and pushes it open. Into the eyes is a full of Phillipsburg-style mansion white courtyard wall also has a group fan family crest not far from the courtyard beside the kneeling a beautiful woman wearing a kimono is looking at Muramave Yelang with a smile, seeing the familiar architectural style as well as this fan clan emblem, Muramave Yeru immediately recognized a lot of information, obviously. The fan was the emblem of the Uchiha clan from Naruto, so this woman was a member of the Uchiha clan, Murakabe Yeru's eyes immediately lit up, 
he should know that the Uchiha clan was a powerful clan that founded the Kanoha ninja village together with the Senja clan. The bloodline contained a powerful bloodline boundary, the Sharingan Ai. If they were able to marry her, it meant that they would be able to gain the favor of the Uchiha clan. Yu Phillipsburg would also be able to get Verona's kind of special building similar to a jiu-jitsu dojo. When he thought of this, he immediately became excited and said to the people of Phillipsburg in the live broadcast room, fellow countrymen, it seems that I am very lucky to have met a beautiful lady from the Uchiha clan, I will do my best to pass her test and fight for the glory of the emperor. The people of Philipsburg who were watching the live broadcast were close to orgasm with excitement at that moment, Naruto the manga was popular all over the world and they certainly knew about the power of the Uchiha clan, Murakabe Kuen, go for it, you will be the hero of our Philipsburg nation. The writer's eye is a more powerful bloodline boundary than the white eye so I'm sure that after Murakabe Kuen and the Uchiha clan marry, we'll be able to get a stronger reward for our nation's good fortune. Great, with the support of the Uchiha clan, it's only a matter of time before we surpass Verona. The first reaction of the people of other nations is to scoff, whether it's the people of Lumina, Estralberg Caldera, or Verona, they don't have a good feeling about Philipsburg, save your breath, you'll have to wait to get excited until you're actually rewarded with a national sport, and that's not even a thing yet, yeah, I don't even know what you guys are rushing into, small is not patient. The content of other people's wedding companion test has not yet said it, you players are not necessarily able to pass, amidst the flurry of pop-ups, the beautiful woman of the Uchiha clan stood up and walked gracefully towards Murake Bieru, I am from the ninja continent, a member of the Uchiha clan, Uchiha Yuki, will you be my spouse? Uchiha Yuki's voice was soft and melodious and when Murame Bieru listened to it, his mind had already begun to think about it. However, he still had to pass the marriage test so he didn't lose his temper too much, hello. My name is Murane Bieru, I'm from Philipsburg Uchiha Sama, please start your mating test, I'll do my best. Uchiha Yuki pursed her lips and opened her red lips slightly and said Murakabe san I like a man who is faithful to his love and I also hope that I can give you my back so my mating test is to see your true heart are you ready? See the true heart. Muranabe Yeru was slightly stunned, how could this be verified? Just as he was confused, he heard the voice of Uchiha Yuki, Murabe san unconsciously, Muranabe Yeru looked into her eyes only to see that the originally black pupils had turned scarlet with three black hooks slowly rotating. Illusion technique, hell seeing technique. That was the last sound Murakabe Yeru heard, and then he felt a blur of consciousness as he gradually sank into the boundless darkness. When he woke up, he found himself at the bottom of a steep cliff and next to him, Uchiha Yuki stood in a climbing suit, at that moment Uchiha Yuki looked up at the steep mountain wall in front of her and smiled like a flower as she looked at Murake Bieru, husband, is this the fifth anniversary surprise you were talking about? Taking me climbing with you? She called me husband. Murane Bieru froze for a moment and then a series of memories flashed through his mind, Yes, this is his beloved wife Uchiha Yuki, back then, he was selected to participate in the marriage game on behalf of Philipsburg, and after his successful marriage to Yuki, he worked hard to improve himself together and finally defeated the abyss that had invaded Earth a year ago, becoming Earth's great hero. I, Murakabe Yellow, am truly the chosen one to save the world. Under the effect of the illusion, Murakabe Yeru found nothing wrong, he took Uchiha Yuki with him and began to climb the rock, and with the help of professional tools, the two of them seemed to be at ease, at that moment, the screen of the live broadcast also turned into a scene from the illusion, everyone was curious because it was the first time they had seen this kind of illusion, and the people in Philipsburg country were a little apprehensive, what was the effect of the illusion? Technique used by Uchiha Yuki Was she using this illusion to test Murake Bieru's sincerity? The hell-seeing jutsu would allow the recipient to see his or her most feared dong in the illusion, causing him or her to suffer severe mental damage, it seems that Uchiha Yuki wanted to see how Murabe Kuen would behave in front of the object of fear, Murakabe Kuen has a sunny disposition and is a great man, surely he can pass the test. Yes, I believe in Murabe Kuen, he said he would fight for the emperor. Of course, the people of the other countries made fun of this, but they also looked at the screen with curiosity to see what horrors would appear next, 
the climbing process of Murebe Yeru and Uchiha Yuki went very smoothly and they soon reached the halfway point of the mountain. For the time being, the duo stopped moving and rested, Uchiha Yuki saw a thick vine next to her and said half-jokingly, Husband, there's even a vine here. Yeah it seems like you can climb to the end of the line by. Following it, should we try it? Village side Yelang looked at the vine, shook his head slightly, and said, the toughness of this vine is not very high, at most it can only withstand climbing by one person, and it is not 100% safe, it is better not to take the risk, Achiha Snow nodded and said, that's fine, the two of them rested for a while and planned to continue climbing, at that moment, a sudden change occurred. The rocky ground below the cliff suddenly began to tremble slightly and then the trembling became stronger and stronger. The duo, who were halfway up the mountain, felt it and when they looked down, their faces instantly turned white with fear, only to see a purple abyss door slowly open and a giant eye staring at them through the abyss door, the corresponding memories immediately surfaced in Murake Biera's mind. Although Earth had temporarily resisted the Abyss invasion, the Abyss still opened the Abyss gate on Earth from time to time. Hoping to establish a teleportation channel and continue its invasion, he did not expect to be so unlucky today, he had just taken his wife climbing when he encountered the Abyss gate, and that I, it looked like it belonged to a powerful Abyssal monster, he might not be a match for it, now there were only two options. Either he sacrificed himself and temporarily stopped the abyssal monster so that Uchiha Snow could go and bring help, either he sacrificed Uchiha Yuki and let her delay the abyssal monster so that he, the hero of the earth, could go and bring the rescue troops. Thoughts raced through Murame Yeru's mind and cold sweat broke out on his forehead. On the one hand, there was his own life, on the other hand, there was the life of his wife. It really was a difficult choice. Uchiha Yuki's face showed panic as she looked at Murebe Yeru and said, Husband, what should we do now? Looking at her panic-stricken face, Murebe Yeru's heart felt a touch of anger for no reason, damn it, this stupid woman only knows fear in front of a monster. Not only that, he also thought about his current status as the savior of the earth. To be able to enjoy the highest level of treatment, the honor of being admired by tens of thousands of people who wanted anything or a woman, it was all at his fingertips. If he were to die like that, it would be a shame, how about letting Uchiha Yuki stop the abyssal monster and go to help himself? Then there's no need to die. And promotion and death of wives death of an Uchiha snow he can marry more wives. The truest thoughts in his heart echoed on the live screen as if they were being read aloud, the people of Philipsburg were immediately alarmed, Murakabe Kuhn, this is Uchiha Yuki's illusion to test your sincerity, don't fall for it. At a time like this, you should go down and stop the abyssal monster yourself that's what makes you a great man abominable ah if Murakabe Kuhn really follows that kind of thinking, then the test will fail, right? No one in their right mind would be able to pass such a test of humanity, right? People in other countries have laughed at this, the men of Philipsburg are despicable, they would even cheat on their own wives in order to live and prosper. I can't believe he's trying to pass the Uchiha clan's marriage test with this kind of moral standard, scum go to hell earlier, luckily this is an illusion, if it were real, it would have killed Uchiha Yuki. After a short period of agonizing, Murane Yeru finally made a decision, he handed the vine to Uchiha Yuki and urged her with a reluctant expression, Darling, in a moment, I will hold back the abyssal monster and never let it succeed in opening the abyssal gate and then you will immediately run away along the vine and go to bring help. Husband. Uchiha Yuki was moved to tears, stop talking and hurry. Murake Yeru urged, seeing this, Uchiha Yuki could only tearfully grab the vines and climb up, Murane Yelang looked at the abyss gate that was getting bigger and bigger and with a ruthless heart, he grabbed the vines and shook them violently. With this shaking Uchiha Yuki, who was standing on the vine, immediately faltered, she cried out in panic, Husband, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? Murakabe Yeru gritted his teeth and said, I'm the hero of the earth, I have to survive, I'm sorry Uchiha Yuki. After saying that, he increased the shaking. Soon, Uchiha Yuki couldn't hold on to the vines anymore and fell down, during the descent, Murakabe Yeru saw her terrified face but somehow, he seemed to see a hint of mockery behind the terror, however, he didn't think much of it and showed a broad smile instead, 
with Uchiha Yuki feeding the monster, he would be able to escape unharmed. Under the influence of the illusion, Murake Buolo automatically ignored many of the holes in his logic, but that didn't affect the end result of the illusion, Uchiha Yuki had already seen the true thoughts in Murakami's heart, in the next moment, the environment around Murame of Yeru was like a broken mirror, after a moment of heavenly rotation, she was back in the middle of the wedding room, not far in front of her, the beautiful Uchiha Yuki stood. This time, there was no longer a gentle smile on her face, but an icy killing intent, after Murake Bielan broke away from the illusion, he immediately understood cause and effect, he said with a panicked face no, listen to my explanation I didn't mean it Uchiha Snow scoffed your explanation is better left to yourself. She threw a bitterness and it immediately penetrated Murei Biera's heart, no, I haven't saved the planet yet, I haven't become the savior yet Murabian Yelang collapsed to the ground, braced himself to finish his last sentence and then died completely, in the next second, a line of prompts appeared in the live broadcast. Phillipsburg country player died disaster has been selected in the disaster random, moon reading. Ten minutes later, one million people from Phillipsburg country will be randomly selected to drop the illusion moon reading, the selected will suffer a ten-year-long punishment in the moon reading room, while in reality only one second has passed. At the end of the moon reading, the recipient will fall into a berserk state of mental collapse, indiscriminately killing all living things around them and wreaking havoc. The disaster will only end when all those chosen by the moon reading are dead. After the disaster ends, the players of the Phillipsburg nation will be randomly selected to rejoin the game, in the live broadcast room, the people of Phillipsburg are in a panic, damn Muranabe Yeru for being so unresponsive, even a little bit of manliness to protect Uchiha Yuki in danger would have passed the marriage test a long time ago. He died, but we still have to bear the misfortune he brought us. Moon reading ah this is the moon reading ah terrible illusion if selected to be in the moon reading room to be tortured for 10 years never selected I'm going to die I want to take advantage of this 10 minutes to the next door neighbor to eat otherwise if selected will die with regret. People in other countries at this time are all kinds of mockery and gloating, laughing to death just now also a mouth a village side of the gentleman now become a damn thing. Phillipsburg country really have no balls sent to the mouth of the meat can fly a little conscience this marriage test will pass, this time the bottom of the death of a million people finished, they go around killing and destroying still have to be counted separately, good death, good death, die early and let us Lumina. Take over Phillipsburg Island. I've got my beer, my melon halloumi is ready and I'm waiting for the moon reading to come down. At this moment, the entire Phillipsburg nation is in a state of panic, some of the mentally fragile people have already started to take to the streets to vandalize or commit adultery, they felt that if they were the ones chosen, they might as well use these last 10 minutes to vent, and the Phillipsburg officials couldn't do anything. The previous disaster was on a physical level, and citizens could still be urged to hide in a safe place, but this time, the disaster was a mental illusion attack, and the target was chosen at random, so there was no way to deal with it, and one could only leave it to fate, all that could be said was to send the police to maintain law and order as much as possible, in the midst of the chaos, ten minutes passed quickly, the moon reading officially descended upon the state of Phillipsburg, after. A million Phillipsburgers were randomly selected throughout the country, the screen within the live broadcast changed, what was originally a full screen was split into densely packed images like grains of rice, and viewers could select an image to zoom in and watch with just a thought, it was only at this point that the selected Phillipsburg man was tortured in a red moon reading room. The viewer can also watch it multiplied or slowed down as they see fit. Good lord, that's terrible, I hear the pain in the moon reading room is magnified a hundred times, sheesh, this is terrible, I'd rather kill myself early than be chosen by moon reading, it's only a million this time, still too little, when will Phillipsburg be all karma? As a native of Verona, I express my happiness to see Phillipsburg tortured, after watching this disaster, I'll go to the martyr's cemetery to deliver some wine and rejoice with my heroic ancestors. While the people of various countries were watching the live broadcast on the land of Phillipsburg, one million selected unfortunates had finished their torture, one second had passed in reality, while they had spent ten whole years in the space of moon reading, suffering excruciating pain every minute and every second, the spirit had long since collapsed countless times. 
When the spirit returned to the physical body, it was driven by a strong desire to destroy and kill, and it began to madly attack the surrounding family members, colleagues, classmates, and strangers. This scene was also broadcast in real time by the live feed. Viewers are free to choose a town in Phillipsburg State to watch the status quo. What a tragedy. This is worse than a disaster movie. All I can say is that they deserved it. Uchiha Yuki did a great job, but Phillipsburg wouldn't be so. Miserable if Muranabe Yero had some guts, Phillipsburg country proper, there's the taxi driver who parked his car on the side of the road when he was selected by the Tsukiyomi, and when the time for the Tsukiyomi was over, his eyes turned red and he drove his car wildly into passers-by on the street, there was the gas station attendant who laughed maniacally and started fires all around. And soon there were violent explosions and flames shooting up into the sky, the fires spreading wildly fueled. By gasoline, there are hospital doctors in the operating room with a scalpel cutting the trachea of emergency patients and then stabbing the people around them like mad. There are corporate social animals copying the keyboard straight to the boss's office to his head is together with the chaos, there are members of the self-defense force open the gun safety on the comrades crazy shooting fire snake spitting bullets as the scythe of death harvesting a large number of lives, an unprecedented disaster was staged in Phillipsburg, after the disaster, the number of counted victims exceeded 10 million, and there were many more uncounted victims who were incalculable. Lucas was unaware of these things, he was just taking a break from the tenderness as he was doing the dishes and preparing breakfast, last night he ate Vitality Lobster, he was really energetic, like a perpetual motion machine, he didn't know how to get tired, he had exhausted his daughters-in-law, so he had to get up himself to prepare a loving breakfast for them, the people of Verona, who were guarding the live feeds, were buzzing when they saw Lucas finally wake up, wake up, wake up, Lucas is finally awake. It's almost noon, it seems that last night's fierce battle Vitality Lobster lived up to its name, I'd like to taste the flavor and effect, how come Lucas' daughters-in-law haven't woken up yet? It's hard to get out of bed, this must also be different to tell their gentle virtuous where to use Lucas to do breakfast. The people of Phillipsburg, who had just been affected by the disaster, also came to join in the fun, they were now extremely unbalanced in their hearts, why was it that when the disaster broke out in Phillipsburg country, the Verona contestants were still so comfortable cooking breakfast and the people of Verona were still leisurely watching the live broadcast. They hated to let Verona have bad luck as well so that they could be comfortable, so their words were full of resentment, lazy Verona. People obviously just lucky, but enjoy so many times of national luck rewards really damn good luck will be consumed sooner or later, then it will be our turn to enjoy Verona disaster. My family died in the disaster, I really hope that the people of Verona also endure this kind of suffering, in response, the people of Verona naturally heckled and said that Phillipsburg deserved it, who made Yellow Muramabe such a loser. Another man with a sense of responsibility would have been successful in marriage long ago, such was the nature of the men of Phillipsburg country. The two sides got into a heated argument in the live broadcast room, and Lucas forgot that he was cutting the cumin-flavored chicken leg nuts when a black text suddenly appeared in front of his eyes, congratulations, after persevering without leaking, Hinata Harvey is successfully pregnant. The newborn bloodline of the Hyuga clan of Earth Verona and the Ninja continent is in the process of being conceived. Upon hearing this news, the Hyuga clan is overjoyed and has decided to bestow a great gift upon you and Verona. You have successfully impregnated Hyuga Harvey and have received the following rewards from the Hyuga clan, level plus 2 total attributes plus 12 health plus 12 and access to the bloodline boundary white eyes. Your nation has received a gift from the Hyuga clan, all members have plus 2 to their total stats, plus 2 to their lifespan, unlock the ninja profession and open a ninja school. White Eyes, the bloodline boundary of the Hyuga clan originating from the ancestor Atsutsuki Haburaji, when opened it can gain the three main traits of telescopic perspective and insight, and this bloodline boundary can be grown into a transmogrification eye, ninja career, a gift from the Hyuga clan. Verona people can choose to transfer to the ninja career after reaching level 10 after transferring to the ninja school to learn the chakra cultivation method as well as the subsequent ninjutsu. Physical Arts Illusions and Other Skills 
The ninja career is divided into the first round of the lower ninja, the second round of the middle ninja, the third round of the upper ninja, the fourth round of the elite upper ninja, the fifth round of the shadow level, ninja schools. The Hyuga clan has convinced Kiba to befriend Verona, and a large number of ninjas will cross the border to establish ninja schools in Verona's major cities to help train Verona's elite. Your personal space will open a spatial door to the land of the Hyuga clan. Allowing Hyuga Harvey to return to the Hyuga family to nurse his child or return to your personal space at any time, seeing the series of reward prompts in front of him, Lucas' entire body froze, and he almost didn't even bite into the chicken leg in his mouth, his first thought was, Harvey's pregnant. I'm going to be a father. The second reaction was, fuck, are the pregnancy rewards that rich? Her level has increased by two levels, and she has gained the Hinata clan's white eye bloodline. On top of that, this white eye has a chance to evolve into a transmutation eye, it's just awesome. In addition to the personal rewards, the goo goo luck rewards that Verona received are also very powerful. Ninja profession and ninja school, these two matching rewards can train a large number of elite fighters for Verona, you know, those guys in Naruto have strong fighting power, so if a large number of ninjas were cultivated in a populous country like Verona, it would be a super powerful fighting force. Also, Verona has a lot of modern weapons, if the people of Verona, after becoming ninjas, carried automatic rifles, grenades, auxiliary drones, portable anti-tank missiles, and heavy machine guns, good lord, that image would make Phillipsburg next door's scalp tingle just thinking about it, as for the latter. The purpose of opening the space door to the Hyuga house in the living quarters is supposedly to make it easier for Harvey to raise her baby. After all, there was no shortage of food in the marriage game's living quarters, but the variety of food was still too small to be conducive to fetal growth, meanwhile, the people of Verona were exploding in the live broadcast room, they had just cursed Phillipsburg, so why was Lucas suddenly being rewarded again? It's still the reward for impregnating Harvey, and it's surprisingly generous. Holy shit, this pregnancy reward is quite a bit stronger than the marriage reward, Lucas actually got white eyes or the kind that can turn into transmutation eyes, awesome, this national reward, our Verona actually got a ninja profession and ninja school, will I be able to practice martial arts and learn the 8 gates of transported armor in the future as well. Day Tiger, Night Kai, this is just a real man's dream. The 8 gates of evasion is good, but it's a Kryptonian move, so it's better to practice ninjutsu illusions and spiral maru, and all that is good too, I guess the use of chakra alone would be hard to beat, climbing trees, treading water, it's fun to think about. I'm going to practice my illusions. And then move next door to Phillipsburg and become a tutor. Lao Tzu's ultimate dream will finally come true. People in other countries were jealous and sent pop-ups to troll, why is Verona so cool? Reward after reward after reward. We Lumina haven't received a single national reward yet. Damn, they just opened up the career system, now there's another ninja career and a ninja school, damn why don't we have one? I love Verona, I'm going to study in Verona, I'm going to immigrate to Verona and learn ninjutsu in Verona. Verona still accepts immigrants or not, I can't stay in this shithole one more day. This marriage game why this ninja obviously is our Phillipsburg traditional culture why ninja profession in Verona ninja school is also in Verona this should be our Phillipsburg only right. The netizens from various countries in the live broadcast room were arguing, but soon the screen changed, only to see the live broadcast screen flash and turn into a large red auditorium, inside the auditorium, the people on the left and right were clearly dressed, on the left were Verona personnel dressed in Zhongshan clothes, on the right were the elite of the Hyuga family dressed in ninja clothes. And the leader was clearly the head of the Hyuga family, Hyuga Hinata, originally, Hyuga Hinata. Had already led the elites to contact the Verona officials and discuss the location of the ninja academy while the people of various countries were arguing and spraying each other in the live broadcast room, on the live broadcast screen, the Majestic Man and Hyuga Hinata were both smiling as they signed a cooperation agreement. This agreement was a preliminary cooperation agreement and the main content was to establish ninja schools all over Verona, the actual cooperation that would follow. Would be negotiated after Hinata Harvey gave birth to a child, 
When the agreement was signed, the live broadcast screen changed again for a while, and the viewpoint changed to the entire territory of Verona. A pillar of golden light descended from the void, and when it landed, it quickly coalesced into the main building of a ninja school, and ninja schools appeared in all of Verona's provinces. Once the ninja school was established, the live broadcast screen changed again and returned to the large auditorium. After both parties signed a cooperation agreement, Verona gave the Hyuga family a generous gift in return. Banquets and gifts became routine, on top of that, Verona also gave a variety of new weapons, from single tactical weapons to small strategic weapons, a portion of each type was given, this made even the unsmiling Hyuga Hinata grin, revealing a mouthful of large white teeth, he had just seen the weapons from Verona and the power was simply overwhelming. Even a shadow class powerhouse would die instantly if hit directly in the vitals by an unguarded pistol, not to mention other types of lethal weapons. Although the technology of the shinobi world had also reached a certain level of development, it was still a bit on the side compared to Verona, because of the existence of ninjutsu, the development of military technology is extremely backward, so Verona's modern weapons are simply a downward blow to the ninja continent, this wave of the Hyuga family not only did not lose, but also made a lot of money. The Verona people in the live broadcast room watched this scene with pop-ups flying, Good lord, the Hyuga family came to Verona to bring a shipment of weapons back to the shinobi world, not knowing what would happen, it goes without saying that it's bitterless in a pistol, soft fist in a cannon, opening a white eye from a few thousand meters away, setting up a sniper to fuck up the target with one shot, throwing a cannon bombardment from a few kilometers away and giving a direct blow to the other ninja villages. There is a sense of imagery. With the quality of the individual ninja, coupled with the power of modern weapons, it is indeed possible to greatly increase combat power, I don't know what timeline the ninja world of the Hyuga family is in, but if World War 4 hasn't happened yet, maybe we can make Master Zeb feel the power of nuclear weapons, Daidara is stunned, your Hyuga family's explosion, how come it's more powerful than me blowing myself up? The jubilation of the people of Verona is put aside for now, at this time, Lucas also came back from his excitement and opened the attribute panel for the first time, name, Lucas level, 1273 out of 100 strength, 65 plus 3 constitution, 66 plus 8 agility, 65 wisdom, 65 plus 5 charisma, 65 health, 20 out of 140 talent. Devouring absorption level 1 blood relay boundary, white eyes profession, heavy strike level 1 block level 1 common skills, Maple Leaf Incarnation Level 1 Soft Fist Level 1 Flower Butterfly Fan Level 1 Light And Heavy Sword Skills Level 1 Equipment Goblins Chant Finger Tiger Ice Rock Giants Guardian Breastplate D Remarks Normal Humans have an average of 5 for all attributes except Vitality The additional attributes of equipment in the attribute table were previously miscalculated I am very sorry for this and will make a correction here after going up two levels in a row, that is, after looking at the attribute panel, Lucas ran to the bathroom and looked in the mirror to see if the white eyes had changed his appearance, he was relieved to find that his eyes were still black and white, after all, as a Verona, black hair and black eyes were exclusive features, and given the choice, he would have preferred to keep his Verona features, however, he could clearly feel an active energy around the eyes and he could activate it whenever he wanted. With that in mind, Lucas immediately tried to turn on his white eyes. With a thought, the energy around his eyes instantly flowed into his pupils, the veins at the corners of his eyes rippled, his eyes quickly turned white and his vision seemed to change radically, he could see the four women sleeping soundly in the bedroom through the walls of the room, their jade bodies stretched out near his eyes, he could also see through their bodies and see the energy flowing within them, Blue Chakra and Harvey. Bursts of orange energy in Shiranui, red energy in Bani, and an elaborate bionic construct in Neil, is this the white eye? It felt like I instantly went from thousands of degrees of nearsightedness to normal vision, Lucas mumbled and turned off the white eye, then he came into the living room and scanned around, and sure enough, he found a new room door, it was a white room door with a pattern of the Hyuga family crest on it. Curious, Lucas padded up to it, only to find that he couldn't push the door at all, 
it seems that this door is there for Harvey to raise her baby and only she can return to the Hyuga family through this door, Lucas is not disappointed and returns to the bedroom with a happy face to share the good news, you're going to be a mommy. Harvey sleepily rises from her bed, wearing ice silk pajamas with her fragrant shoulders half exposed, she also froze for a moment when she heard the news, then showed an expression of disbelief, really? Of course it is true. Come, I'll show you a surprise. Lucas held Harvey's hand and walked into the living room, pointing to the white door with the Hyuga clan emblem on it, and said look, this is the reward given by the marriage game after you got pregnant, this door leads to the Hyuga family, so it will be very convenient for you to raise your baby in your mother's house and you won't have to be uncomfortable with your food and living habits. Harvey looked at the white door and bit her lip, her eyes reddening slightly, she had thought that she wouldn't be able to return home after coming to the marriage game, she hadn't realized that she would be able to go home when she was pregnant, she looked at Lucas and whispered, Lucas, if I go home, will I not be able to see you? If that's the case, I still choose to stay by your side, Lucas shook his head and lost his smile, how could it be? This door connects the Hinata family in our living area, you can come and go whenever you want, if you're homesick you can go home and live there for a while, if you miss me you can come and live there, isn't it great? Harvey's eyes lit up and she smiled, that's great. Lucas rubbed Harvey's head and said, you're just pregnant now, you need a good environment to raise your baby so you can go home and rest for a while and come back to the living area when you miss me, Harvey reached out and hugged Lucas around the waist and buried her head in his chest can Lucas come home with me? Lucas shook his head and said I tried, I can't push the door open so I shouldn't be able to get in, Harvey didn't believe him and pushed the door open, pulling Lucas in, but he found that he could get in easily, but a force of repulsion held Lucas back from the door, Harvey frowned as Lucas thought about it and said, this should be the restriction of the marriage game on me, preventing me from entering the ninja continent to escape the game. Harvey sniffed a little and backed away again, what's wrong? You don't want to go home, Lucas asked, I want to bring back some otherworldly fruits, yak meat, and lobster for my family to try as well, Hinata Harvey showed a sweet smile, Lucas suddenly understood and immediately ran to the farm and ranch to collect a part of each ingredient, processed them and handed them to Harvey, Harvey took the ingredients, gave Lucas a kiss on the cheek, pushed open the door to his house and waved to Lucas, Lucas I'll go home for a while then and be back soon, Lucas said. I'll go home first and be back soon. Good. Lucas smiled and nodded and waved goodbye, with a snap, the door to the Hyuga house closed and Lucas sat down on the couch, sighing and continuing to eat his breakfast, even though the Hyuga house and the living quarters were only one door away from each other, they were two different places and he felt as if Harvey had suddenly gone far away. Lucas was bored with breakfast and soon after the three girls woke up from their sleep, got dressed and washed up and came to the living room to have breakfast as well, when they saw that Harvey was gone, they were very curious and asked Lucas to explain the whole story to them, when they saw him moping around, the three girls went up to him to comfort him and only then did he smile a little, after dinner, Lucas wanted to go out and explore, instead he heard a click as the room door was pushed, opened by Harvey, she was carrying all kinds of food and called out to Lucas, Lucas, I've brought you some delicious food, come and help me carry it, Lucas' eyes lit up and his original depression was swept away, Lucas' eyes lit up and his original depression was swept away, he went upstairs with the three girls and took the various foods in Harvey's hands and placed them on the table. Harvey had already changed her clothes and put on a soft kimono, she carefully introduced the different types of food to everyone, this is Ichiraku ramen, our Kiba village's famous delicacy that everyone loves to eat, this is Yakiniku, usually after a mission everyone goes to a Yakiniku restaurant for a meal. This is Maruko Skewer's red bean loves it the most you guys try it too look at the three girls see so much food surprise, Harvey you are so nice. I don't know fire dance a hug a burst of rubbing, Bonnie stepped aside to cover her mouth and laugh lightly, Neil on the other hand had already opened a ramen and gave a thumbs up after tasting it, Ichiraku ramen. Ichiraku ramen. Seeing this scene, Lucas felt very warm, soon after, everyone finished their breakfast. Harvey waved goodbye, I'm going home now, I haven't said hello to my father yet. I'll give you some clothes when I come next time, please let me know if you have any special needs. I don't know what to do right now, but I'll raise my hand, I'll raise my hand, I'll raise my hand. 
I want two bikinis, a couple of pairs of stockings and pajamas. Bonnie and Neil also raised their hands, Harvey, who was rich and generous, took all the orders and wrote them down, then returned to the Hinata house, seeing this, Lucas also wanted to start the day's explorations, and with Harvey pregnant, he would have to work even harder to do so. When Lucas left the living area, the live broadcast screen also returned to the screen in the marriage game, and the Verona people were still immersed in the rewards from earlier and could not get enough of it, Lucas is going to start a new day of exploration, I'm looking forward to it, I'm not going to talk about it, I've already burned incense and prayed in front of the Buddha statue in my house. I wonder what kind of rooms Lucas will encounter this time. Let's not get carried away, the marriage game is dangerous after all, and we must be prepared for Lucas to encounter setbacks, like what? Frustration. No way, Lucas is absolutely invincible and awesome. It looks like we're going to be rewarded with national happiness again. People from other countries are singing the opposite tune all the time, they just can't see Verona doing well, especially Lumina Phillipsburg in NI, Guascoca etc., in East Asia, now that the marriage game has come down and they see Verona getting better and better and getting all kinds of national rewards for Lucas' efforts, the more fear they have in their hearts. Fear that one day they would welcome the liquidation of this eastern dragon, so when they saw that Lucas was ready to explore. They raised their voices in derision, you Verona players better be little white boys raised by the goddess of luck or you'll fall in the marriage game sooner or later. You can't be lucky all the time unless you're a god or the chosen one inch which the Verona man obviously can't be, I can't figure out how a lazy person like the Verona player, who wakes up at noon, can keep getting all kinds of rewards, we've had two disasters in a row in Phillipsburg, it's not too much to ask for one from you, Verona, is it? Seeing these little Calamis run amok, the key fairy has stepped in. A new sparring match is about to erupt, as far as curses go, Verona has never been afraid of anyone in its 5,000 years of history, Lucas also started to look around the new room, since it was a new day, the door to the room he entered was also completely refreshed, there were a total of four doors in the room, two red and two grey, and Lucas immediately looked at the red door. As for the richness of the rewards, the marriage door naturally took precedence, What's more, marriage was only the first wave of rewards, and there were pregnancy and birth rewards to follow, in the next second, a golden text prompt appeared in front of Lucas' eyes, room type, marriage match room occupant, sandy chicks race, bikini bottom squirrel race level, one abilities, karate furry scientist explorer inventor small probability of going berserk good willingness face value, 35 in human. Aesthetics test content, karate duel with sandy and defeat her. Hint, the occupant of this room is Sandy from Bikini Bottom, she's good at fighting and scientific research, and often manages to concoct some weird east, if you can accept that your new daughter-in-law is a humanoid squirrel who likes to wear a purple bra, it shouldn't be too hard to defeat her. Oh, my god, Sandy's here too. It's really a blind date phase if you like it Lucas shook his head as the image of Sandy came to his mind, this was simply unacceptable, the most he could somewhat accept was a lady with beast ears, Sandy's kind was better left alone, not to mention the impression that Sandy could sometimes turn into a giant scary squirrel that could carry that Lucas averted his gaze and looked at the second red door, room type. Marital room occupant, red tie wolf race, green grassland wolf clan level, 1. Characteristics, pan spicy haughty face control face value, 40 in terms of human aesthetics test content. The face value should be more beautiful than the little white wolf. Tip, in this room is the red wolf from the green grassland in this realm, she did not marry the grey wolf, but chose to come to the marriage game, hoping to find a wolf more handsome than the little white wolf, your face value is okay, but she only likes wolves, so it's hard for you to pass the test. Good guy, the grey wolf in this realm screamed in the toilet, the woman who originally belonged to him ran straight to the marriage game to find a date, Lucas smacked his lips, since the clues are so clear, it's better to forget it, he doesn't like the red wolf with a wolf's head and body anyway, Lucas turned his head to look at the grey door on the left and a golden text prompt appeared in front of his eyes, room type, monster room monster type, giant python level 1599 plus terrain, rainforest, mortality rate, 100% hint, 
there are countless giant pythons in this room, and the rainforest is currently experiencing a python plague, so if you don't have level 30 strength and a wide range of mowing skills, you're bound to die when you enter this room. Well, the python plague room, wouldn't that make a python as big as a train? I'm out of here. Lucas felt his scalp tingle just thinking about it and hurriedly looked towards the last room, room type, double resource room resource type, random golden treasure chest random range, food equipment skills personal space upgrade cards, etc., mortality rate, 0% information description, attention. This is a double resource room that looks ordinary on the surface, but it hides other secrets. Tip, inside the room is a random golden treasure chest and a river disguised as a landscape. If the player who enters the room opens the treasure chest directly, the room will immediately refresh. However, if someone throws the treasure chest into the river, it will awaken the sleeping river god, and as long as they sincerely answer the river god's questions, they will be able to receive a great gift from the other party. A double resource room? This is the first time I've seen this, and Lucas immediately decided to go to this room. He stepped forward and pushed open the grey door, what met his eyes was a green meadow with a beautiful landscape and a small meandering river flowing down from a high mountain in the distance, stretching to the end of his vision, flowing to who knows where. About 50 meters in front of Lucas there is a treasure chest cast in gold a golden exclamation mark hovering over the treasure chest very dazzling Lucas in front of his eyes appeared in the black text prompts of the wedding game, congratulations, you have come to the resource room, there is a random gold treasure chest inside the house, go open it, Lucas skimmed his mouth I think you are a ghost bad old man bad very much. If it wasn't for the hint plugin, how would a normal person think that this is actually a double resource room? The first reaction of any player entering the room would be to open the treasure chest, if they did, they would have lost a lot of money. Luckily, he had a hint plugin and Lucas showed a hint of a smile as he walked towards the random gold chest, the Lucas people in the live room also saw the marriage game hints and were excited. Lucas had stumbled upon another resource room or a gold treasure chest. It was really great. This seems to be the first time Lucas has come across a golden treasure chest, right? I wonder what it can open. The last silver treasure chest that opened a national reward card gave us Lucas an exclusive copy, so if the gold treasure chest also opens a national reward card, it's going to be great. I am watching the live broadcast in the village level copy sitting and waiting for Lucas to open the treasure chest awesome brother now dare to go to brush the copy are all powerful characters, I am afraid to take the risk of small life, the people of other countries just sprayed against the people of Lucas and are now angry, but the result is that they saw Lucas unexpectedly encountered the resource room again the room is still a golden treasure chest and all of them shrunk and did not dare to let out a single fart, they also want to mock ah, but the wedding game tips are clearly posted, what else can they mock? What else could they mock? Mocking Lucas treasure chest was nonsense, it was only gold in color. Thinking about it, the people of his country all wanted to cry without tears. Not to mention the golden treasure chest, the players of their country had never even opened a black iron treasure chest, however, at this time, Lucas came to the golden treasure chest, but did not rush to open the treasure chest, but bent down and picked it up toward the river in the distance, this gold treasure chest and bedside table almost large body gold casting weight is extremely heavy, if it weren't for Lucas extraordinary physical prowess, it would be difficult to hold it up, in the case of a low level player, even if he knew the secret of the double resource room, he could not do anything, Seeing this scene, everyone in the live broadcast room was stunned, and Lucas' audience was confused, what was Lucas doing? Why didn't he open the treasure chest? He was walking towards the river with the golden treasure chest in his arms, what was he going to do? I don't know, is he going to open the treasure chest by the river? Maybe he thinks the view from the river is good, with Lucas' current physical and intellectual level, we're like a bunch of uncivilized monkeys, so it's normal that we don't understand his behavior. I don't understand the mind of the powerful, but the resource room is safe, no matter what he does, he'll be fine, right? Let's wait and see, Lucas must have his reasons, when the people of his country saw Lucas' operation, they immediately felt that they had found an opportunity, Lucas' player wouldn't be stupid, right? A good treasure chest is not opened by carrying the treasure chest away, 
I don't understand what he's trying to do, is he trying to use the treasure chest to fish in the river? It's not that stupid, is it? I don't know, Lucas can be stupid sometimes, I'd like to see what he's up to, huh? In the flurry of pop-ups, Lucas has already held the treasure chest to the river and then forcefully threw the golden treasure chest out of his hand, falling into the river with a thud, stirring up a wave, as the calm surface of the river was shattered, Lucas could feel an invisible energy converging. With some anticipation in his heart, he stopped where he was and waited for this river god to appear. What Lucas didn't know was that his behavior had confused everyone in the live broadcast room, why didn't Lucas open the treasure chest and throw it into the river instead? Strange, did he want to go to the river to open the treasure chest? But wouldn't that be redundant? No matter what, the treasure chest has to be opened otherwise the room won't be refreshed, I don't get it, I just don't get it, what's wrong with Lucas today? I don't know what's going on, I'd better wait before I comment, people from other countries are all getting high, that Lucas player is so stupid, he even threw the gold treasure chest into the river, it kills me. What is he doing? Is it too much reward? He's acting like a child, you guys, would he just want to smash the water splash? It's so childish. When I see the pop-ups of those Lucas people, I can just imagine their faces at this moment, they must be so surprised. Maybe they were hypnotized by a special monster. Lucas was so frustrated that he didn't want to take the reward for nothing and throw it into the river, just as the people of various countries were gloating, the calm surface of the river began to ripple, followed by the flow of water becoming rough and then rushing into the sky, it condensed into a breathtakingly beautiful figure, this figure had a lazy expression, an extremely fine figure, and was wearing a light gauze robe all over, with snow-white skin that blossomed with divine light. Holy shit, what kind of situation is this? The treasure chest has turned into a great beauty. It's hard to believe that this river is able to make things that are thrown into it take on a human form. Good guy Lucas is really powerful, it's true that I and other mortals didn't understand his operation, I lost my respect. This is also too beautiful, Lucas is going to have another big beautiful woman. I seem to eat peach peaches snow white peach peaches very much even the people of other countries who are full of denigration at this moment all of them are also amazed by the extremely beautiful women coming together in the river, this is the situation. Could it be that the Lucas player already knew that throwing treasure chests into the river would cause beautiful women to appear? Damn, isn't this a resource room? Why is there an alien woman? She must be the boss in this room, Lucas must have pissed her off and wanted her to kill Lucas. Yes, it's quite possible. It can't be a coincidence. In the double resource room, the beautiful river goddess covered her small mouth with her slender jade hand and yawned, then looked sleepily at Lucas, her voice flowing like a clear spring, and opened her mouth to inquire, Ah, human, did you just drop something in the river? Lucas couldn't help but feel a flutter in his heart when he heard this voice. It had to be said that the charm of the female river goddess was just great, worthy of a deity, he looked at the female river goddess, but found a golden text prompt floating in front of him, river goddess, goddess Ning Fu it turns out that the female river goddess is named Ning Fu, Lucas moved his eyes away from the prompt message and looked at goddess Ning Fu and said, honorable goddess Ning Fu, I have just thrown a treasure chest into the river, Everyone in the live broadcast room had black lines on their faces, that was clearly a deliberate throw on your part. A trace of surprise flashed through goddess Ning Fu's eyes, she hadn't expected this human in front of her to know her name, could it be that there were other gods behind him? Thinking about this, goddess Ning Fu's eyes became even softer as she flicked her wrist and three streams of water shot up from the river into the sky, each stream of water held a treasure chest made of diamond platinum and gold. Humans, is the treasure chest you dropped this bright and dazzling diamond treasure chest, this pure and noble platinum treasure chest, or this mediocre gold treasure chest? Listening to goddess Ning Fu's description, which Lucas secretly spat out, isn't it obvious that she's tempting people to choose a better treasure chest? The golden treasure chest was described as mediocre, however, Lucas still smiled and said, Goddess Ning Fu, 
what I dropped was a mediocre golden treasure chest, upon hearing this, goddess Ning Fu nodded slightly with a very satisfied expression, you are an honest person, your excellent qualities are worthy of praise, now these three treasure chests are all yours. With a wave of her hand, the water currents held up the three treasure chests and slowly landed in front of Lucas, after that, goddess Ning Fu also turned into a sky of water droplets and disappeared into the river, immediately after that, the scenery in this resource room changed rapidly, transforming into a pure white starting room, and Lucas stood in the center of the room, staring blankly at the three treasure chests. Good lord, is this the big gift the hint plugin was talking about? Dropping a gold treasure chest, burning a platinum treasure chest and a diamond treasure chest, this was just too good to be true, right? It was too bad that goddess Ning Fu disappeared right after giving the gifts otherwise Lucas would have wanted to try to see if he could get stuck in a bug, like what would happen if he threw the diamond treasure chest back into the river. At the same time, all the viewers in the live broadcast room realized that Lucas was not being silly, but was trying to get more treasure chests. Among them, the people of Verona were the most excited, looking at the three different levels of treasure chests and feeling happy for Lucas, I told you that Lucas must have his reasons for doing so, it turns out that it was to summon the goddess Ningfu for a wave of operation directly two more treasure chests and this platinum treasure chest and diamond treasure chest at a glance is more advanced than the gold treasure chest's words. How did Lucas know that there was a goddess Ningfu in the river? There are some clues that we did not notice, Lucas did not just get the white eyes, maybe the white eyes saw it, maybe white eyes saw it. I'm more curious to see what's in the east treasure chest if there's another national reward card. Where are all the chattering Phillipsburg Lumina and other small countries? Why aren't they talking? Come out and get yelled at. Just as the pop-up screen said, the people who had been mocking and ridiculing closed their mouths at that time. When they saw the three high-quality treasure chests on the live broadcast screen, their faces turned blue, it turned out that Lucas had an ulterior motive for what he did, and they were the ones who were a bunch of clowns, it was like the monkeys in the zoo watching the humans playing with their cell phones through the fence, but not being able to understand them as they let out a harumph, after all, they were the ones making the stupid mistakes, at that moment, Lucas looked at the three treasure chests in front of him, and after some agonizing, he decided to open the lowest grade gold treasure chest first, the diamond treasure chest was of the highest quality, so of course it should be opened last, rubbing his hands together, he stepped forward to open the golden treasure chest. With a flash of golden yellow light, the golden treasure chest disappeared and turned into a golden card floating in the air. Congratulations, you have opened the random golden treasure chest and obtained the personal space upgrade card noble manor edition personal space upgrade card noble manor edition, after using this, your living space will be upgraded to a noble manor that covers an area of 500 acres and includes luxurious residences, magical farms, magical ranches, and magical fishing grounds. The manor has all the facilities, daily necessities, all kinds of food without special effects, men's and women's clothing, tools and so on, all bring their own and daily refreshed. Lucas' eyes light up, I did not expect to open a personal space upgrade card. Looking at this information introduction, it's worthy of being something open from a golden treasure chest, after the upgrade, the living area became a 500-acre mega mansion, and the magical farm and ranch were all merged into it, and there was also an additional magical fishing ground. You know, the original Lucas's living area can be a small three rooms in the hall, this daughter-in-law a more the room is not enough to share can only be forced to a few people crowded together, now directly to a huge mansion, the area is comparable to half the city. And the interior of a variety of self-contained all kinds of clothing, food, tools, etc. Every day will also be refreshed, this represents Lucas and daughters-in-law can choose the kind of food will be greatly enriched. Although they still didn't know what kind of food was in the mansion, it certainly wouldn't be bad, after all, it was something that was open from the golden treasure chest. Lucas smiled slightly, rubbed his hands together, and stepped forward to open the platinum treasure chest, a burst of platinum-colored light flashed by, and the platinum treasure chest turned into points of light that coalesced into a thick, ancient book that floated in the air, congratulations, you have opened the platinum treasure chest and obtained the team skill upgrade book. Team, talent skill upgrade book, 
after using it, all the talents and skills of the team members will be upgraded by one level. Opening a talent skill upgrade book, Lucas had noticed the level markings on the talents and skills a long time ago, but he never knew how to upgrade them. Now it seemed that it would have to be through a talent skill upgrade book, since there was a team skill upgrade book, there must be a personal skill upgrade book as well, currently, there were 5 people in the team, and the 4 female skills totaled 8, while Lucas skills and talents totaled 7, in other words, a team version of the talent upgrade book could upgrade 15 skills and talents at once. If he switched to the individual version, he would need 15 books, dear lord, another wave of blood money. When the skills were upgraded, the team's overall combat power would become stronger. I wonder what this diamond treasure chest can open? Lucas looked at the last treasure chest, which was also the highest level diamond treasure chest, and his heart was filled with anticipation, without the slightest hesitation, he immediately stepped forward to open it, congratulations, you have opened the random diamond treasure chest and received the random hidden profession card. Random hidden profession card, after using this card, you can randomly obtain a hidden profession of rank B or higher, if you already have a profession, you can choose to replace or give up the hidden profession, after replacing the profession skills will be changed to the skills related to the hidden profession, and the attributes that are increased by upgrading after level 10 will also be calculated according to the hidden profession and counted in the attribute table, how great is a random hidden profession card. After using it, you can get a hidden profession of rank B or higher, a touch of curiosity rose in Lucas' heart, since professions are classified by rank, what level is his current warrior profession? In the next second, the golden clue text appeared in front of his eyes, the warrior profession is the lowest level F and is one of the five basic professions in the career system, nanny. Warrior was only a level F profession. As expected, the standard professions weren't much better, but if that's the case, the random hidden profession card is very expensive, after using it, you have to get a lower B-ranked hidden profession, and if you are lucky, you might randomly get a higher ranked one. You should know that the highest level Dong Lucas currently has is only a D-rank ice armor, this hidden profession card, on the other hand, was a B-rank start with no ceiling, worthy of a diamond treasure chest, Lucas took a deep breath and immediately selected a random hidden profession card, the next second, a black text prompt appeared in front of his eyes. You have used the random hidden profession card random profession in congratulations on obtaining the class A hidden profession space. Emissary Space Emissary, this is a special being that masters the power of space in legend, and is one of the few professions that can practice both magic and martial arts. After the transfer of your attacks will carry the power of space the changing nature of the power of space includes but is not limited to cutting annihilation bursting twisting shuttling teleportation banishment and many other effects how many kinds of can be used according to the degree of your mastery of the power of space. It is detected that you already have the warrior profession, do you want to switch to space emissary? If you choose yes, the original profession and its associated skills will be forgotten and replaced with the associated skills of a space emissary, and the attribute points gained by upgrading after level 10 will also be reset and replaced, looking at the black text prompt that appeared in front of his eyes, Lucas chose to become a space emissary. This was a class A hidden profession. Compared to the basic warrior profession, it was a few blocks away, so it had to be chosen. Even if the skills of the warrior profession disappeared after he chose it, it wouldn't be a loss at all, because in its place is a powerful A-class profession skill. Profession override in skill oblivion in attribute adjustment in transformation successful you have become a space emissary. Attribute adjustment is complete, your attributes have changed. Next, your full attributes will increase by plus 12 and your lifespan will increase by plus 12 per level, warrior career skills forgotten space emissary skills learning and you have gained the space emissary specialized skills, space force level 1 armor of the void level 1 space shuttling level 1 shelter of the god of space level 1 during the process of transferring to a new job. Lucas could clearly feel his physical qualities changing and becoming stronger, at the same time, the memories of the warrior. Skills in his mind gradually faded and disappeared, in their place were four new skills, as well as a great deal of understanding and insight into space, and a mysterious spatial power filled his body, 
he suppressed the joy in his heart and began to check the information descriptions of the four skills, Spatial Force Level 1. Passive skill your body absorbs spatial force every moment these spatial forces will be attached to your attacks attacking the enemy with a special change of nature any. Enemy who has not touched the spatial laws will be as fragile as a piece of paper. Currently mastered nature change, slicing, void armor level 1, passive the power of space in your body will gradually overflow out of your body as it accumulates, coalescing outside your body into the invisible and formless void armor when you are attacked. The void armor will withstand tons of damage for you, the longer you accumulate the power of space, the higher the defensive power of the armor of nothingness will be, and the higher it will be able to withstand the attacks of enemies that exceed your own level by 10, after the armor of the void shatters, it takes 24 hours to regroup, spatial shuttling level 1, active skill you master the power of space you can shuttle back and forth in normal space with your current physical quality you can make up to five consecutive shuttles per hour with a limit range of 100 meters some abnormal spaces cannot be shuttled through including but not limited to spaces that are confined sealed disturbed or polluted space god sanctuary level one passive skill Whenever you receive a fatal attack, your body will automatically deflate for 10 seconds, preventing you from receiving any fatal attacks. This skill has a 24-hour cooldown, 3 passive skills and 1 active skill. Each skill was considered a divine skill, and even if it was placed in a MOBA game, it belonged to. The existence of a mechanism monster. Power of Space A terrifying passive attack that allows Lucas attacks to be accompanied by spatial cuts, and any enemy that doesn't touch the laws of space will be cut off by the sharp and unrivaled spatial cuts. Void Armor Strong Passive Defense No need to use it actively, as time accumulates the defense will gradually grow, when the defense accumulates to the extreme even an enemy attack that is 10 levels higher than Lucas will be able to withstand it. Space Shuttle An active skill with no cooldown, you can flash anywhere within 100 meters 5 times within an hour, Space God Shelter, a powerful life-saving passive that automatically vaporizes Lucas for 10 seconds when he is hit by a lethal attack to save his life, the equivalent of carrying around a super invincible and enhanced version of famous sword Sifu, putting these skills together. Lucas is equivalent to an assassin with explosive attack power, a thick shield on his body, 5. Lightning bolts in his hand during battle and 10 seconds of invincibility when he's dying of bloodshed, whether it is combat power or mobility, survival can be said to be far beyond the warrior profession, moreover, this profession is still a growable type. The changes in the nature of space power alone were enough for Lucas to find a way to upgrade it, this line of skill and profession introductions was also displayed on the live broadcast screen in the form of a black hint text. Everyone in the live broadcast room was stunned, and the people of Verona were both happy for Lucas and jealous at the same time, holy shit, I haven't even switched to the basic profession yet, Lucas has directly bird-dogged his way to an A-rank hidden profession. Space Emissary, what a powerful profession, explosive attack, unparalleled defense, 5 displacements, comes with an enhanced version of the famous sword, when this is placed in the King's Canyon, who can beat it. Without further ado, Xiao Wang, you pay attention, hurry up and copy Lucas profession, I hope to play it in King's Canyon by the end of this month, open 3 treasure chests in a row really cool personal space upgrade card team talent skill upgrade book hidden profession card this female river goddess is too powerful. If Lucas could make goddess Ningfu his daughter-in-law and give her treasure chests every day, and get this hidden profession, Lucas fighting power and survival ability would increase dramatically. As long as he doesn't die, it's probably hard to die, those little caramels next door who cursed Lucas and cursed Verona should be crying in the toilet right now. The mood of the people in other countries is just envious right now, if I Shine had a level equal to her current level, she would be comparable to a red-eyed berserker. Damn it, why did the Verona player get such a good profession? I'm not convinced, I'm not convinced, our Lumina didn't even open the career system, why did the Verona people get to transfer and the Verona players even got an A-rated hidden profession? My god, this is so unfair, you should favor the Caldera followers. I doubt there's anything wrong with the Pure Land Divine Toilet in Philipsburg, I'm going to check if there's any evil interference and I'm going to purify the evil in the Divine Toilet with blazing fire. 
I believe that a profession such as space messenger is best suited for us gentlemen of Volendam, and that Verona, as a nation that has only been developing for a few decades, should not enjoy such a profession, in response, the people of Verona, of course, stood condescendingly and laughed at the clowns as they fought back, no matter how unwilling these people were, they couldn't affect Lucas in the slightest, and at that moment, Lucas had already taken out the team talent skill upgrade book, and used it silently, you have used the team talent skill upgrade book in talent skill upgrade to upgrade all your team members talents and skills by plus one. Seeing the black text prompt Lucas hastily opened the attribute panel to check. Name, Lucas Profession, Space Emissary Rank, Level 12 73 slash 100 inch strength, 77 plus 3 condition, 78 plus 8 agility, 77 wisdom, 77 plus 5 charisma, 77 talent, devour and absorb level 2 blood relay boundary, white eyes profession skills, space power level 2. Void armor level 2 space shuttle level 2 space god sanctuary level 2 common skills, maple leaf incarnation level 2 soft fist level 2 flower butterfly fan level 2 light and heavy sword skills level 2 equipment goblin summoning fingertip guardian chest armor of the ice rock giant d remarks normal humans have an average of five in all attributes except stamina all skills except blood relay boundary are upgraded to level 2 inch and all attributes in stamina are upgraded to level 2 due to the occupation override Lucas roughly checked the changes to all talents and skills, the only talent, Devour Absorption, was able to devour equipment after being buffed to level 2, after devouring, there was a high probability of gaining some of the equipment's attributes and a low probability of gaining the equipment's active or passive skills, this meant that in the future, if Lucas had equipment that he had eliminated and had no other use for, he could devour it and increase his own abilities. Among the job skills, the power of space received a second change in nature, destruction. If cutting was the strongest blade, then annihilation was turning all matter into nothing, compared to sharp cutting, annihilation was more suitable for attacking enemies with strong vitality, whose flesh could recover after being cut, wherever it passed, it was like an eraser on a blackboard, erasing wherever it went, the defense of the void armor had increased and it could withstand the attacks of enemies up to 15 levels above itself, the number of shuttles had not increased, but the maximum. Range had increased to 200 meters, the duration of the space god's void protection had increased from 10 seconds to 15 seconds, making the ability to save one's life stronger. The skills shared by his daughter-in-law had also increased to varying degrees, the number of times maple leaf incarnation can be used in a room has been increased from 1 to 2, soft fist has been updated to incorporate other fey energies into attacks. This allows Lucas to mix energies with cutting or annihilating properties into the soft fist that strikes the enemy and then explodes instantly. The cooldown of the flower butterfly fan has been reduced to 50 seconds and the range of the attack has been increased to 40 meters, increasing its power, the sword damage bonus of light sword mastery and heavy sword mastery increased from 10% to 20%, doubling. It could be said that this wave of talent and skill upgrades directly caused Lucas' combat power to rise to another level. The people of Verona in the live broadcast room were jealous, Good lord, Lucas is getting stronger and stronger, I'm the equivalent of a one-hit monster in front of him. He's getting stronger all by himself without me. Suddenly, I really want to be chosen for the marriage game, with Lucas' current strength, if he went up against that abyssal vanguard again, he could probably kill it in seconds, right? This is not to mention the flash to the back of the abyssal vanguard left hand slash right hand annihilation seconds after the flash to avoid the explosion the talent is automatically swallowed another wave of attributes into the account nice. Abyssal vanguard, what right have you to use my talent to devour me? The abyssal vanguard is crying in the toilet, unlike the people of Verona, the people of the other lands fell into a collective silence, they had to admit that Lucas was simply too lucky, not to mention the successive winnings he had received today, he had also received three high-level treasure chests at once, which opened up all kinds of goodies. They hadn't forgotten that Lucas had only used the rewards from the diamond treasure chest and the platinum treasure chest, and he still had a personal space upgrade card. A moment and have to look at Lucas' upgrade personal space the heart is difficult a lot, 
but do not look at it, but also afraid to miss what East Heart with a cat scratching like, if Lucas knows, will only scold her, bitch is presumptuous, after upgrading skills and talents Lucas will directly return to the personal space, at this time, except for Harvey, who had returned to his mother's home. Bonnie Fire Dance and Neil were all sitting in the living room watching TV. When they saw Lucas return, the three women stood up in unison to greet him, Husband, just now there was a hint from the marriage game that you used the team talent skill upgrade book and all my skills have been upgraded to level 2. Bonnie said with a happy face, me too, Lucas can be great, I have to treat you well tonight, fireless dance stuck out her tongue and licked her lips with a teasing smile, Neil stood aside, his hands on his chest, and said softly, dance, you can't forget who always begs the loudest for mercy, the marriage game is live. Don't be so specific about such things, I don't know Fire Dance's red face hastily covered Neil's mouth. Lucas laughed and opened his mouth, don't make a fuss, I just received a personal space upgrade card can upgrade our living area into an oversized luxury mansion, Fireless Dance's eyes lit up, how big is it? You'll find out soon enough. Lucas smiled mysteriously and immediately chose the Personal Space Upgrade Card Magnificent Manor Edition, in the next second, a majestic spatial force emerged from all directions like a tidal wave, the pattern of the houses in the living area began to change drastically, walls, tiles, sofas, refrigerators, all sorts of things flew into the sky, turning into tiny particles before dispersing and reorganizing. After transforming into a space emissary, Lucas could feel the space around him. Changing rapidly, with many unknown forces intervening, however, he could only clearly perceive the power of space, other kinds of power he only knew existed, but could not understand, under the influence of countless unknown forces, the area where the four of them were, was rapidly merging with various kinds of building materials, including all kinds of wood, stone, glass, and cement. Even Lucas saw a huge night pearl and many golden bricks floating in the air. In the next second, these building materials seemed to be manipulated by an invisible hand and automatically arranged themselves to form a square even larger than a basketball court, the floor of the square was made of marble, and in the center was a fountain, the head of which was a sea cast entirely in gold, surrounded by four stone pillars thick enough to hold five people, it looked like a palace. As the view stretched into the distance, Lucas could also see areas of the estate that were being built at a rapid pace, Bedrooms, kitchen, spa areas, sports fields, libraries, amusement parks, horse farms, swimming pools, a variety of rooms and facilities are being generated at a rapid pace, Lucas was secretly surprised. Originally thought that it was just a larger mansion did not think that it was a big billion points it seems that the level of luxury of this magnificent mansion is far more than one's own imagination live broadcast room at this time has also blown up the pot, they are still paying the mortgage Lucas mansion is so big. Marriage Game Tube This Called Mansion There's nothing wrong with living with 100,000 people, right? Fuck, I'm so jealous, I'm afraid I'll get lost living in such a big mansion, right? At first, I thought that even though Lucas is getting stronger and stronger in the matchmaking game, his living area is only three rooms and one hall, so I'm still a little bit better than him in that aspect, but now I'm terribly wrong. I'd like to live in a mansion too, the swimming pool is bigger than the one in our gym, besides envy, what can I say? After all, this is a 500 acre mansion, my house covers an area of not even half an acre, not only Verona people in envy, other countries people are also envious of a group, how is it that this mansion looks bigger than the center of our capital? The place where I live is only 50 square meters, someone help me calculate how many times the difference with this manor. What gives the Verona players the right to live in such a nice house? I think it should be given to Caldera for our little blacks to move in. No, we in Astralberg had a magical plague of locusts earlier and are still recovering from it, so it's perfect to give it to us, for these whimsical idiots, the people of Verona just thought it was a monkey show, at this point, the beautiful mansion is completely built, everything is brand new, the area where Lucas and the others are is the entrance hall to the mansion's residential area inside the hall. Besides Lucas and four people, there was another figure, the other party was a white haired woman wearing a tuxedo, and traces of machines could be seen on her cheeks and finger joints and other parts of her body, so she was obviously a robot, at that moment, when she saw Lucas, she saluted with a hand on her shoulder, 
Greetings, Honorable Lord of the Manor. I am the robot butler of the manor, code name 01, you can call me butler. I am in charge of all the affairs of the manor, I will arrange all the food, clothing, housing, travel, entertainment, and leisure for you and your wives in a well-organized manner, so that you will not be bothered by the chores of daily life, and you will be able to explore the matchmaking game without any distractions. The butler's voice was soft, sounding like a spring breeze without the slightest hint of a machine-synthesized voice, and Lucas was stunned at first, not expecting this mansion to be equipped with a robot butler, and the other party's duties were even more comprehensive, which could save him a lot of effort, however, he quickly understood, this mansion covers an area of 500 acres. Although it includes the three main cultivation and breeding areas of the Magic Farm, Magic Ranch, and Magic Fishing Farm, but even if these three main areas each covered 100 acres, the remaining area was still 200 acres of land. With such a large area, there were dozens of different areas alone, and even if Lucas and the others were allowed to go to several areas every day, it was estimated that it would take them about a week to barely familiarize themselves with the manor, this would take up a lot of time and energy that would not be conducive to exploring the marriage game, it must be that the marriage matching game had already taken this into consideration. And that is why a butler was placed in the mansion, it wasn't just the butlers, Lucas thought there must be similar robot servants in other areas of the mansion as well, without these bionic robots, this huge mansion would not be able to function properly at all, just keeping each area clean would exhaust Lucas and his daughters-in-law, not to mention the horse farm, playground, swimming pool, and other areas. All of these places require professional staff in order to function properly, all the people in the live broadcast room were jealous. Good lord, a mansion with a butler, that's a rich man's life, robot butler, it just looks awesome, I wonder if it's realistic. Will there be robots in other areas? Otherwise, I guess it's hard to run such a big mansion, if I could just choose a bedroom in the mansion, I would wake up every day and have a nice meal, then go to the mansion to walk around, go to the pool to swim, go to the horse farm to ride horses, go to the library to read books, no need to work, no worries, just nice. Lucas is very curious about the mansion, he said to the housekeeper, then take us to see the bedroom first, just to pick it out, the three girls were also very interested when they heard about the bedrooms, the previous three rooms and halls were said to be big anyway, living is certainly not as comfortable as the mansion now can have an independent space must be very happy. The butler smiled faintly and held out his hand to lead the way to the wide staircase behind Lucas and the others, everyone, please follow me, the four Lucas people hurriedly followed and together with the butler they walked to the upper floor, the staircase was an extra wide spiral staircase comparable to a four-lane highway, after several people went up together, they realized that all the bedrooms upstairs were of different styles. The butler smiled and presented the layout and features of these rooms so that several people could choose at will, Lucas looked at a few and found that these bedrooms were very spacious, each with its own bathroom, wardrobe, study, etc., it can be said that each bedroom is equivalent to an outdoor suite, it can be said that each bedroom is equivalent to a commercial property outside, the three girls were overjoyed and picked their favorite bedrooms, but Lucas didn't because he couldn't sleep alone at night anyway. Next, Lucas brought up the idea of walking around the mansion, after all, it is his new house, can't we at least have a preliminary understanding? Wouldn't it be embarrassing not to know what the manor has to offer? The butler nodded and led the few people out of the living quarters, after leaving the door next to the wide parking lot, where more than 10 sightseeing cars are quietly parked, Lucas casually picked a car, brought the three girls together to get into the car and found out that this car is actually self-driving, you only need to enter the location you want to go to on the screen, and the sightseeing car will automatically go there. The butler smiled and said, respected landlord, may I ask what area you would like to visit? I will enter the destination for you here, this scene stunned all the viewers in the live broadcast room, some of them hadn't even bought a car yet and Lucas' sightseeing car was on autopilot. Lucas was also very surprised to see all the locations on the property clearly listed on the screen, so he chose to go to the dining area first, this is where he will be eating in the future, the frequency of access is very high, it is always right to go and have a look first, after the butler entered the destination, the sightseeing car drove along the smooth avenue on autopilot. 
The breeze blowing in their direction was very cool and Lucas and the others were in a very happy mood, a few. Minutes later, the tour bus arrived at the parking lot outside the dining area, after everyone got off the bus, they could clearly see through the floor-to-ceiling windows that there were people walking around in the dining area, up close, they realized that they were a group of bionic robots wearing jumpsuits, the appearance of these robots was the same as the butlers, not 100% simulation joints and other parts of the joints can be clearly seen bare steel, so it is very recognizable. Upon seeing Lucas and the others, a robot wearing a short white coat greeted them, respected owner of the mansion, I am the person in charge of the catering area, you can call me the catering manager, may I ask what you and your family would like to eat? Lucas waved his hand and said, no need, we just had breakfast a short while ago, we are just here to take a walk, the catering manager nodded slightly and then asked, I think you want to familiarize yourself with the layout of the mansion, right? Then you will need some cold drinks, snacks, ice cream, fruit and so on so that you can all have some delicious company on the way, this Lucas looked at the three girls and thought that they should like to eat, so he nodded his head and said, well then prepare some, okay, I will go and arrange it right away, you can take the ladies to sit aside for a while, the delicious snacks will come right away. The catering manager saluted slightly and then went off to arrange the work. Soon after, Lucas had four more small snacks and cold drinks in his hands, there were chips, chocolates, marinades, spicy fries, and so on, each of which was very tasty and delicious, and they all seemed to be freshly made, with the chips still steaming, the food lovers in the live broadcast room were very jealous and undoubtedly had tears in their eyes, if I were to live in the mansion, this catering area alone would make me gain three pounds a day. I would also like to have a catering manager who would just ask me what I want to eat every day and then go and arrange it right away, just thinking about it makes me feel wonderful. Paradise, this is just heaven. I didn't realize these robots could make snacks, when will Lucas eat all the food in the dining area? I want to see how many dishes these robots can do, it makes me want to snack and drool just looking at them with the butler leading the way, Lucas and the others wandered through the various areas of the estate. The huge library housed a vast array of books from Lucas Earth as well as his daughter's in-law's worlds, in other words, a single library covered the knowledge systems of five worlds, including the Earth World King's Continent, the King of Fighters World, the Ninja Continent, and the Mechanical Era, it was truly a treasure trove. The crowd also went to the stadium and walked around, finding all kinds of sports facilities with anaerobic and aerobic zones all in routine operation, there was even a physical arts training area, a chakra cultivation area, a martial arts training area, a sword arts training area, and so on. In addition, there were playgrounds, horse farms, wine cellars, camping areas, magical farms, magical ranches, magical fisheries, and other areas that Lucas and the others wandered through, each area had a corresponding team of robots that were responsible for the daily operation of that area, so Lucas and his daughters-in-law did not have to be bothered with manor chores. The viewers in the live broadcast room were shocked again and again, and by the end of the day, it was said that Envy was tired of leaving only numbness, as Lucas finished showing his daughters-in-law around the mansion, he finally left his personal space to continue the day's exploration, the Veronians in the live room immediately perked up. I'm tired of looking at the luxurious mansion I want to see Lucas explore. It's finally time to start exploring, and I hope this time we come across a matrimonial home. I wonder if I can still meet Goddess Ningfu, it feels like she's giving so much, with Lucas' current strength, as long as he doesn't encounter any particularly dangerous rooms, he should be fine, right? The people of his country wiped away the tears of envy left at the corners of their mouths and copied her keyboards to start their daily spewing, not that I'm saying it, you Verona players are really brave. Don't you know how to stop when you've just gained an advantage? I'm not afraid to meet a powerful boss, so what if he has a huge mansion, as long as he chooses the wrong room, once everything will disappear with it just a bubble, even though Verona is ahead for now, don't forget that this marriage game is all about luck and sooner or later Lucas will make a mistake, I can't wait to see Lucas meet the monster. In the midst of the pop-ups, Lucas was unaware that he had already returned to his original room and started checking out the three doors that had been refreshed, what he didn't expect was that the refresh came with three red doors. Good lord, is this wave the moon lord pulling the strings? 
Lucas murmured as he looked at the red door on the left, room type, marriage room occupant, split mouth female race, morning spirit continent ghost race level, one traits, abyssal giant mouth wearing a mask shocking smile spiritual attack scissors skill bloody face value, 30 by human aesthetics test contents, answer the questions of the split mouth woman. Tip. In this room is the split mouth woman from the grudge continent, her question is for you to choose whether she is pretty or not, if you think she is not pretty, she will kill you. If you think she's pretty, she'll cut the corners of your mouth with scissors and make you look like her. The ghosts are equipped with psychic attacks, do not touch them without a countermeasure, this room is extremely dangerous. Lucas shuddered at the thought of the other party's split mouth, Damn, this kind of female ghost is better for the Phillipsburg people to enjoy, they like this kind of perverted style anyway, he shifted his eyes to the red door in front of him, room type, wedding room occupant, skeleton nana race, necromantic continent skeleton race level, one characteristics, red pink skeleton bony tabular snowy hard face value, five by human aesthetics test content, help skeleton nana find her pelvis that was lost. In the forest, it's very important for her to do so. Hint. In this room is the skeleton princess from the necromantic continent she has no flesh and blood just a super bony body if you are into godly sex you can try it my suggestion is to lay her out in the mansion a work of art on the spot skeleton princess. Shall I help you find a pelvis? Lucas head immediately tingled at the thought of a skeleton sleeping next to his pillow, he quickly turned his head and looked at the nearest red door, room type bridal room occupant, Natasha race, star dome world Yalalorian level, one characteristics, milkmaid imperial tights boots green hair pink pupils face value, 95 by human aesthetics test content, bring a new direction of healing to the confused Natasha to solve her problems, hint, in this room is a mature healer from the lower districts. Of Belloberg she is well versed in healing and is also the leader of the Earth Fire organization strict in character but always with a smile with your knowledge base you might be able to try to impress her with Chinese medicine. Natasha Lucas eyes lit up at Star Dome Railway, which he had played, and he had a very good impression of this leader of the Earth Fire organization, he hadn't expected the other party to join the marriage game as well. Among the three marriage rooms, Lucas was unanimous in choosing the one where Natasha was, the Verona people in the live room were very excited, I didn't realize there were three new rooms, I wonder who will be in the room Lucas chose Lucas started to move, he went to the red door on the far right, God let him meet a good match. If this match is successful, we can get the national luck bonus again, sit back and wait for Lucas match to be successful. The people of other countries have been very annoyed with Lucas for a long time now, how many times has this guy brought rewards to Verona? So there's a lot of bad blood at this point. I hope he meets an alien too, I'd like to see if he's physically able to withstand the parasitism and disembowelment of a facehugger. I have a feeling that Verona's luck will end today. Let's all wait and see. According to my tarot reading, there are horrible creatures in this room and Verona's luck will finally run out. Great. I'm so relieved to hear you say that. I want to see disaster strike Verona, I want to see them suffer. In response, the people of Verona spit on each of them, drowning the speakers in a mass of pop-ups, as Lucas pushes open the door to the room, he is greeted by a clinic that appears to be Natasha's clinic. At that moment Natasha was sitting at a square table, flipping through books and looking a little anxious, when she saw Lucas, she gathered the emotions between her eyebrows, let herself show a hint of a smile and said, Hello, my name is Natasha, I'm from the lower city of Belloberg, I assume you are my fiancé. May I ask what your name is? Lucas showed a friendly smile and said Natasha smoothed the hair in front of her forehead and opened her mouth to say, Okay, Lucas, there is currently an outbreak of a new type of plague in our lower district, which spreads extremely quickly and has a high mortality rate patients will suffer from coughing excessive phlegm difficulty breathing fever and muscle aches and other the patients will suffer from coughing phlegm difficulty breathing fever muscle aches and other, but I have not been able to find a cure for it and as time goes by the death toll is currently increasing, can you help me? If you can help me solve this problem, I am willing to marry you, the people of Verona in the broadcast room were in an uproar when they heard these words. Originally, 
They thought that Lucas had met a beautiful marriage partner and that he deserved this wave again, what they did not expect was that the other party would present Lucas with a medical dilemma. Oh boy, this is a disaster, how can someone's marriage test be a cure for the plague? This is the plague ah, our blue planet, the plague is not a heavy casualties continued for several years before the development of vaccines and other means of treatment, the smallpox of that year directly led to the death of more than 150 million people, this plague is not so easy to treat ah, it's over, what will Lucas do now? Compared to the worries of the people of Verona, the people of other countries are celebrating with high fives and laughter, I told you, the tarot cards can't be wrong, the Veronese are finally defeated, right? Ladies and gentlemen, I am Volendam's professional fortune teller, David. When the results of the fortune telling are fulfilled, you can come to me for a fortune telling. This Natasha looks quite gentle, I wonder what tactics she'll use to send the Verona contestants to their deaths. I'm really looking forward to this. Verona is finally going down, and I can finally see Verona explode into disaster. I, Philipsburg Kakaguni Mugen Eritan, am watching under my real name. I Lumina Choi de Egg real name watching. I Estralberg, I Volendam are going crazy with joy at Lucas' predicament at this point, finally, Verona is going down, the people of Verona, while worrying about Lucas, didn't forget to fight back directly scolding these people inside a secret base in Verona, the dignified man watched the live broadcast and hurriedly notified all departments to prepare for the disaster, it wasn't that he didn't trust Lucas. But this marriage test was just too difficult, even if it was handed over to Verona, it would take a long time to develop a vaccine and a cure. The plague could not be cured overnight, however, Lucas didn't feel the slightest bit embarrassed in front of this mating test, which was very difficult in everyone's eyes, and still had a smile on his face. He looked at Natasha and said slowly, Natasha, we in Verona have a medical art that has been handed down for thousands of years called traditional Chinese medicine TCM, perhaps a solution can be found from here. I wonder if you are interested. Chinese medicine. What kind of medical art is that? Natasha was puzzled, Chinese medicine uses the doctrine of yin and yang and the five elements as the core theory believes that the human body is qi form and god as a whole diagnoses the condition through observation and examination draws a conclusion and then uses a variety of means such as prescription acupuncture, nutrition therapy, etc. To treat the symptoms and ultimately achieve the goal of medicine to the disease, Lucas said slowly, Natasha nodded her head thoughtfully and said, sounds like an amazing medical art. Lucas smiled and said I have a little dabbled in Chinese medicine, according to the symptoms you mentioned, I recommend a Chinese medicine classic typhoid miscellaneous diseases within the prescription, which is called the Qin Long Tang. The composition of the recipe is, ephedra, cinnamon sticks, licorice, almonds, gypsum, ginger, jujube, Natasha's eyes lit up and she continued, what about the dosage? According to each person's symptoms are different, the dosage is also different, so there is the right medicine, Lucas replied, then he asked, I just don't know if Bellow Berg has these herbs, if not, Natasha smiled slightly, Bellow Berg is already connected to Star Peace Corporation's trading system, I think it's not difficult to get these herbs, even though I don't know much about Chinese medicine. I can submit the prescription to the marriage game, and if the examination passes, then I'm willing to marry you. Speaking of which, Natasha's cheeks reddened slightly, Lucas smiled and quickly said, don't rush to submit it first, I'll go back to the living area and bring you some Chinese medicine texts and then submit them together, even if the great green dragon soup can't solve the problem, a solution can definitely be found in these Chinese medicine texts, at this point, Lucas is confident in Chinese medicine. This was a medical art that had been passed down in Verona for thousands of years, and there was no need to explain its wonders, and anyone who met a great Chinese medicine practitioner would marvel at it, well then, I'll wait for you, Natasha had some expectations, if Chinese medicine was really as powerful as Lucas said, then she would have to promote it vigorously so that Chinese medicine could benefit the people of Bello Mountain. Lucas didn't dilly-dally, he went back to the living area and found five Chinese medicine books in the library, acupuncture and moxibustion de ching shen nong ben chao jing huang dnei jing typhoid miscellaneous diseases treatise and the essentials of the golden chamber, 
These five books should be enough to solve the plague in Bello Mountain, and after Lucas gave them to Natasha, she immediately decided to submit them, soon after. The marriage game announced the result of the evaluation, and then. Emotionless voice resounded in the marriage room, Lucas, a player from Blue Star Verona, provided the Chinese medicine books and a great green dragon soup after identifying that it can effectively cure the plague spreading in Bello Berg, and has now placed the Chinese medicine books and the great green dragon soup recipe in the major medical places in Bello Berg. The short sentence made Natasha overjoyed. She had been longing in her heart to find a cure for the plague. Unexpectedly, Lucas had helped himself. In the next second, she looked at Lucas with slightly flushed cheeks and whispered, Since, since you have passed my marriage test, I am willing to marry you, a black text prompt appeared in front of Lucas' eyes, marriage game prompt, you have passed Natasha's marriage test, now you may bring her back to your personal space and marry her, in response, Lucas naturally stepped forward and gave Natasha a princess hug, and together they returned to the living area, then he chose a bedroom and began. The hard work of fighting for the land and fighting for the land, outside the broadcast room has exploded, the people of Verona are overjoyed, holy shit, Lucas even knows Chinese medicine. A single recipe of the Qing Long Tang directly solved the plague of Bello Berg, what the hell else doesn't he know? Amazing, I would call Lucas an ancient Chinese doctor. No wonder he doesn't have a weak kidney despite having so many daughters-in-law, so he hides it. I have a friend who has been having frequent urination at night and severe night sweats lately, is there a Chinese medicine friend who can help to see what is going on? This friend is not you after all. I am a traditional Chinese medicine family of Chinese medicine there are more than 40 years of experience in the practice of medicine, although there is no specific diagnosis of the pulse, but the initial diagnosis can be diagnosed as evidence of kidney deficiency. It is recommended to stay up less late, less rewards and more exercise, just now this gibberish smollet. Lucas directly dumped Chinese medicine tell you what is called Verona culture profound. The people of other countries at the moment is a fart do not dare to put, especially just boasted said divination results show Lucas to be unlucky, but also face like fire, he has just exposed himself, and now it seems that this and move stone stone their own signboard is not much different ah those real names to watch the guy. But also from Verona some hacker masters to follow the melon find their IP address and social accounts dig out a wave of black material for exposure. As a gentleman, you should calmly watch the live broadcast, not full of ridicule. Volendam will use this opportunity to re-establish itself on top of the world. The sun that never sets will rise again and illuminate the entire blue planet. At that moment in the matchmaking game, Volendam's player Smith was looking at the three room doors in front of him, it had been three days since he came to the marriage game, and he had so far explored several random rooms and obtained some food, weapons, and personal space upgrade cards, this allowed him to successfully kill the monsters in his only encounter with them, therefore, Smith was full of anticipation for the marriage game and he was sure that he would be able to do well here. It was just a shame that he hadn't been able to find a wedding room in the past few days, so he was a little disappointed, of course, this could also be due to the fact that he hadn't done much exploring every day, but only explored one or two rooms before stopping in a hurry. After all, as a veteran explorer, this awareness was still necessary otherwise he would have died in the wilderness a long time ago, but today, this room held a surprise for him. The doors in this room were two grey and one red, two random rooms, and a marriage room. This marriage room was the first one he had encountered in recent days, of course, it had to be chosen. Marriage room, but there is a woman from a foreign race after the success of the marriage can also get personal rewards and national happiness rewards, what a good room Smith thought in this way stepped forward and pushed open the red marriage room. Into the eyes is a somewhat cluttered room, the room is arranged around a variety of strange sundries, there are brightly colored brooms, growing strange plants, pots, exquisite boxes, hanging robes, racks, as well as a number of living wood carvings. In the center of the room was an iron workbench with glass bottles filled with various colored liquids and many small figurines, 
a voluptuous woman in a purple witch hat sat in front of the table, using a carving knife to seriously carve the wooden figures, even when Smith walked in, she didn't even notice, Smith boldly examined the other party's appearance and figure and couldn't help but secretly nod his head. This woman was truly beautiful enough to arouse his desire, her long blonde hair was draped over her shoulders, her delicate features were full of charm, and a beauty mark in the corner of her eye added a few more points of seduction, she wore a black robe, but it couldn't hide her voluptuous figure, and her front breasts were full to the brim, this is a magnificent woman. Smith thought, in the live broadcast room, Dai Ying Min was also admiring the woman's figure and was in awe. Worthy to be our Volandam's candidate the first marriage partner is so beautiful. She seems to be a witch, but not evil, she just likes to carve, I wonder what national reward we'll get after Smith passes the marriage test. Analyzing it according to Verona, it's possible that we'll get a sorcery-related profession, wizard. Won't we then be able to possess magic? Volandam will become a magical nation. The people of Verona scoffed at the people of European countries, the people of Verona and the people of Europe scoff at the idea, but we're not even close, it's a dream and it will probably fail, witches are not to be trifled with, the more beautiful they are, the more dangerous they are, I want to see Volandam fail. Between the pop-ups, the witch has stopped the carving in her hands and her deep eyes look at Smith and she opens her mouth, you are the man who wants to marry me? I am the witch ally, what is your name? Smith immediately performed a gentleman's salute, smiled, and said, Beautiful lady ally hello my name is Smith of Volandam is a brave explorer my family was once the nobility of Volandam it is an honor to be your marriage object, ally sized Smith up and then said, Smith. I am researching the magic of turning dead things into living things, as you can see, these wooden carvings are my experiments, but they always fail, after my examination and conclusion, I found that the more time has passed, the easier it will be to successfully revitalize the antiques, so can you provide me with these antiques? If it is possible, I am willing to become your marriage object. Smith's heart tightened, where did he have antiques? However, if he can't give them out, it will probably be bad his mind raced and he quickly thought of a way and hurriedly said, beautiful lady ally, as you know, I left my country after being chosen by the marriage game, and because I left in a hurry, I didn't have any antiques with me. But then we Volandam has the largest museum on the blue planet there are more than 8 million pieces in it all of them are objects that have settled for a long time in the years of time if you're interested in. The future I can take you to take a stroll around and the antique relics inside will be at your disposal, more than 8 million pieces of ancient relics. Ally's eyes lit up with interest, Mr. Smith, I think you are right, I wonder if you have ever been to the dying museum. Is there any relevant impression in your memory? Upon hearing this, Smith nodded and said, I am an explorer and an antique lover, of course I have been to the dying museum. In that case, I have decided to change the marriage test, I will materialize the dying museum in your memory so that we can go on a date here together, and if you like it, I'm willing to be your spouse as well, Ally laughed, although Smith could not provide her with any antiquities, if she could browse through the dying museum in his mouth, it would also confirm her assumption about the activation magic. How can you even conjure up memories? Ally, you are too good, aren't you? So when does it start? I'm getting a little impatient. Smith was quite excited, according to the current atmosphere, it should be no problem for him to pass the marriage test. Of course, in this situation, the stronger the ally, the better. In that case, let's start now. Ally smiled faintly and took out a magic wand, gently pointing it at Smith's head. Between a wave of magic waves, the surrounding scene seemed to change instantly, only then did Smith realize that the two of them were already in the dying museum, the place was empty except for him and Ally and those antique collections, everyone in the live broadcast room was stunned by this scene, the people of dying spoke up in droves, is that a witch? She's too powerful to materialize images from memory. If it weren't for the empty surroundings, I would have wondered if they had teleported directly to the Blue Planet and arrived at the Dying Museum, I'm in the Dying Museum now, and the place is the same as Smith and the others, but there's no sign of him or ally, so awesome. The atmosphere is quite cordial right now, and as long as the meeting goes well, Smith will be able to get married successfully. 
The ally which is so powerful, I'm sure the rewards for mating are great, right? We Volandam will rise again. People from other countries were skeptical until they saw the results, after all, they only wished for their country to win, and for the other countries to fail, the marriage test has just begun, so don't fool around, that is, if you lose, the disaster must be just as terrible. I'd like to see what kind of disaster the witch will bring to dying. Will a bunch of Voldemorts appear and wreak havoc and kill people everywhere? Put it that way, I'd like to see it, while the pop-ups were pouring in, Smith had already taken Ally for a walk through the dying museum, coming into a familiar environment, he immediately became more confident and enthusiastically introduced Ally, Ally, look, the dying museum has a total of five areas, each housing five styles of antique artifacts that represent our Volendam's historical heritage and artistic culture. As for the origin of the artifact collection, Smith deliberately omitted it. He wanted to make a good impression on Ally and didn't want her to know that the artifacts and antiques came from all over the world, so he concocted a friendly lie, attributing everything to Volendam itself, only dividing it into different styles and periods of history to explain the vast stylistic differences between the artifacts, you see this is the top of the pyramid. The pyramid was the tomb where the pharaohs were buried and it is over a hundred meters high. This is the Samara mural, which records very ancient events, this is the procession, doesn't it look exquisite? It was painted in the 17th century, oh, century is the unit of time in our world 100 years is a century that is about 400 years old. This is a sandstone standing statue of Guanin, the goddess of mercy, a mythological deity who relieves suffering and is said to be very powerful when revitalized. Every time he came across a collection of artifacts, Smith would explain them in great detail, telling the stories behind them. Ally listened intently and was very interested in these artifacts, the atmosphere between them was very warm, only the people from other countries in the live broadcast room saw Smith being introduced like this, and suddenly they became angry, this Smith inverted black and white distorting history, obviously these artifacts were robbed by dying back then, but the result in his mouth became Volandam's own artifacts simply shameful. The robberies back then could be whitewashed by their descendants like this, it was ridiculous. It would be a shame for witches to marry someone like that. Damn lying sperm. The descendants of bandits are truly all bastards. One day, my country will get those lost artifacts back home. Compared to the righteous indignation of the people of the major victimized countries, the people of dying sneered, you're just as impotent and angry that you couldn't beat us in the first place, so what can you do? Unfortunately, we don't want it either, so why don't you take it back? How can a weak country talk about cultural relics? We dying are here to help you preserve the traces of history otherwise one day the country will be destroyed, what traces do not exist. Weak countries deserve to be plundered. In the face of this issue, the live broadcast room directly quarrel. Unconsciously, half an hour passed, Ally felt that the walk was almost over, so she took out a crystal ball and cupped it in her hands, then said to Smith, Smith, I'm very pleased with this date, but before the end I have one question to ask you, you ask Ally, Smith was in an excited mood and it seemed like it was going to happen soon. He silently watched Ally's figure and could already imagine the image of sex. This was a witch. His first try was going to be a blast. Ally smiled weakly and said slowly, did you reveal your true self during your rendezvous with me just now? Of course, this is my truest side, Smith said confidently, the crystal ball in Ally's hand flashed a flash of red light that only she could see, seeing this, her eyes narrowed slightly, and then she asked, you dare to guarantee that the date you just had with me is not a lie, is not hiding the most real and honest side of me? Of course. Smith said stiffly, although he didn't know the purpose of the other party's question, he certainly couldn't admit to lying about these things right now, otherwise, not only would he fail to achieve his goal, but he would also lose points in the other party's heart. Honesty. For Smith, a veteran of picking up women, that is out of the question, women were meant to be lied to and cajoled, and honesty would only make women look down on them, as Smith's words fell, the crystal ball in Ally's hand glowed with red light, Seeing this scene, Ally's face suddenly became dark and frightening, Smith sensed something was wrong and quickly asked Ally, what's wrong? Did I say something wrong? 
Ally grunted coldly, her eyes were like looking at a dead person, Smith, don't you know that witches hate secrets and deception the most? Smith's face changed and he quickly said, Ally, listen to me, I'm not trying to hide anything from you, it's just a friendly lie, it's well-intentioned. For a wizard, a lie is a lie, not divided into good and evil, although this date is very pleasant, but everything is built on lies. Ally said coldly, so I guess you didn't pass my mating test. There is absolutely no way that my mating partner could be a liar who is full of lies. Saying that, Ally took out her wand and waved it at Smith, a dark brown light shot from the tip of the wand toward Smith. After being hit, Smith was shocked to find himself incapacitated and his body quickly petrified, no ally. Listen to me and explain that I'm on to you, before he could finish his sentence, he had already turned into a lifelike stone statue, and a line of black prompt text appeared in the Volandam broadcast room, Volandam player died disaster random has been selected disaster, antiquity revitalization. Disaster description since Smith's deception angered the ally which, she decided to cast revitalization magic on all the artifacts in Volandam's homeland each artifact requires a living human blood sacrifice successfully revitalized artifacts are self-aware and act autonomously, they can embark on a destructive campaign or return to their homeland, end state. Not a single activated artifact exists in Volandam, once the disaster is over, Volandam players will be randomly selected to re-enter the Game, inside the live room, the people of dying panic for the first time, what's going on? Wasn't the atmosphere of the date particularly good just now? Just because Smith lied, Ally did this? My god, we have over 8 million artifacts in the Dayan Museum alone, counting other bits and pieces, at least tens of millions, and if every single one of those artifacts requires a living human blood sacrifice, this is the catastrophe of the century. Our current population in Volandam is just under 70 million inches this going to be one in seven dead all at once. I have to leave this country right now, I don't want to die. Compared to the people of dying, the people of other countries are not panicking at all, they are gloating, is that the beginning of panic? When you colonized the world, you killed more than 10 million people directly or indirectly, right? It's also your greed. If the artifacts in the dying museum were not so many, you could have killed fewer people, suddenly I'm looking forward to those artifacts when they are revitalized, I wonder what will become of them. Sit back and wait for Volandam to be devastated by revitalized artifacts. This disaster is just Dai Ying's belated revenge, at that moment, the vast majority of the world's population in most countries ran to the live broadcast from Volandam, this was because in the past few centuries of history, all of these countries had been plundered by dying to a greater or lesser extent. According to statistics, there were only about 20 countries in the world that had not been plundered by dying, therefore, everyone had little sympathy for dying at that time, at the same time, the Volandam royal family issued an order at the first opportunity, the order was to destroy all the artifacts in Dai Ying's museum. Although the artifacts were valuable, they were less important than the small population of Volandan, what's more, the living blood sacrifice was only the first step, it was difficult to estimate how much damage these activated artifacts would cause in Volandan. It would be better to destroy them in advance. Within a few minutes, the royal army was quickly assembled and a large number of armored vehicles and tanks drove into the city around the dying museum, at the commander's command, a large amount of artillery fire was fired at the dying museum, fires shot into the sky and smoke rose in all directions, but soon the royal army was stunned, the army weapons they were so proud of were blocked by an invisible shield. The commander immediately asked for instructions from his superiors and was. Given the order to continue the bombardment, there was no choice but to order the units to fire on all cylinders and continue bombing the Dai Ying Museum. This scene also appeared on Dai Ying's live broadcast, as people from different countries watched this scene, their hearts were literally dripping with blood, although the Dai Ying Museum did not belong to their country, the artifacts inside were all looted from their country. Now Volandam had sent the army to destroy the artifacts to minimize the devastation of the disaster. Dying really deserves to die, you were the one who wanted to loot these artifacts in the first place, and now you're trying to destroy them. 
These are the historical and cultural heritage of various countries, they are the essence of a brilliant civilization left over the years, how can you do this? You can't do that. Our ancient pharaohs are still in there. Dying is just a sinner of the earth civilization. The people of Dying were unconcerned about the public's verbal attacks, and they were very supportive of the royal army's actions, yes, that's the way it should be. Compared to the lives of living people, the cultural relics were nothing, aren't they just some broken antiques? When it's gone, it's gone, we can never have a disaster in Volendam. Our King Die England is so resourceful, as long as we destroy the artifacts in advance, disaster will hardly happen. The intense artillery fire continued for several minutes, as the 10-minute countdown ended, an invisible wave rippled out from the Dying Museum and the smoke and dust were instantly cleared, the Dying Museum revealed its original appearance, surprisingly undamaged. Immediately after the soldiers on the periphery of the Dying Museum collapsed and died one by one inch their life force was sucked out by an invisible force, turning into a hazy green light that flew into the museum. This scene that started around the Dying Museum quickly spread far and wide, countless streaks of green light flew toward the museum from all corners of the city, and each streak of green light meant the passing of a life, the screen in the live broadcast room changed and the environment inside the Dying Museum slowly appeared, a green light circled and danced into each artifact, giving it life. A ray of light flashed into the eyes of a three-colored Lohan statue that had been in the museum for nearly a hundred years, and then the porcelain on the surface of its body fell off, revealing a body that was no different from a human's, he stood up and whispered a chant, he stood up and whispered, away from home for a hundred years, it is time to go home. He reached out and waved his hand, his handcuffs instantly expanded dozens of times, and a strong suction force erupted from inside the handcuffs, not far away, all kinds of green light emitting porcelain paintings and calligraphy emitting baby-like laughter formed a long line and flew into Luo Han's sleeve. Then Luo Han took a step and disappeared in place, those who also did not make a killing move were the activated goddess of mercy Zhen Wu Da Di and so on, like the three-colored Lohan, each of them showed their power, collected the inactive Verona artifacts, and then left the dying museum without a care in the world, these friendly artifacts are only a tiny fraction. Many of the artifacts were activated and immediately went on a killing spree, the bronze statue of Shiva from Astralberg, for example, immediately shot into the sky upon revitalization and flew toward the densely populated city of Volendam, spewing poisonous mists and summoning meteorites as if the god of doom had descended. The mummy of Egi, the former pharaoh, reached out his hand immediately upon activation, and the pure gold cast pharaoh's scepter flew into his hand, then he spoke the words and cast a powerful spell. A huge pyramid erupted from the ground, pushing the Dian Museum into the clouds, then the stone door at the entrance of the pyramid slowly opened and a large number of mummified soldiers came out and started killing, there were two-headed snakes flying in the air, causing acid rain. There were mighty sergeants on golden chariots galloping through the city streets, and any building that blocked their way was crushed and unstoppable. There were hollow armor wielding giant axes searching for targets within the steel city, for a time, Volendam was subjected to unimaginable destruction, suffering great losses in population and economy, the people of the nations in the live feed watched the scene and clapped their hands, that's our Stralberg Shiva. He is killing in Dane. This is our two-headed snake from Mexico, and he's making acid rain. Well done, it's time to make dying regret his predatory crimes. At this time, Verona officials receive a mysterious video call. After answering the call, it was discovered that it was a call from the activated Lohan Guaninjin Wuda Di and other beings, and it was not known where they got their cell phones, numerous activated beings informed the Verona officials of their current location with the Verona officials, and also indicated that they would soon return to Verona in hopes of obtaining the appropriate relocation site, thus, the palace museum was asked to take on the important task of relocating the activated. Artifacts, at the same time, Verona's major military bases immediately dispatched warplanes to escort the revitalized artifacts, soon after, people everywhere saw a very magical scene, in the sky, a green beam of light crossed the sky, followed by the escorting beautiful warplanes on both sides, leaving a trail of white smoke and roar, in the end. 
The activated Verona artifacts all returned home and were placed in the National Palace Museum, this scene was also broadcast live nationwide by TV. 1. Countless netizens flocked to witness this historic scene, looking at the three-colored Lohan, the sandstone Guanin Bodhisattva and the bronze statue of Xinwu, which existed as if they were gods after the activation, and watching them slowly walk into the forbidden city and then return to the statues on the stand, the crowd could not help but burst into tears, the cultural relics of other countries in dying to wreak havoc. But our Verona's cultural relics just want to go home it seems to be. Too homesick to finally come back you have been away from your hometown for too long you should be very homesick these years right? I immediately went to buy tickets I want to see these artifacts that have traveled thousands of miles home. It's good to be home, it's good to be home, Verona's artifacts have returned to their homeland, while some artifacts from other countries don't have such a strong sense of homesickness, because they were created with a different cultural core, their behavior varies greatly. Some continue to destroy in Volendam, such as Shiva, some try to expand their territory in Volendam, such as the mummies of the pharaohs, and Volendam reacts immediately by mobilizing its army to wage war against these. Artifacts, in the course of the battle, the civilians naturally suffered the most, many city buildings were damaged, much of the infrastructure was destroyed, and supply chains were disrupted. Water, electricity, and the internet were cut off, and worst of all, some people who hadn't even stored food were horrified to find out that they were most likely going to starve to death, so they rushed to the live broadcast for help. Help I don't have any stored food it's too dangerous out there now is there any kind-hearted person who can send me some food Volendam has suffered an unprecedented disaster I am asking for international help. My house has been destroyed by monsters, I'm homeless, is there anyone who will take me in? I'll do anything. In response, the populations of the country showed no mercy whatsoever, serves you right, this is all the misfortune you deserve. International aid is a matter between countries, it has nothing to do with me, a little commoner, I just like to watch the show, I just want to see if the pharaoh can rule Volendam, then the music, then the dance. Compared to the hostility of the netizens spraying each other in the live broadcast room, the dealings between the countries were much more peaceful, after Volendam's war with the activated artifacts broke out, the army soon discovered that the artifacts were not permanently activated. Once the green light on them is exhausted, they lose their ability to activate, and an attack could do that very quickly, the only thing that caused them headaches was that these artifacts could also gain activation energy by being killed, this meant that if they couldn't do it quickly, this war would be in the middle of a war of attrition, Therefore, Volendam first contacted the countries of the world, hoping to get help, and at the same time offering various bargains and conditions, after. Seeing the benefits of Volendam, all countries were naturally obliged to give material or arms assistance, after all, the main thing between countries is to benefit from each other, and of course they can't miss out on what they deserve, if dying didn't give benefits, there wouldn't be any countries to help. All in all, Volendam was still bleeding money and the countries were making money. A war of attrition had begun in Volendam's homeland, when will it end? On Luca's side, after more than two hours of high-intensity low-interval training, he finally rested in satisfaction, then a black prompt appeared before his eyes. You and Natasha have successfully married and received the rewards given by Bello Berg. Level plus 1 full attribute plus 12 health plus 12 gain skill healing technique level 1 the full attribute and health increases in the marriage rewards come from leveling up and aren't additional increases, the reason I did this was to make the data a little clearer, I didn't expect it to make a difference in understanding, so if any of the bookworms feel it will cause dyslexia, it will be removed later, your affiliation has received a gift from Bello Berg. All members have plus 1 to all attributes plus 1 to health earth pith vein healing technique, when used it can restore the life force of yourself or your target under severe injuries can be healed directly near death states can hang your life cooldown time 24 hours, ground pith vein, a kind of crystalline energy under the ground of bellow mountain more advanced than the regular oil, coal, natural gas and other energy sources on the blue planet and the method of using it is simple and widely used, it is an extremely high quality energy vein and the rational use of it can bring about a new round of industrial revolution. Good lord, this healing technique is truly a divine skill, Luca's eyes lit up with this skill, when he encounters a dangerous situation, he can completely pick up a life. 
And it was he and Natasha who had both mastered the healing technique which meant two more lives for the entire team, the ground pith vein obtained from the national fortune reward was also very powerful, as everyone knew, the industrial revolution of the blue star was essentially the efficient use of energy, it could not be separated from fossil energy sources such as coal oil and natural gas. From the age of the steam engine to the later electronic information age, it was a story of the evolution of energy use, now Bellowberg has given Verona a vein of marrow, and this vein of marrow was a higher level of energy than the fossil energy on the blue planet, this meant that as long as Verona developed a method to utilize the pith vein, it would immediately set off a new round of technological change. The first thing that comes to Lucas' mind is the development of space travel, with current technology, rockets have too much fuel, which results in a huge load, which in turn requires an increase in size, if the Earth marrow could be used in the aerospace field, perhaps Verona's manned moon landing project would soon be realized, until then, the moon would be planted with a colorful Verona flag. In the live broadcast room, when the people of Verona saw the national reward that Natasha had brought, some of them were very puzzled, this vein of marrow, was it of any use? It's a more advanced energy source than fossil energy, but it doesn't seem to affect my 3000 a month, does it? Compared to the previous rewards that could improve physical quality, this one seems to be average. In response, someone immediately came out to explain, everyone, don't underestimate this marrow vein, if you look at it from the perspective of the development of society as a whole, the value of this reward far exceeds that of the previous ones. Yes, with the emergence of the marrow vein, the energy shackles will be broken, many of the previous energy shackles of science and technology will be perfected down to the ground, and we will once again be able to see the technological explosion in our lifetime. The last technological explosion was triggered by the textile machine and the steam engine, which brought us humans from the agrarian society to the modern society, and if it happens again, maybe we will open the era of interstellar exploration. With this explanation, some people came to a realization, so this earth marrow vein was so powerful. In response, the people of other countries were very red-eyed, but they still couldn't stop their sarcasm, your imagination is too good, even though the earth marrow is a high-level energy source, you Veronians might not be able to use it, even if it can be utilized, what then? It takes a long time to develop and implement new technologies, and by the time the abyss invades Blue Star, you might still be in the same place. That stuff is chicken ribs, nowhere near as good as oil and coal, not to mention that even if Verona is able to utilize this kind of energy, it is tantamount to revolutionizing the lives of the major energy countries and energy traders, which is sure to cause a lot of opposition and hostility. Inside the live broadcast room, the official actions of the Blue Star countries were surprisingly consistent. The etiquette ministries of various countries have called Verona, hoping to discuss matters of cooperation on the issue of the Earth's pith vein. After all, those who could become top tier were some of the smartest people in the world, and no one knew the value and importance of the Earth pith vein better than they did. If Verona was allowed to master this energy source alone, there would be one result, it would be Verona's technological explosion far ahead of the rest of the world, it was as if Verona had unlocked the modern technology tree back in the Qin and Han dynasties, looking around the Blue Star Village at that time, who could stop them? Therefore, everyone was as anxious as ants on a hot pan, begging grandpa and grandma for cooperation, Verona's response was that the Earth's pit vein might have unknown risks, and that cooperation matters must wait until energy security and stability are confirmed before looking for a reliable partner. The officials of the various countries, though reluctant, were relieved to hear the answer. At least Verona was not cooperating with any country at the moment and they all still had a chance. Thus, in order to seek cooperation opportunities, all the major members of the Blue Star Village gave all their chips, investment, trade, scientific research, education and other major fields sent money to Verona. Fearing that Verona would be unhappy and abandon them, Caldera, which had always been arrogant, even changed its appearance and directly expressed its approval and appreciation for Verona in all aspects, hoping to start all-round cooperation, in response, Verona's response was very cold, and it can even be said that there was basically no response, at first, you were the one who opposed us and suppressed us with all your might, but now that you see the benefits, you are shyly asking for food. Phillipsburg and Little will cry when they see Caldera's attitude, 
how can this be? Caldera is licking Verona, how does that make her feel about what's going on in the outside world Lucas doesn't know, he continues to check his attribute panel after checking the rewards, name, Lucas profession, space emissary level, 1373-100 strength, 89 plus 3 constitution, 90 plus 8 agility, 89 wisdom, 89 plus 5 charisma, 89 health. 20 164 talent, devouring absorption level 2 blood relay boundary, white eyes profession, space force level 2 void armor level 2 space shuttle level 2 space god sanctuary. Level 2 shared skills, maple leaf incarnation level 2 soft fist level 2 flower butterfly fan level 2 light and heavy sword skills level 2 healing technique level 1 equipment, Goblin Summoning Finger Tiger Ice Rock Giants Guardian Chest Armor Level D13 and all attributes had reached about 90 points. Just one more level up and his attributes would break 100 inch which was 20 times the level of an ordinary person, Lucas' heart was filled with motivation, he was now eager to find a monster room to test his combat power, this feeling was like when he was a child in the rape field, holding a long stick in his hand, his heart was filled with greatness. However, the rooms in the marriage game were all random, and it wasn't easy to find a suitable monster room, so Lucas wasn't looking forward to it too much, after collecting the attribute tablet, he left the living area with the intention of exploring further, in the refreshed room, there were three grey doors, and Lucas' eyes moved slightly as he looked at the grey door on the left, room type, monster room monster type, deep sea giant level 31 terrain, ocean mortality rate, 100% hint, there is a deep sea giant hibernating in this room, it is always hungry and any player who enters will be devoured mercilessly, it is recommended that you do not enter. Seeing this urgent message, Lucas immediately had an image in his mind, in the pitch black depths of the sea, two lights suddenly lit up, gradually outlining the body of a behemoth, he instantly shivered and hastily turned his gaze to the grey door in front of him, room type, monster room monster type, ice elf level 2010 terrain. Frozen land mortality rate, 100% tip. This room contains the terribly cold frozen land, if you want to pass the level, you not only have to withstand the extreme cold, but also have to defeat the ice elves who have mastered the art of ice and snow resurrection, it is a difficult challenge to complete, it is better not to go, Lucas nodded slightly, indicating that the followers are right, it is better not to go. Sticking with the idea of listening to people and eating their food, Lucas turned his head to look at the grey door on the right, which was also the last door, in the next second. A text prompt floated in front of his eyes, Room Type, Monster Resource. Room Monster Type, Orc Farmer Level 15 1 Orc Farmer Level 10 10 Terrain Orc Farm Mortality Rate, 0% Information Description, this room is an orc farm full of crops at this time is in the harvest gathering the orc farmer is leading the orc farmers under his hand to gather crops. Hint, the crops in the orc farm are very similar to the watermelon on the blue star not only sweet and delicious but also increase the intelligence attribute with your current strength the challenge is not difficult to cross the level enough for one person to pass the level without injury it is time to fight a wave of riotous years. This orc farm is planted with fruits similar to watermelons, and it can also increase intelligence attributes. The main thing is that the mortality rate is 0%. The hint plugin made it very clear that with Lucas' current strength, one person would be enough to defeat this group of orcs, so what were we waiting for? Without hesitation, Lucas took big steps towards the grey door that led to the orc farm, meanwhile, the Lucas people in the livestream were also following Lucas' actions, Lucas was exploring the grey door again, this time hopefully a bunch of weakling monsters. Yeah, not some abyssal monster, those kinds of monsters are just too strong. A resource room would be nice too, free treasure chests and lots of goodies to open. In this case, I miss goddess Ningfu a bit. Yes, how generous of the river goddess, let Lucas meet her again. People in other countries just can't see Lucas as good or good enough, and they're mocking and belittling him right now, even though Lucas is getting stronger and stronger, so what? According to my observation in the marriage game room, the level of the monsters will increase together, and sooner or later he will encounter monsters he can't handle, and then he will just die. Maybe there are powerful abyssal monsters behind this room that will eat Lucas directly at that time, I have to wait for the day when something happens to Lucas. 
That is why I will continue to watch Lucas' live broadcast. Between the flurry of pop-ups, Lucas had already pushed open the grey door, what met his eyes was a not-so-tidy ploughed field that even looked a little untidy, not as tidy as human farmland, huge animal bones littered the grass in the distance, and some blood and flesh remained on them, like skeletons that had been eaten. Ten green-skinned orcs, nearly two meters tall and muscular, carried baskets on their backs and held scythes as they worked the fields, with their fangs protruding and clad in animal skins, they looked wild and ferocious, at the edge of the farmland, an orc who was obviously more splendidly dressed sat on a chaise long, holding a giant sunshade, eating sweet and juicy melons and fruits, and directing the orcs who were apparently working in a very leisurely manner, the intrusion of this. Uninvited guest of Lucas immediately drew the orc's attention, the orc farmer immediately got up from his chair, picked up the spiky whip, and greeted loudly, you several fools, put aside the work in hand first, kill this human first, then his flesh will be rewarded to you, when the orc farmers heard the words of the orc farmer, their eyes were full of greed and they all looked at Lucas, seeing his skin and flesh, they couldn't help but swallow their saliva, then these orc farmers put down the Baskets behind their backs, copied the huge white bones in the open space as weapons, and hissed as they rushed towards Lucas. This scene made the Lucas population in the live broadcast immediately tense, holy shit, there are ten monsters in total in one, two and three, counting the one in the back, there are eleven, can Lucas fight through them? Ah this is bad Lucas did not bring the spouse to explore together now do not know if you can return to the residential area certainly not ah otherwise if the monsters come to directly hide not just good finished finished how can we do now these monsters do not look easy to mess with the back of one is more like a small boss Lucas cannot ah compared to the panic of Lucas people the people of other countries were immediately excited finally encountered a monster these monsters are muscular and eat human flesh they seem to be very powerful characters Lucas will be finished Lucas will be finished, when Lucas dies, Lucas will break out in a catastrophe and then choose a new candidate to compete at that time, this new candidate will certainly not be so lucky and the strength is not much better than the ordinary people and Lucas will have little advantage at all. I've already used a video camera to make a video recording, I'm going to capture the exciting moment when Lucas contestant dies. Finally dying, it's a pity that there are so many otherworldly fruits, it looks similar to watermelon, I don't know how it tastes, watermelon is an expensive fruit, Lucas people simply cannot afford to eat it now, look at it before dying is almost done. Lucas didn't pay any attention to the ten sprinting orc peasants, with a thought, he immediately launched the space shuttle, a ripple-like water appeared in the space in front of him, and he took a step as if he were moving instantly, arriving behind the orc peasant, originally, the orc farmer was eating a melon and staring at Lucas, expecting the bloody image of him being cut into pieces and eaten by the orc farmers. But the next second, Lucas unexpectedly disappeared into thin air, leaving him stunned, what kind of ability was that? Stealth. Immediately after that, he felt a strong wind coming from behind him and a brute force hitting his back. At the same time, a chill disappeared into his body from behind, all he could feel was that his internal organs were very cool and comfortable, when he looked down, he saw that his abdominal cavity had turned into a big hole, it was empty, all his organs had disappeared, and not a single drop of blood had flowed out, the orc's vitality was strong, and in this situation, the orc farmer still wanted to fight back. He took the spiked leather whip in his hand and swung it wildly behind him, he knew that the one who attacked him had to be a human, even if he was going to die, he had to take the life of the other one. However, the orc farmer's thoughts did not go as he wished, and with a single thought, Lucas performed the space shuttle once more and arrived at the top of the opponent's head, a chopping leg ruthlessly shattered the ceiling of the opponent's head, and along with this attack, a berserk spatial power surged into the orc farmer's skull, the annihilation attribute of space was instantly unleashed, annihilating the orc farmer's head into nothingness like an eraser wiping away the stains on the paper without a trace. Having lost his head, the orc farmer fell to the ground and died, congratulations, you have killed the orc farmer by crossing the level experience plus 10, additional plus 10 for crossing the level. After the death of the orc farmer, a white ball of light burst out, but Lucas didn't rush to check it out, the battle at hand was a bit more important, in the distance, 
The orc farmers watched as Lucas killed the farmer and immediately panicked, three of the orc farmers panicked and fled into the distance. Two of the orc peasants knelt on the ground in a submissive posture, the remaining five orc peasants, however, had red eyes and roared as they charged at Lucas, seeing this, Lucas did not panic in the least, he first used the space shuttle to catch up with the three fleeing orc peasants and easily killed them with one blow, then he killed all the remaining orc farmers the same way, with his level 13 power. There was no pressure to deal with these level 10 orc farmers, in this room, the only orc. Farmer was more advanced than him and could be a threat to him. Therefore, Lucas used his full strength at the beginning, intending to kill it in one hit, it was only because he did not take into account the toughness of his opponent's life force that he needed a second headshot, with this battle experience, he would not make the same mistake the next time he faced an orc, congratulations, you have killed 10 orc peasants, plus 100 experience. Congratulations, you have reached level 14, full attributes plus 12, health plus 12, Due to the level binding rules between spouses in the marriage game, all spouses on your team have reached level 14. Inside the live broadcast room, the people of Verona were relieved to see Lucas easily kill a group of orcs and various pop-ups of praise appeared one after another, Bola Lucas, this strength has increased again. A group of orcs together is not Lucas' opponent too strong, Lucas is simply Verona's patron saint for our glory. Lucas is like the guardian of Verona, he is our light. It feels like Lucas is invincible, what else is there to fear in this game? The people from other countries who originally mocked Lucas did not dare to squeak at this time, they did not expect that Lucas was already so powerful. Lucas was unaware of the situation in the live broadcast room, at that moment, he felt a suction force erupt violently within his body, and green fluorescent dots emerged from the dead or corpses that were slowly flying toward him, as the fluorescent light entered his body, a black text prompt appeared in front of Lucas' eyes, devouring absorption activated. You have gained attribute gain, strength plus 6 inch physique plus 6. Good lord, this strength and physique prompt had caught up with him for half a level. This was the first time Lucas felt the power of devouring absorption, and he couldn't help but secretly smack his lips, if he could kill monsters and level up every day, the speed of his power increase would be doubled, if not more. Of course, this was just a thought, and whether or not he would encounter a good bully monster was still up to his luck, he calmed down and picked up the white ball of light that the orc farmer had dropped, when the orb entered his hand, a white aura flashed, then a line of black text appeared in front of his eyes, Congratulations, you have obtained the grade, Orc's Cursed Bone Sword. Weapon, Cursed Bone Sword of Orc level active skill, curses the target, causing them to have a random negative condition for 24 hours. Negative states include, but are not limited to, weakness depression disease blindness sleep emo passive attributes, strength plus 3 constitution plus 3 attacks contain the power of the curse, causing wounds to rapidly decay while spreading rapidly, wearing requirements, level 1 or higher Lucas was a bit elated, just missing a handy sword type weapon, he didn't expect the orc farmer to burst out. Even though it was the same level as the goblin summoning finger tiger, Lucas didn't mind, after all, even. Though the monsters in the orc farm were high level, they were all ordinary monsters, but it was already good enough to burst equipment, and to burst high level equipment, you had to rely on monsters with titles. Not only could this bone sword be used with the goblin summoning finger tiger, it wasn't like an MMO where you could only use one weapon, this was just too powerful. So Lucas hastily opened the attribute panel and checked it out, name, Lucas profession, space emissary level, 1493 out of 100 strength, 107 plus 6 constitution, 108 plus 11 agility, 101 wisdom, 102 plus 5 charisma, 101 health. 20-176 Talent, Devouring Absorption Level 2 Blood Relay Boundary. White Eyes Job Skills, Space Force Level 2 Void Armor Level 2 Space Shuttle Level 2 Space God Shelter Level 2. Shared Skills, Maple Leaf Incarnation Level 2 Soft Fist Level 2 Flower Butterfly Fan Level 2 Light and Heavy Sword Skills Level 2 Healing Technique Level 1 Equipment. Goblin Summoning Finger Tiger Ice Rock Giants Guardian Chest Armor D Orcs Cursed Bone Sword All the attributes have broken the 100 level. Lucas was in a very happy mood, this wave had earned a lot. 
In the live broadcast room, the people of Verona also felt that this equipment was very good and praised it, the curse effect of this bone sword is too powerful, and it even has emo now, Lucas is not afraid of strong enemies. The passive effect was also awesome, with a few more slashes it could definitely corrode the entire enemy. The leveled equipment has such a powerful active and passive, it's really a storm OSS heavenly spirit. Lucas has become powerful again, who dares to say anything? On the other hand, people from other countries felt that this equipment was just leveled, there is no difference with the previous explosion 2 garbage have sent pop-ups to mock, what's great about the counter-level equipment is that it's just the people of Verona looking at it fresh, this broken iron also deserves to be called equipment. It's junk, I wouldn't even want it. I think Lucas will be killed in a minute if he goes to fight a boss with it, the people of Verona are really something, of course, the people of Verona couldn't take it and immediately started spraying each other. The content revolves around one sentence, we Lucas have equipment your country's players. How many of them are now dead? With that one sentence, they were killed instantly without leaving a single piece of armor behind. The people of the various countries had iron faces, but they could do nothing about it, inside the room Lucas looked at the otherworldly fruits in the orc farm, picked one and held it in his hand, when he flexed his fingers, he saw bright red flesh that looked like a watermelon, he tasted it, and it tasted like a watermelon, even sweeter and more delicious, then two lines of black text appeared in front of his eyes. You have eaten the intelligence melon, intelligence attribute plus one. The intelligence melon was planted by the orcs to increase the spiritual magic resistance of the community, consuming it can increase the intelligence attribute with a maximum of 10 points, Lucas' eyes lit up, eating melons grows intelligence, it must be more than that, so he immediately returned to the living area, went to the magic farm and gave the bionic robot that manages the magic farm a task. Transplant the intelligence melons to the orc farm, leaving none behind. It was worth mentioning that in Lucas' magnificent mansion, in addition to the living area, there were bionic robots to manage it, the magical farms, ranches, and fisheries also had corresponding teams of bionic robots. Thus, the bionic robot codenamed Farm Manager began to act with the farmer robots under his hand, soon after, all the intellectual melons from the orc farm were transplanted to the wonder farm, then, at Lucas' command, the farmer bots gathered a dozen or so ripe intelligence melons and quickly set up a camp on the farm, once all the arrangements were made. Lucas brought his daughters-in-law to the farm's campsite to eat the melons, Lucas and his daughters-in-law ate the melon under the shade. Of green trees and in the cool campsite, the cut melon was placed on the table, the red color was very attractive, the juice slowly left along the flesh of the melon which was very sweet and tasty at a glance, this intellectual melon is sweeter and juicier than the watermelon in memory, sweet and savory at the same time, as if you could feel the mind expanding and thinking rising. The people of Verona in the live broadcast room were very jealous that this melon looked even bigger and tastier. Then a watermelon, the main thing was that eating an intelligence melon would increase your intelligence. Even if there is a limit, 10 points of intelligence attribute is still twice as much as an ordinary person. I want to eat intelligence melons as well, can Lucas bring some for me to try? When I eat an intelligence melon, I feel like I'm instantly enlightened, I'm so jealous. I wish I could have a bite of the melon, it looks so delicious and tempting, I have a friend who was born mentally retarded, I would like to give him a whole melon to try, maybe he will become a normal person, I have a friend too, compared to the envious and cheeky atmosphere of the people of Verona, the people of other countries were very upset, especially the people from Lumina. When they saw Lucas and the others eating watermelon without eating the rind, they felt a sense of superiority and couldn't help but laugh, you see, the people of Verona are so stupid that they don't even eat the watermelon rind, which is a wonderful delicacy. Our watermelon rind pickle is a great delicacy that utilizes every part of the watermelon to its fullest. Watermelon rind pickles are our traditional food in Lumina, they are crunchy, sweet and highly nutritious, you Veronians should really learn from this. You Veronians should learn from this, I know Veronians are greedy, they jump on any food they see, but they don't even know how to use the watermelon rind, they're just like a stupid donkey. Lumina people are really poor to even eat the watermelon rind. 
You know watermelon rind in Verona sometimes even feed pigs are not qualified, some farms feed their pigs fresh watermelon in the summer, there's no way Verona is so big that watermelons are even available for pigs, watermelon rinds. We have so much watermelon here in the summer that even the pigs get enough to eat and the Lumina people eat watermelon rinds, how poor are they? Lumina people are really ugly eaters, they can't even throw away watermelon rinds and they're not afraid of diarrhea. Suggest that Lumina people work harder and try to get rich soon, then they won't have to eat watermelon rinds, it seems that Lumina's dilemma is very serious, ah uh, even watermelon rinds like what we feed the pigs to eat it is really unimaginable, pig, don't feed it, I eat watermelon all the time, can't we get some other fruit? You're not going to peel it by hand and make pickles out of watermelon rinds, are you? The people of Lumina turned red in the face and replied in despair, fuck you, Lumina has its own intellectual property rights to make watermelon rind kimchi, how can we peel it by hand? That's right, we have a special watermelon rind processing plant machine peeling automatic production of watermelon rind kimchi quality is guaranteed. That is, watermelon rind is very good for the body okay can supplement vitamins Chinese medicine also recommended consumption. You Verona people can afford to eat fresh watermelon. We Lumina people eat watermelon rind because it tastes good, not because we can't afford it. The Verona crowd laughed as the Lumina people excitedly defended watermelon rind, specialized equipment for processing watermelon rind. Chinese doctors recommending watermelon rind. I'm laughing at you, that's because you can't afford to buy a whole watermelon, you can only buy watermelon rinds, so you're just shuffling around looking for excuses, it's pathetic, we can eat watermelon for dinner in the summer, it's only a few cents a piece, we don't even bother with the rind, and you still value the rind, it's so tragic, the Lumina people are furious, but can find no reason to disagree, can only say nothing and continue to watch the live broadcast, some Lumina people. Search the internet want to see Verona in the end is not as the pop-up screen said watermelon so cheap and delicious, it does not matter if you do not check, once you do, you're stunned, the first video is a video of Verona feeding watermelon to pigs. The black pig in the picture eats only the flesh of the watermelon, not the rind. Not only that, the pig ate half of the flesh and then grunted and went to the side to eat another watermelon, the quality of the watermelon fed to the pig was even better than the special watermelon in the Lumina supermarket. Now the Lumina man's mind completely collapsed, he sent this video to the spontaneously formed marriage game audience group of Lumina people and was immediately mobbed by a group of Lumina people, they said it was fake and edited. Lucas and his daughters-in-law ate a lot of intelligence melons, and after reaching the upper limit of attributes that can be increased by intelligence melons, they finished eating the melons, fortunately, everyone's levels were high, their physical attributes were strong, and their digestive functions were also very strong, otherwise they wouldn't have been able to eat so many melons, after a short rest. Lucas left the living area and prepared to continue his exploration, the people of Verona. In the live broadcast room saw that Lucas was going to explore again and became excited. Lucas is going to explore again excited. Lucas is so energetic, I wonder what mysterious room he will find this time. I hope it's a bonus room with no enemies. Come on, come on, hopefully we can get another national reward. Must continue to live in the wedding match game through thick and thin, I'm becoming a Lucas brainwashed fan. Lucas I love you. Keep up the good work. And the people of other countries, especially the people of Lumina, they've just been hit by the watermelon rift between the two countries and right now they can't wait for Lucas to die, it's his fault that the whole world knows that the pigs in Verona eat better than anyone in Lumina. I hope Lucas will die in the new room this time so that all of us in Lumina will be relieved. Go, 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 go. Seek mercy, players who are not our Lumina should die a violent death sooner. Better yet, die in a marriage game and save the cemetery and funeral. Either way, the Verona player is sure to take a pill sooner or later, depending on how he dies. Between the pop-ups, Lucas had no idea that he had arrived in the refreshed room. 
The new room had two grey doors and one red door, naturally, he was the first to look at the red marriage room, room type, marriage, matching room occupant, early race, deep sea world squid clan level, one characteristics, seductive singing throat tentacle sheerness, deep sea metabolism, inkjet fascination face value, 10 in terms of human aesthetics test content. Endure and his endless tentacle service for three hours under the hypnosis of the other party's seductive singing throat until and his desire to play the role of the tentacle monster has been fulfilled, looking at the occupants of this wedding room and the prompt introduction, Lucas shuddered at this kind of wedding room he was not blessed to enjoy, what the hell and squid and tentacle monster, but also to arrange for him to tentacle service the most terrible thing is to last three hours. Let's forget it, a squid lady with a face value of 10 out of 10 leaving it to the Phillipsburg people who love to eat raw food is more or less the same. So he hastily turned his head to the grey door on his left, room type, monster room monster type, bloody fiend level 33 blood eating clown level 15 10 blood sucking bat level 3 100 terrain, bloody town mortality rate, 99% information. After entering this room you will come to a small town occupied by all kinds of vampires and the townspeople have all fallen into vampires blood sacrifices and playthings at this time three powerful bloody fiends are leading a lot of blood sucking monsters. Looking for a new source of blood to enter though the player who enters them will be the best target. Although your professional skills are very strong, but the survival rate is still not more than 1%, it is better not to go in. Good lord, this monster room is full of tough guys. 3 level 30 monsters, 10 level 15 monsters, and 100 small level 3 monsters, that's still a 1% survival rate, isn't that a bit high for the hangers-on? Lucas shook his head, it looks like there's only one last room left, hopefully it'll be a bit good, he looked at the far right wedding room and a golden text prompt appeared in front of him, room type, air benefit room benefit type, random draw terrain, initial room mortality rate, 0% tip, there is a prize shaker in this room that can be shaken for air related benefits. Perhaps bringing random increases in attribute boosts, special bloodlines, special physiques, companion spirit treasures, and other. Random increases to your heirs in the future, it's worth mentioning that the stronger the heir, the better the fertility rewards, so it's worth exploring this room. Ha! Huh. An heir's welfare room? First time I've seen that. However, since the hint plugin had said it was worth exploring, it had to be explored in one go, Lucas smiled slightly and took a big step forward to push open the grey door, what met his eyes was the same pure white room as the initial room, the difference being that there were no refreshed doors all around, just a white color. In the center of the room was a lottery machine that looked like a slot machine in a casino, in the next second, a few lines of black text appeared in front of Lucas' eyes, congratulations, you have arrived at the air benefit room, you may use the lottery machine in front of you to draw air benefit, the drawn benefit may benefit all future heirs, or it may randomly benefit a specific heir. Or you may choose to benefit a specific heir yourself. Types of benefits include but are not limited to, special abilities, special bloodlines, special physiques, increased attributes, accompanying spiritual treasures, and reincarnation of great powers, note, the stronger the air you produce with your fey wife, the higher the fertility bonus, and the air benefit room is the only one that can increase your air's potential, so please cherish it. The Veronians in the live room were excited to see this, although this was the first time Lucas had seen the air benefit room, the marriage matching game had already introduced it very clearly, this was a lottery room that could increase the potential of the air. And an increase in air potential meant an increase in fertility rewards, which was a heavenly good thing for Lucas and for Verona as a whole. The nursery is fantastic, now Lucas has a better chance of having a baby. Who will tell me why Lucas is so cool? Not only can he marry so many women, but he can also draw prizes to increase the potential of his offspring, is the marriage game still recruiting? Look at me. If you increase your offspring potential, there won't be any more rewards when you have babies. Lucas, you must draw the best offspring benefits, I can't wait to see Harvey's fertility rewards when he has babies. It's good for the country, good for the people, and good for you, so don't let such a good benefit go. 
the people of other countries, even if they are jealous, still harden their lips and pour cold water, this lottery machine can be drawn disgusting bloodline will give birth to tentacle monsters and so on. This thing is too unreliable, maybe it will draw mutated genes and give birth to giant babies or something, I think this lottery is a trap, it will turn the air into a non-human creature, and there's no benefit at all. You want to increase the potential of your air with just a slot machine. It's a trap, isn't it? If you ask me, this kind of welfare room is simply a scam, it will make the probability of the offspring mutating is greater than the strengthening ah if it becomes an inhuman monster then still call it a human. As for the pop-ups in the live broadcast room, Lucas had no idea, by this time, he had already arrived in front of the lottery machine and was staring intently at the lottery machine's display with a gleam of excitement in his eyes, he tentatively pulled the lever on the slot machine next to him and the rotating pattern immediately changed rapidly within the video above. The whirring of the machine and the spinning of the colored lights gave Lucas a sense of anticipation, and he couldn't wait to find out the results, so he hurriedly pulled the lever down with all his might, the wheel spun rapidly, the colored lights flickering on and off, the different patterns dazzling the eyes, after a slight ringing sound, the wheel gradually slowed down and finally settled on a house pattern, Lucas saw a blinding white light in front of his eyes, followed by a line that read congratulations, you have won the prize you have been awarded, fertility room. Fetal nurturing room, this is a fetal nurturing room that can be placed in the living area when your spouse is pregnant, you can enter it to nurture the fetus, there is a huge space inside comprehensive fetal nurturing services top living conditions and also contains a rich spiritual chi that can nourish the pregnant woman and the fetus and subconsciously enhance their physical qualities. The longer you stay in the fetal nurturing room, the higher the basic characteristics of the fetus will be. After its birth, and there is a probability of receiving accompanying abilities. Good guy, this fertility nurturing room is comparable to a cave on San Andreas Island Lucas blinked and the corners of his mouth couldn't help but twitch, not only can it increase the basic attributes of the air, there's also a chance of obtaining a companion skill, and the daughter-in-law can also improve her physical fitness in it, it's simply too powerful. At the same time, the people of Verona in the live broadcast room cheered when they saw this prompt, this fetal nurturing room was also too powerful. The environment inside contained spiritual chi that could nourish both the pregnant woman and the fetus, and now Lucas' child would win right at the starting line. This fetus nurturing room is so powerful, the baby born won't be any stronger than before we upgraded, right? Good guy, the little baby has just been born and all the attributes surpassed the ordinary adults. A pampering pounce on the big man a milk burp jump fly passers by. There is a sense of image Lucas luck is bursting, this lottery is simply earned. People in other countries are obviously very red-eyed at this win and have posted unhappy pop-ups, what's the big deal about a maternity ward, it's just that, that's it, who wouldn't provide a comfortable environment for a woman in labor, is there a need to be so upset? I think it's just a gimmick of a lottery machine, it doesn't improve much, forget about it, how can you call a maternity ward a social service? It's ridiculous, I don't think it can add a few attribute points, how can you brag about a fetal care center? The people of Verona are really down on their luck. The Veronians naturally picked up their keyboards and started to fight back, and the originally calm live broadcast room turned into a battlefield as Lucas was rewarded once again, the Veronians, with their strong culture and national essence, killed the people of other countries and made them retreat, especially the people of Lumina. They found out that they had been labeled as watermelon eaters who didn't spit out the rinds, whenever the Veronians scolded them 8 out of 10 sentences couldn't be separated from the watermelon rinds, the watermelon also gave them a nickname, can't afford to eat watermelon junior, this made the people of Lumina want to cry. They also wanted to retort, but bitterly realized that they really couldn't afford to eat watermelon, Lucas returned to the living area the first chance he got after getting a room to raise the baby, he found the butler and asked, where is the fetal care room? The butler replied respectfully, Lord of the Manor, the fertility room is in the moon center right next to the maternity ward in the white light door, however, the room has a special function, only your pregnant spouse is allowed to enter and use it, Lucas nodded and didn't show any disappointment, he walked into the moon child center, looked around at the white light door of the fertility room, and stared at it for a while, 
seemingly imagining the scene of his future daughters-in-law raising their babies inside, after a few moments, he left the Moonchild Center and returned to the game room, ready to continue his exploration, it was now two hours before dark, just enough time to explore some more, and Lucas arrived at the refreshed pure white room, this time with three random gray doors, he habitually looked at the door on the left, and golden text quickly appeared in front of his eyes. Room type, monster room monster type, demon hunter level 31 dragon hunting giant bat level 25 5 terrain, Psychedelic Woods Mortality Rate, 80% Information Description, This is a monster-infested forest where five giant dragon-hunting giant bats and a demon hunter are lurking, and your appearance is tantamount to delivering a tasty meal to the door, hint. You can't fight the monsters inside at the moment, so it's better to look at the other rooms, the monster room at the left door is too. Dangerous, so Lucas gives up and focuses on the door directly in front of him, Room type, trap room trap type, underwater labyrinth trap effect, players will fall into the underwater labyrinth, the labyrinth will keep changing and there will be underwater monsters attacking, if you don't escape within 10 minutes you will drown alive, mortality rate, 100% hint, this room is an underwater labyrinth, if you do not have the power to avoid water or do not explore easily, it is at least a dozen level. Creatures, drowning would be a big embarrassment, underwater maze. It looks dangerous, ah is a dead door, Lucas summed up a bit quickly moved away from the eyes and finally moved to the door on the right. Room type, resource room resource type, random black iron treasure chest random range, food equipment skills personal space upgrade cards etc, mortality rate, 0% tip, 100% safe resource room, you can walk into it and open the treasure chests and as for what to harvest it's all up to your luck, so pray that you're a Euro Emperor another resource room. Even though it only contains black iron treasure chests, mosquito is still meat, Lucas heart rejoices and he rushes towards this gray door, inside the live broadcast room the people of Verona saw Lucas exploring again and pop-ups were flying, Lucas is really desperate every time he explores it is dangerous but he dares to go forward I respect him as a man. Lucas is really desperate every time he explores it is dangerous but he dares to go forward I respect him as a man. Fighting for our country, fighting for our country, Lucas is the pride of Verona. Thanks to Lucas, a player who dares to fight for his life, Verona has won so many Lucas rewards and must be supported. I'll be a die-hard Lucas fan from now on. Go Lucas. You are the chance for Verona's resurrection, let's hope for another reward this time. The people of other countries scoffed and couldn't wait for Lucas to be unlucky. You want to help make Verona rich and strong? I think it's a joke. With that kind of talent, he'll be in trouble sooner or later. We Lumina are the future champions. How can a mere competitor represent the country? Wait for the abyss to destroy you, we Philipsburg are the true masters of the earth. Don't screw it up. Sooner or later the rules of the marriage game will make this kind of trash roll over. We Astralburgers are the nation that will save the earth from destruction. Yalu. Don't think you're lucky enough to dare to go on one adventure after another, the mating game will show everyone that it's a game of luck. Meanwhile, Lucas had entered the resource room, in the center of the room was a black iron treasure chest with a gold exclamation mark above it, flashing with a blinding light, open the chest, Lucas muttered, a hint of an expectant smile creeping into the corners of his mouth, he crossed to the treasure chest in three steps, reached out, grabbed the heavy iron handle of the lid, and lifted it violently. Creak, the sound of opening and closing with a heavy metallic texture rang out and a blinding white light emanated from the inside of the treasure chest. Lucas narrowed his eyes slightly and pulled out a pale blue card as the white light faded, congratulations, you have opened the random spade treasure chest and obtained an upgrade card x1. Upgrade card, Lucas smiled happily and couldn't wait to use the card, immediately, a faint blue light flashed in his body and power surged into his body like crazy, you have used the level plus one upgrade card. Based on the level binding rule between spouses in the marriage game, all of your team spouses have reached level 15. Just when Lucas thought there were no more prompts, another one appeared, mating game announcement, 
Verona player Lucas has reached level 15 The trade system is now open players from all countries on earth will receive 1000-10,000 race coins each so that you players can trade items you need with each other. Note, 10,000 coins are highly valued, besides players trading with each other, you can also trade with space-time merchants from the 10,000 races, so please don't just waste the 10,000 coins you have in your hands. Lucas narrowed his eyes as he read the announcement, it seemed that as long as there were players who took the lead in reaching level 15, the matchmaking game would open the trading system to allow players to trade with each other. And this 10,000 clan coin, although he didn't know exactly how valuable it was, the marriage game had highlighted it, so it must be very important. Since that was the case, how about trying to sell some living materials in exchange for the 10,000 clan coins in the hands of other players? In Lucas' opinion, if he hadn't hinted at the plug-in, his current life wouldn't be so easy, not to mention a fancy mansion with a one-bedroom apartment would be pretty good, besides, food and all kinds of living materials wouldn't be so abundant, and one might have to go hungry every day, in that case, it was very likely that the other players were the same, I don't want to say that all of them are like that, but most of them are, so Lucas came up with the idea of selling food, now that it was. Getting dark, it might be risky to continue exploring, so Lucas returned directly to his personal room and asked his butler to fetch some regular food, the various staples were steamed buns, cakes, noodles, corn, and so on, for meat, there were chicken, duck, goose, cow, sheep, pig, and other meats. There were also vegetables, fruits, bottled water, drinks, and so on, these supplies came with the Huagui Manor and were refreshed every day, it could be said that with Huagui Manor, there was basically no worry about living, this was also the reason why Lucas was willing to sell these supplies, if he didn't have enough for himself, he wouldn't sell them, even if the 10,000 race coins were valuable. When a large pile of supplies was neatly placed in front of Lucas, full to the brim, he silently chanted in his heart and opened the trading system, in the next second, a virtual blue light screen appeared in front of his eyes, this blue light screen displayed a virtual store, and at this time, the shelves were empty, other than that, there were several options, namely auction, retail, patrol, advertising, etc., Lucas chose patrol first and then noticed that the blue light screen changed to a small square, each square had a flag of a different country, and below it was a line of Text saying that the small shop of a player from such and such country already had merchandise, zero items. He scanned through and found that some of the players from that country already had a few items on the shelves, he clicked on those that sold basic food, drinking water, and otherworldly clothing, overall, these items had little appeal to Lucas, at that moment, the people of Verona in the live broadcast room were thrilled to see that Lucas had upgraded and turned on the trading system, Lucas had upgraded and turned on a new feature. Not bad for a player who was way ahead of the pack. With the highest level and the most resources, Lucas turned on the trading system and just lay down and earn. Now Lucas could make a crazy amount of 10,000 race dollars through the trading system. Although I do not know what the role of the 10,000 clan coins, but should be married to the game are said to be precious, it must be very important. This way while Lucas is estimated to become the supply supplier of the marriage game players ha <laughs> and the people of other countries scoffed at their own players have flaunted on the shelves of some goods, che, it's just a trading system, our Astralberg player has already started shelving goods, he just acquired a bunch of coconuts and was worried about eating them all, now he can sell them for money. Verona people don't get too cocky too soon, our Philipsburg nation is way ahead in business acumen and can surely take off with the trading system. We Lumina people do not brag about our business acumen, perhaps the Lumina players can become plutocrats in the marriage game. As a financial powerhouse, there's no one who can play the trading system better than the people of Caldera. The live room was buzzing with excitement as Lucas began placing items on the shelves, the first item on the shelves was cooked rice, and Lucas planned to sell it bowl by bowl, as he was setting the price, he realized that he could set different prices for players from different countries, seeing this feature, Lucas immediately showed a bad smile. He directly set the purchase price for players from Lumina Philipsburg country Astralberg Caldera Lee Taba Bowl and many other countries that were not friendly to Verona. A bowl of white rice was priced at 1000 Vanguard coins, 
and the purchase price of a bowl of rice for players from countries with neutral or ordinary relations was set at 10 won clan coins, then the purchase price for players from countries friendly to China was set to 1 won ren coin, after setting this, Lucas made a default save of this price setting. Each of the subsequent items on the shelves would be priced differently according to the different countries, the reason for this setting was. Simply Lucas' patriotic feelings, small little Astralberg and other players from these countries want to buy things from his hands of course business is good naturally will not drive customers, just the price they have to pay is 1000 times more than the players from friendly countries. Want a hot bite? You can. Hand over all 10,000 clan dollars in your hand. What about the next meal after this one? That's none of my business, if you don't have any money, get lost. Even if the other party is too expensive to buy, Lucas doesn't care. He just wanted to use that kind of pricing to make those little caramels feel like they were being priced discriminated against as well, the audience in the live broadcast room saw this scene, and people from Lumina Phillipsburg Caldera and other countries immediately exploded with anger, how can Lucas discriminate against other countries? How can Lucas discriminate against other countries by charging so much for a bowl of rice? We will never accept this kind of discrimination. All countries should be treated equally. Price discrimination is unethical and we strongly condemn it. We are outraged by Lucas' inhumane behavior. All countries should have the same purchasing power, so why should a player from our country have to pay 1,000 Wanjian coins to buy a bowl of rice? The people of Verona were very happy and rallied in support of Lucas, saying that he had done a good job, direct differential pricing so funny. I've been telling you garbage to buy or get out. Either you pay the bill or get lost support 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 these countries are mouthy they should be cleaned up. You guys are just barking dogs Lucas is already good enough to sell don't fuck around this operation has my full support. Sometimes the transaction is never an equal relationship Lucas this price strategy one give full marks at this time Phillipsburg country player Yamada Taro is in the personal space of the meticulous, he was the player who was selected by the marriage game after Yelang Nuremeib. After entering the marriage game, he went from being frightened to numb, and finally decided to mimic the actions of the previous players and hide in the living quarters, adhering to the idea of surviving one day at a time. And going out to explore when he really had no choice, he had not eaten for three days, today, Yamada Taro decided to go exploring, but he found that his body was limp and powerless, so if he encountered a monster, it would definitely be hard to escape death, at that time, the announcement of the marriage game suddenly appeared, attention all players, the trading system is officially open. Each player will receive a starting fund of 1000 clan dollars, which can be traded to get the supplies they need. Seeing this, Yamada Taro was overjoyed and hurriedly opened the trading panel to check it out.